Whilst we're waiting, do you want to hear a joke? Always. From you, James, never. Uh, there are three <laughs> vampire, three vampire brothers. You fuck off. Mate. There are three vampire brothers, <laughs> and uh, uh, see, they're, they're all arguing over who's the best. The youngest one says, "Mate, I'm the strongest." Watch this. He goes running off 100 miles per hour, and then he comes back, and his mouth is all covered in blood. Yeah, and the, the the other vampires say, "Where the hell have you been?" He says, "You see that mansion over there?" He says, "Yeah." Well, everybody's dead in there, sucked them dry. He's like, bloody hell, that was quick. And the oldest vampire says, ah, I'm faster than that. Runs off 150 miles per hour. Comes back in like 10 seconds. And his mouth's covered in blood. His neck's covered in blood. He's like, where the hell have you been? He says, see that village over there? Yeah, nobody alive left there. He's like, fucking hell, that was 10 seconds, mate. Finally, the, the middle brother says, well, guys, watch this. Runs off at 200 miles per hour and he comes back in five seconds. His mouth's covered in blood, his neck's covered in blood, his shirt's covered in blood. He goes, bloody hell, where have you been? He said, you see that tree over there? He says, yeah, well, I fucking didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, that. Huh? And that's where we start. <laughs> uh, Cut in on that joke. <laughs> Just fixing up one more ting. More ting, Wash your ting. Hang. Wash your hang. Um, why was Aladdin banned from the Magic Carpet competition? Why? Using using performing enhancing rugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts! It hurts oh, me. fucking hell! Hurts All right, go go. You fucked it. Yeah. Let's. Uh... Uh, I choose another country before this. For this thing. Is this called Sacred Flames? Just Sacred Flames. Yeah. Flames. This again. <laughs> This is quarantine without quarantine. Oh my god. In quarantine. quarantine. I think I had a good joke yesterday. Out of the blue. You're not having uh, it today? I believe you. Change my mind. It's about it's it's <laughs> it's a rough joke. <laughs> is there any other uh, have you ever done the uh, the wheelbarrow position with your girlfriend? Have you ever done that? Where you just leave her in the shed for six months? <laughs> I feel better about it now. That's good. <laughs> that's good, Derry, that's good. <laughs> See, I like this format right now because the big screen for me is Derry, who is our DM. Which is good. For me, it's Nate. So... Yeah, same. I got, I got Nate, yeah. Right. Um, so I'm hang on. Can you... you all have no relation to each other, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Fuck y'all. You've all been living in your own worlds your own lives with your own history things have been going on and then for some reason or another you were banished be it some incredible creature you accidentally bumped into or some lord that tried to punish you or some experiment that went wrong for some reason or another you were banished and it didn't have the effects of a normal banishment spell uh so you barely remember the circumstances that led you to this point and all that actually happens is you find yourself waking from a deep sleep. Uh, I would like everybody oh, to make a constitution saving throw. Fuck yeah. I save. There's a good start. <laughs> Advantage. <laughs> this is a brilliant start. Yeah, I, I rolled. I rolled this dice twice to make sure that it was good to use. I got fucking twenty and then eighteen or seven on this one. You okay. rolled a seven, James. It's a good Go start. On. Yeah, it's eleven. It's over ten. Okay. And there's my important phone call. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what a start! Better be Coco. So, how much do I tell him I got a natural one? You got a natural. <laughs> one. <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah. Yeah, barbarian. Yeah, no. Uh, you know what it is, James. It's my it's dice. dice. It's your dice. Yeah, mate. mate, don't I use thought, those. I rigged them. I thought I'm a barbarian. I need a heavy hitting dice. Constitution saving from? I got 11, but surely it's yeah, not that. Same for me. Both the fighters got 11. Uh, so the I fighters, got... 11 and 11. Nate? I got natural one. <laughs> First nice. roll. First roll of the campaign. 7. 11. Again? 7. 7, sorry. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Level uh, one characters. Okay. 
well, we had a good run at it, but uh, <laughs> your barbarian nope. falls unconscious. All this simply means, as soon as I've still got one person missing from the game, who am I missing? Pro. Where's the button? Ah, <laughs> uh, buttons, 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 buttons. I'm missing him. I am coming for you. Oh, this is like a dad trying to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took a screenshot. <laughs> what does that mean? All this simply means is that uh, Yoki and Kandor are the first to awake. Uh, in this room, you are on. Oh, let's do music. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, For our viewers at home, I apologize. Fucking natural one again. There you go. So set your audio over there to make it. Oh, Jesus. This nice of Sophia. Nice as shit. Uh, this is loud. Well, wait I turned it down ahead of time. Yeah, I'm turning mine down, don't worry. So I'll just give you some time to audio adjust there. I'll bring you over. Uh, you, you turned it down at the same time I turned it down. Did it yeah. Oh, sorry, is that universal for everybody? Yeah, yours is universal. Yeah. Well, it's loud for me, so we'll go off mine. <laughs> no adjust yours. <laughs> Is that a fucking zombie in the room with us already? Well, <laughs> so, this is Kandor and Yoki. The zombie kills Kandor. Wake up first. Hey, fuck. And you are on a... Kind of like slabs. These big stone slabs just laying down. And... The first thing both of you instinctively want to do is maybe grab for a weapon. Grab for something, some kind of protection. But you're wearing... Almost nothing. You just enter your underwear and you have no what? equipment on you. The usual of what I'd wear. And yeah, as you as you sit up and look around, um, Kandor, you have a zombie right next to you. And there's a zombie in the middle of the room and you see two other bodies <clears throat> on uh, slabs. Am I still asleep? You like to do. Yeah. Okay. So hey. I'm. we're still laying down at the moment. Yeah, unless you say different. Uh, like slow. So, can I see the zombies? Yes. I want to um, slow, like slowly sit up. So it's worth saying to you, Kandor, since you have one right next to you, mm -hmm. not looking at you, kind of just looking blankly ahead and just kind of just po posed next to you, staring straight ahead, just kind of like uh, in a daze almost, paying uh, no attention to you. Okay, I want to try and like quickly look around the room because upon realizing I don't have anything on me, I'd want to look around and see my sure. immediate surroundings. Make uh, both of you make perception checks. I'm sure, you both want to take a look around. <laughs> I got conjunctivitis. <laughs> <laughs> got, got nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, and... Six. Six. Okay. <laughs> um. So quite a decrepit room. Uh, stonework. Uh, holes in the ceiling, which you hear a faint drip coming through, and there are big puddles on the floor. These two zombies, just kind of like uh, very slouched and focused on something that doesn't appear to be either of you. Um, Kandor, as you look across the room, you see a bugbear sitting up on a slab. And uh, Yoki, as you look across the room, you see this elf also on a slab. You also see a half orc and a dwarf, but they don't seem to be stirring at the moment. Uh, so I, I can tell he's like got no equipment either. I assume he's in the same situation. Yeah, all in the same situation. Uh, a door to the north, a door to the east, and a passageway to the south. Um, how how like sturdy do these zombies look? Uh, make a perception check. Uh, 20. 20. Um, not extremely sturdy. Uh, they look very, uh, just hanging on to life. Whatever has brought them back to life, they're barely hanging on. Some of them look in really poor condition. One of them missing body parts and rags and stuff like that. Can I, um, can I get up and, mm -hmm. like, say to, uh, 
I'm not saying anything, sorry. Looking over a candle, and I just go and start sneaking up behind the one that's next to me. Okay. I'm, already, I'm gonna I want to. I want to. I want to get. Well. Is he facing me? Sorry. He's facing uh, this here, which appears to be a cabinet. So okay. Kind so of... I want to kind of sneak around to get behind his head. Sure. Make a stealth check. See if you can do it. Candor, would you like to do anything? Yeah, I'd like to move to if you can see my arrow there mm -hmm. stealthily, like like without getting up, just like slowly, like just slink the thing. backwards away, from, just to gain distance from this zombie next to me. Yeah, let's go for stealth checks, both of you. I got a thirteen. Thirteen. I got a fifth. No, fourteen. Dice. Sorry. Dice. I'm so unprepared. Okay. You uh, slink around, you said you want to get right next to him there, yeah? Um, you yeah, I do. Yeah. Move over here. Yes. Uh, I'd say about this time, Polo, your dwarf's waking up. Okay. I've, I've got an attack in mind, just so you know. I, I want to point out uh, a few quick things as well. Only one that comes to mind right now. But I'm trying to get close to the core rules. Uh, an unarmed punch will only do one damage plus your strength modifier. It's not a 1d4 unless you are you have some ability. To I've, I've got this thing called, as a bugbear, I've got surprise attack. So my first attack, if he doesn't see it coming, does an extra 2d6 damage. Okay. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'll get, get rid of him. Yeah. It's only once per combat, though. Uh, oh, but yeah, um, it will be a non-arm strike, I guess, but when I kind of grab his head and just slam him into the wall, I suppose. Uh, absolutely. Roll in the I'm aiming to do. Oh, I'm going to miss him now, isn't it? It's just a zombie. Um, so it's still an arm. you like to do as you attack. wake up and take in this room? Uh, 20 to hit. I am, I'm proficient with unarmed attacks, right? Hello. Pally now. Can you hear Derry? Yeah. No, I heard sure. something, but I did it. I, I'm just waking up now. I heard the waking up part. Yeah, you've woken up. I'm just asking if you want to do anything. <laughs> I just look around, but it's, what the fuck is going on, basically? Yeah, you can kind of see the same situation. What did you roll on the attack, James? Uh, it's 20. Am I proficient with unarmed strikes? Uh, I guess you'd be proficient with your own unarmed strikes, yeah. Okay, so it's 20. 20 hits. Um, that's a 1 plus your strength modifier. Um, plus his 2d6 surprise attack. You don't seem to have him by surprise. He seems to not care about you. Are you oh, okay. So you? he saw me coming. But okay, yeah. fair enough. Um, so it's just going to be five points of damage then. I want to slam five his head into the wall. Five points of damage as you slam his head into the wall. Uh, you slam him and it rocks him a good bit. And now is the first time you see him take any kind of focus. And he seems to focus on you. And he's going to take an attack back at you. That is a five to hit doesn't it? Very clumsily, just swipes out at you, but does not manage to hit. But now he seems taken by you. Uh, Nate, you'd be waking up about now as well. Okay. Uh, can uh, I move my thingy? Can I move here? Yeah. You move uh, close to the zombie? Uh, yeah, I want to take a... whack my hammer on his... Well, you haven't got any of your equipment. Any? Anything? Okay. No equipment, you're down to your underwear. Oh, happy days. <laughs> so Woo! An arm strike Ooh. if you want. That's a good point. So AC is just 10 plus dexterity. Yeah, so just... Absolutely. Uh, Sean, is there anything you'd like to do? Nate, you'll get in on the next round. Uh, yeah. Um, Punch him in the face. I wanted to go in and like charge this zombie and grapple it from behind. Okay. Uh, I'd say you... Uh... Yeah, but it's a contested strength. We'd have seen the bugbear try and attack him and attack him back. At that point, I would have jumped in, try and grab it, and hold it still to. Sure. Let's go for so... a contested strength check. Strength or athletics? Athletics, it would be. Yeah. <laughs> I got a five. And you got a seventeen. <laughs> so uh, now, kind of unpredictable and raging to push off. He pushes off. Uh, dwarf can make an attack if he wants. Yeah. It's just going to be the dwarf. The, the dwarf? Is, uh, 17. 17 hits. Uh, just one plus your strength modifier. 
So a three. Three? Yep. Three points of damage. Okay. Um, you do it this time, and the arm breaks off and falls to the floor. <laughs> to the floor, but it still seems to be going. James, you've got an action if you would like. Uh, since they're going out, um, I'll try and do the same thing again. Just, I don't know, he's surrounded now. I can't hit his head against the wall. I'll try and knock his head off. Yeah. Uh, 20 to hit. Hits, so 1 plus strength yeah, is... So, yeah, 5 points of damage. 5 points of damage. Uh, he's going to swing back at you, James, since you're the sole focus of his attention. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Oh, that hits. Is, oh shit! <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Oh fuck! My face. Yeah. It's a D6. He rolled a six. That's unlucky. Everyone else gets another round. Nate, you're up now. If you want to do anything. Uh, would I have seen them fight? You, you're seeing three people attacking a zombie and a zombie fighting back. All right, then I would scream confusion and just <laughs> I want to charge this guy and slam him into the wall. Okay. Just gonna shove it back. None of that guy on top of the uh, step over the slab and just yeah. run at him. Roll an attack. Ooh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, hits. Ooh. It's a zombie. Uh, that's um, five points of damage. Five points of damage. Yep. Four. Are you a reading word on what is his name? Yoki. Yoki. Yoki the bear. It, it yeah, was. That's why he did it. Woo! Four. Oh, he's four? a no, demon no. bear. You okay? I roll a four Yogi. on a d4, so it's a seven. 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 You heal seven. it all back. You're back at full health, James. Full Ooh. health. Fucking hey. Yep. Um, I suppose this is going to be the first thing I say. Ha right? ha! This is a great group. I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> um, you still have an action if you. That's a bonus action, so I'll allow you an action yeah. if you want power. Yeah. Uh, 15. 15 hits. So it's three other uh, three points. Okay. Looking rough. Uh, James, what would you like to do? Uh, no, how is he looking? Uh, he's looking I rough. Yeah, he's, he's getting battered and bruised between uh, the rest of you. Okay, it's just attack him, but yeah. Oh, balls. Nine. Nine hits? Nine hits. So oh, zombie, uh, yeah, another five points of damage. And just like that, the fist goes through the face. You know, you have a bit of skull left on you as they pull the hand back, and the whole body just <laughs> crumples to the floor. Uh, Sean, is there anything you'd like to do? Um, I can, I, can I have that. a reaction? Yeah. Sorry, I just say, one cool. down, guys. Let's help the big green guy. <laughs> okay. Um. I would have seen, uh, well, I could probably see in my peripheral uh, this going on, so... Yeah, you've seen the half hawk. I'm going to go over and try and assist the, the half hawk. I'm going to move to... I don't think I can move my token. Um, yeah, I'm just going to move yes. next to this zombie, and I'm going to attempt to use that... the shove action. Uh, okay. So oh, that's in, into the wall, kind of? Uh, to knock him prone. Oh, he knocks prone. Okay, go for you it. Can, yeah, either knock prone or away, but I'm going to try and like knock him to the floor so we can wail on him. So sure. I think it's just a stri uh, wait, hang on. It's a... Yeah, it's another like contest then, I guess. so. I guess it'd be athletics. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> uh, nine. <laughs> uh, Fedley 16 over here. So he's wobbling. Well, actually, has he got a minus? That's ah, still decent. Um... So, you send him wobbling, ventures off the wall, doesn't quite go down, but he's now just kind of like <sighs> looking at the pair of you. Uh, I think that's everyone's took that round, so uh, that one zombie will take an attack against Nate, since that was the first person to attack him. <laughs> that's a 16 to hit. Ooh, just. And um, that is... A la la la. What's your dex mod, Nate? Uh, well, You've got no armor on, so it's just 10 plus your dex mod. Uh, I am a barbarian, so I have armor with defense. That's oh, true. Yeah, you're just you're good. Nice. My AC uh, is 14, so. Six points of damage, Nate. <laughs> okay. Damn, what did I. I had something. That is the zombie's turn. Back in, everybody else, what would you like to do? 
is it uh, in order or like? Not really. I mean, my it's just it's you then the zombies. My guy I'll be running over, taking an attack. I was about to say, yeah. My guy getting hit is gonna scream. It's time to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> and then it is... sounds like a proper game voiceover sound, doesn't it? You know, <laughs> neutral male number five. It's time to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he's just going to take an attack and just try and crush this guy's head against the wall. Yeah, let's keep doing it. Roll attack. The AC is eight, just to make it easy for you to get through. Uh, that is. I want to move here and punch me in the face. It's just my strength, isn't it? That's sixteen to hit. Sixteen to hit hits. Yeah, that's another five points of damage. Five points of damage on that one. Okay, good. Uh, Pella. Uh. Uh, by the sake of it, I can just use three cantrips, so no sacred flames. Yeah. So let's move here and punch him. Okay. Wait, what do you say about cantrips? I have no idea. You got three. That's what I said. I don't know. I, I read it on the table. You got level one, you got three cantrips they can use. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you didn't pick sacred flame, did you? No, I didn't. I picked it up after that I sent in the, the, the first three. Okay, yes. So, so is that 12? What, what do you mean with that? You get an extra country? No, you got one less. One less? Okay. I give you four, or I got three. Okay. I give you three at the beginning, at the first the first screenshot, you got three, then I added one. But I Why did you add one, though? Was there a reason or just a mistake? No, no, no. It was a mistake. It was just... Okay, no problem. I just thought you had a, an extra feat or something. No, 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 no. Uh, no, it's 12 to hit, does hit. Okay, so it's three. Perfect. Uh, cool. Uh, James, I think you haven't taken attack yet. You've just moved no. in. Uh, I kind of like <laughs> put my hand into his like mouth and try and rip his jaw off. Sure. Make a uh, strength check. Strength check. Uh, straight strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Nine. Nine? Nine. He rolls a two. Uh, roll a d6 for me. Nice. <laughs> One. One. Uh, what's your strength modifier? Uh, plus four. Plus four. We'll uh, yeah, that's enough. Uh, you pull the jaw off, and the the body <laughs> just gives up and starts to collapse to the floor. You know, quite tough. There. Uh, so yeah. What can I say, guys? I'm jaw dropping. <laughs> So you have two dead zombies before you. <laughs> they was fun. Let's do that again. Um, where the hell's my sword and my yeah, clothes? I want to come over to here and inspect whatever this was on the wall. Yeah, it's a it's a cabinet. So yeah. go ahead and make an investigation check. That is. Oh, flipping neck, that's actually good for once. Uh, 17. 17, okay. You go through and it seems to be uh, mostly uh, papers of some sort. You find uh, a book, uh, which seems uh, to stand out above everything else, and uh, with a single note on top of it. What does the note say if I try to read it? Absolutely. So you read it, it's in common. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it seems to be some kind of uh, logbook that um, describes different uh, deliveries of bodies. And as you go through it, uh, you get to one point where it describes uh, a half-orc, a dwarf, uh, a bugbear, and an elf. Uh, all delivered by uh, someone called Pango. Pango? That appears to be the name, yes. Pango. Uh, so it says delivered by uh, Pango and uh, collected by... Uh, I got a name. Kabam. Received by Kabam. Delivered by Pango, received by Kabam. Um, I'm going to call out to the others. I, I don't know who you are. And I don't exactly know how we got here, but... This is kind of incriminating over here. 
I'm gonna walk over and clap my hands on either side of him and go, I'm Feng! Hi! <laughs> Hello? What do you say, Feng? Feng. I, it's in this in this voice. It's difficult. Hello, Feng. I, Feng. You, wait, you still hold on to me, or did you just like pat me? I just like hello. <laughs> uh, oh yes, I, I'm nice gonna to let meet go you. straight after. You said you didn't. Okay, know, yeah. So I'm Feng. I, just, I thought you were still like holding on to me, like I'm a teddy bear or something. Like, <laughs> uh, I probably like, could pick you up. <laughs> uh, I'll say, do, do you know how to read common? Feng is a master of many things. Bar words. What does it say? <laughs> it's a record of some kind saying about bodies being brought here. So were we dead? Because our names are on this list. I'm pretty sure... Uh... Quick question, though. Do we have memory of being banished? Yeah. Faint in your memory and, you know, a little bit hazy, but you remember under circumstances, different for each of you, you remember okay, being banished. Okay. Well, I ain't dead. Uh, I say I remember. I was very much alive. Uh, uh, okay, let's do this. What is, what, I... what is this? I'm doing something. It's gonna be interesting. You can carry on though. <laughs> That's why he beats it. What's he doing? Um, I'll, I'll look. I'll look over at the dwarf. Name's Yoki. Thanks for the hand back there. No problem. How do you hear yeah, magic? Yeah. Dynamite stuff. Magazine. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I ain't dead. But I'm missing my clothes and my sword. At yeah, this I point, heavy armor, yeah. And my from around the corner in the passage to the safe, you see another zombie. Step, step, step. Take no regard of you. Just step over to one of the tombs nearby. Places some items on the tomb. And then just walks back into the passageway. And investigate the tombs around. If you see, check if you, any object or anything. Sure, make an investigation check. Yay! Oh, lovely. So, investigation. Is that five? Five? I mean, they just look like uh, stone slabs. Uh, nothing of real interest. Uh, you go over to this one where the guy just was. And he seems to have put like a bottle with some fluid on it. Some green fluid. Uh, I'm going to start rummaging around everywhere after my axe. Sure, make an investigation check. If this music gets annoying, just tell me, because yeah. <laughs> we put in like three tracks, it's this for the next five hours. Five. Five? I rolled a seven minus two. Um, doesn't look like your axe is anywhere. It doesn't look like there's anything in that kind of ilk here. Uh, but you start thinking about some of them might work as a weapon, and you pick up the uh, the first zombie's arm. That's pretty sturdy <laughs> bone in its own right. Oh, and really also, an as you pick it up, you hear a clink drop to the floor. Something falls out of it. And you look down on the floor and there appears to be a little key that's fallen out of that zombie's hand. I'll pick it up. Okay. You have a little uh, rusted key. Is, this, is there a door on both ends of this room? Then? So, north... There's a door. East, there is a door. South, there is a passage. Uh, again, proficient. this zombie steps out and comes over and seems to place something on the tomb there. Can I quickly stand in between him and the exit? Sure. Let's say you rush over and get there in his way, yeah? Not aggressive. I'm just, I want to stand there and see what he does. As you get there, he just stops. And he just waits for a moment. And then he steps to the side. And takes a step back. He's just looking in your direction. Uh, um, guys, I think we've got a tour guide here. You seem harmless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, 
And I'll walk in front of the zombie and be like, Hi, I'm Feng. <laughs> no response, but now you've taken the time to get up close to him. You take a, a better inspection of what's in front of you. Feng's got to stop doing shit like this. <laughs> uh, he seems to have some writing on his head, like a hashtag. And then the number's 52. I have no idea what numbers are. <laughs> <laughs> I have a seven intelligence. And yeah, it's just kind of moldy skin, just dazed look, no response to what you say, no recognition of what you said. Guys, just kind of looking in Yoki's direction, not even making direct eye contact with. Can I? Can I have a look at the head as well? He's got some um, weird markings on his head. Yeah, but also I can't read common. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's just uh, shapes. <laughs> Imprinted on the head. <laughs> Me and James are the worst people for this. Coco's type in. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, Candor, you're you're good with with words, right? One question to the DM. Am I proficient with arm? With arm. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's an improvised <laughs> weapon, so you won't have proficiency. So just uh, feel free strength. to add crow if anyone can. Um, but this will now do the arm will do one d six. Plus my strength, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I've written it on my character sheet. I'm going to be carrying this for the rest of the campaign, just so you guys know. <laughs> his, his arm does 1d6 damage. Yeah? Yeah, it's just a bludgeoning <laughs> object. It's like a club, basically. It's a fucking club, bitch. Uh, can I? No. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go over to Candle and drag him over. You uh, seem to be good at understanding okay. markings. Can, can you ever look at what's on his head? So, Kando, you're invited over to take a look. And you see, you know, hashtag 47 seems to have been cut into the skin. Not 47, 52 this one, sorry. 52, yeah. I'm, I'm going to like look at I the zombie. I keep on trying to think of numbers, and I always go instinctively to Agent 47. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has he got a um, barcode or a hashtag? God damn it, it's a hashtag. I'm, I'm gonna look at the zombie, so it's like it's labeled 50, number 52 on its forehead or on its yep. head somewhere, yeah? I'm gonna mm -hmm. look at the zombie, then in disbelief back at those two. Yeah. Just to kind of be like, wait, you, you don't know what this means. Uh, I know it's a number. <laughs> no. It's, it's 52. 52? Well, we've taken out two, yeah. so that's only Is 50 that... more to go. He's had a lot. I'd, I'd rather you leave this thing alone and let it go. I mean, 1, 5, 7, 29. It doesn't seem like a lot. I think I can count 50 <laughs> on my end. Fang, if we count like you, we'll be good. Oh, we're good. Uh... No, I'll agree with Kandor. They seem harmless. Um, What did you pick up, uh, Dwarf? What's your name? Siegfried. <laughs> Sie Siegfried? Yeah. What what did it put down over there? There's uh, any number on his head. What? Uh sorry. I was just trying to see if Crow's joining or whatever. No, he's not. Um no, it doesn't look like it. So you look on his head and yeah, there's a number on his head as well. Uh hashtag hundred and eighty seven. Yeah, there's one eight seven on his head. Alright, seven. Check for me as well, Bella. Yeah? Yeah, make a perception check for me. Okay, okay. It was nine, uh, 19 plus whatever. Yeah, that, that'll that do it. Uh, this one seems to have a scrap of paper in his hand. Ooh. Can I take a look at it? Can't Absolutely. Two people who uh, common in this group. You pick it up, and it's uh, as a very small piece of. Well, uh, 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 yeah, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect these to be killed so quickly. Uh, <laughs> um, you pull it out and it has uh, writing scribbled up in one yeah. of the corners that reads, What runs around a city and never moves? Oh, it's, it's... <sighs> I don't know. Out of character, I know this. You don't want to be appropriate. You feel you know it, go ahead and say. Um, well, can we... Oh, we don't know that he's found this anyway, do we? 
yeah, he's just holding a piece of paper at the moment to stop him with his shares. Can I take a look at the other zombie? Yeah. We got something uh, else like similar in this. Perception check. Wait, so did he pick up the, the, the stuff that the zombie put down or not? Because he was uh, yeah, yeah, going all over this room. Oh no, and he I didn't. I asked what you picked up. Because I don't know. Because you've oh. gone from one side of the room to the 96 other. 96 carved across the cheek. Um, missing an arm. Yeah. You saw um, Nate pick up the arm earlier and it had a, hand. Uh, it had a key in the hand. Yeah, that's it. This is the key. Yeah. Okay. It was Nate that had the key. Is this one holding anything? The one, the live one in front of us? No, it seemed to have just put something on the table and now next to the down. green... F well, that's what he put down first. He put down a, a uh, yeah. jar of green fluid. Now there appears to be a needle next to it. Needle. I hmm. see pain needles. Um, uh, Feng actually says that as well. Do we let him go? Yes. I'm let gonna go. step back and kind of let him pass. You know these things are dangerous. Let him as go. As soon as a, a space is made, dangerous. he just starts walking, carrying on again. Uh... Round the corner. So there's a needle on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> needle and a jar of green fluid. So as Feng. Feng standing there and watches him walk off, he, he will say something, but in a different tone of voice. Uh, here comes the bad times. <laughs> it's different <laughs> to how you've heard him talk so far. <laughs> you alright? Again, gonna look in disbelief and just continue to inspect yeah. what's on the, the table or the all coffin, right. what a tomb, whatever it is. Uh, also, I'm Yoki, by the way. With enough people getting close to Feng, you notice he has no pupils. No pupils. His eyes are glazed over. What, did he have pupils before? <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> I'm guessing uh, he did, and now he doesn't. I'm Yoki. I'm Feng. What's your name? Feng. Feng. I hold out a big meaty hand to shake yours. Shake his hand. Yeah, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. You throw a good punch. Is this what I do? Nah, fuck a zombie. <laughs> oh. Comes out, places... This time, what appears to be Fred on the tomb. Place is what? Fred. Yeah, Fred. like uh, I, th I thought you said Fred. <laughs> yeah, see. yeah, I was like, who's Fred? No guy like <laughs> Fred. <laughs> Fred, Fred <brother. laughs> um, okay, how uh, can uh, I start looking down the, these exits? On this one, there's anything on his head? Yeah, just uh, it's not on the forehead so much, but on the cheek, ninety-six. Ninety-six. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look down the passageway that he went, the zombie. Okay, that is Yoki. Let's do the thing where you reveal the area. I will follow him. Uh, oh. appears to be lots of, uh, kind of boxes, jars, shelves of equipment around there. Any weapons? Make an investigation check. Huh. Uh, investigation. Uh, yeah. 11. 11? Uh, so as you're going through what appear to be medical implements, find two things that take your fancy. There is a uh, scalpel, and there is a saw. I'll pick up the saw. Okay. Uh, can I use it as a weapon? Yeah, that one would be a uh, 1d6 slash improvised weapon. Nice. That's all I'll do. I'll pick up the scalpel and uh, bring it through for... Sure. Uh, I'll bring it through for Candor. Okay, that'll be a 1d4 improvised weapon if you want. I'm gonna go have uh, a look at any thanks. other exit of this room. Which one? North or East? Straight East. Like Straight East? Yeah. Go to here and you have this big stone door with a, a keyhole in. I'm going to push on the door. Push on the door. Hits resistance. <laughs> I'm going to punch the door. Make a strength check. That is a strength, yeah? 23. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this big echoing sound coming through, but the door holds pretty sturdy. The door's locked. I've seen this thing. Can I just punch him the other door? 
to the north door? Yeah. North door is just a, a simple wooden door with a lock. I could have gone through that. Go ahead and make a strength check if you would like to uh, assault it. Oh, lovely. I believe he's a 21. 21? Yep. <laughs> the thing starts to like creak and you fear uh, a shatter. You feel this one has more give in it. You feel if you stick with it, you're probably going to get through. Yeah, I keep doing it. It's okay. Make another strength check. 17. 17. I'd say just about one of the hinges comes off and the door is, you know, kind of out of shape now with the thing. You could probably wrestle it off if you want to. All right. There's us to, to kick it open. Yeah. You uh, give it an extra kick. It's a nut 20. Yeah. It uh, opens up along the way. Did anyone see me pick up the key? <laughs> I think so. Probably not. You don't need it anymore, Nick. <laughs> I'll just tell you that. Oh, is it for that door? I thought it was for the one I'm at. <sighs> All right, then. never mind. Um, I want to try and uh, at least Can see I what this lot of liquid yeah. is. At this room. The liquid? Make an intelligence check for me. I'm back in Palo, by the way. I want to be close by him if I see him trying to break a door. Four? I mean, liquid, light green could be doing all kinds of stuff. You really have uh, no idea. Uh, Yoki, as you head to back up the dwarf, you feel something uh, clutch to the back of your leg. Uh, I forgot what it is. Is it a zombie? What the hell? You turn around Fred. and you see this small, about half the size of the dwarf creature, uh, grey and like kind of impish, just clamps to your leg like Bip! Get off of me! <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Do you speak? Yeah. Well, get off of me then. No! Can I go and pull him off? Well, you speak English and you're not getting off me, so you must be stupid. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to try and kick him off. <laughs> okay. Um, just give me a sec to get the uh, stats. Uh, uh, like, not so much damaging him, just like shake him off my leg, like boot him off. Make him an off. athletics check. No, I say 11. 11? 11? Is it what you roll today, James? Is it 11? James oh. all odds, this tiny creature, uh, she even has a minus one to strength, um, <laughs> seems to have secreted this oil out of its body, which is attached to your leg, and it seems to be like really stuck to your leg. Can I go to hold my. Pull him off. Like, you can attempt to, yeah. <laughs> is he so coming over? Athletics check for you as well. Oh, then I'll come to you, James. That is a 16. 16. He rolled a 16 minus the one is 15. Yeah. So you managed to... As you see this oil, it's almost gluing him to uh, Yoki. And then you pull him off and he's like... Hoo! That's all over my leg. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, this sticky oil is now sliding down your leg. What, what is wrong with you? I'm just going to hold him towards Yoki. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fang. Hey, okay. Uh, what's he look like? Do I know what he is? Uh, make a intelligence check, I guess it would be. Ten. Ten? <laughs> you've heard of these creatures in, like, fairy tales and stuff like that? You, you've heard them in tales? Some you weren't even 100% sure is true, but you kind of recognize it as a boggle. A boggle? Yeah. Oh, uh, just a small impish creature. Usually they like pranks. Uh, they are summoned in some manner, but you can't quite remember how. Uh, okay. Um, so, I'm I quite squ weak and... Should I squash him? Pathetic creatures. Uh, not yet. We don't know much about this place. Turns uh, around to face you, Nate, and he's just like, No, no, take me with you! Why? You're the only alive ones I've seen in here in ages. I guess there's no mirror. There's no what? Mirror. mirror? <laughs> it's just me being uh, an idiot talking to him. No, I don't think there's anything like it. You could go up to the, the jar of embalming. Try and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, never mind. 
Can I see anything in this room? Okay, you head Are forward. Uh, there appears to have been a collapsing. Yeah. Uh, in the corner. And then there appears to be stairs going down to your right, to the east. Mm. How do we get through that stone door? The stone door? Well, I rarely see the stone door opened. The wooden door, though. The zombies come through here a lot. Well, the wooden door seems to be destroyed. Yeah, that's good. So I'll take me with you. Through the wooden door. Okay. I'm going to take him with me. I'm going to let him sit on my shoulder. You taking okay. this thing with you? No, Sits on your shoulder. Nice. And you feel a little... As some fluid seems to come out of it again and attach to your shoulder, and it seems quite rigidly on there. Yeah, you shake it a little bit, and he's like, woo, woo, but he's stuck on there quite well. What's your name? Uh, name? <laughs> Don't have name. I'm gonna call you Jerry. Okay, I have name. Jerry. Hey, oh, Jerry. <laughs> the, well, I scruntily look at Fang. Any funny business, and I'll saw him off this time, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not doing anything bad. Look at him. Look of panic at you now. <laughs> you little <laughs> bastard. He's How did you end up here, anyway? I don't know. Sometimes I just uh, appear in places, and I appeared here. Yeah, it checks out. Fang, how did you end up here? Oh, oh I, was fell I was walking, I was fighting in the pit. Uh, I was asking everyone after I killed something, Are you not entertained? Uh, and then, I'm here. <laughs> huh. I was fighting as well. Yeah, I was, a. Uh... This is interesting. Yeah. What do you fight with, Fang? Obviously well, not an arm, I guess. Well, I usually fight with a big old X. Nice, but force. Axe. I like it's it. It's a good X, well, it's more of a slicing. I get it, slashing damage. I shouldn't have said blunt force. <laughs> that would be a hammer. It's not that blunt. Brute force, that's what I meant brute to say. Brute force, yeah, I'll do that. I'm definitely a brute. Uh, but people tend to stay away from me lately these days. They feel very unsettled around me. I don't know why. Well, you got one stuck to your shoulder now, so. I know, that's why I like him. Jerry. Um, I'm going to put in at this point, I'm going to say. <laughs> You've had enough talking, can we get out of here now? You can talk later. You're impatient. What's the rush, Candor? Well, you, you see... You've got somewhere to be. Well, I'm not supposed to be here. And the way I see it, we're part of some devilish scheme. And also, I want my clothes back. This is indecent of me. Feel the breeze on your skin, kid. This is usually what I, I wear. I've got, I mean, I'm a little bit more covered up, but this is about it. Um, and I'm going to pick up the bottle, uh, the embalming, whatever stuff, um, and uh, go towards the, the, the door that was conveniently bust through. Did I accidentally say what the green fluid was? You did. You yeah, it's did. embalming fluid, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still picking it up, to, anyway. It's when I was trying to look for a mirror, you said it. Yeah. Oh, fucking dickhead. <laughs> Spoilers. Boy, My character still doesn't know what it is, but I'm going to pick it up regardless um, and take it with me as I go towards the, the door. Okay. Yeah, I think as I noticed, the dwarf's already gone. How yeah, did I get another dwarf. pet in this fucking thing? Door. <laughs> yeah, straight away. Uh, I will say as you're going that way, um, the little boggle on your shoulder is just like, Look out for dusties. Dusty. What the hell? Dusty. Dusty. Dusties. Dustin or Dusty? Dusty. Who's, who's Dusties. Who, uh, who are well, Dusty? Dusty. Dustmen. More information, Jerry. That didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> the Dustmen. No, run this place. Uh, no. Have they got our stuff? Because old Candor here is a bit oh. shy. Don't think he likes being a bit like good people. There's a stairway here. Shall we I go? I don't think you should talk to the dusties. Actually, Scamp, have you seen a sword around here? No. Have you seen anything, Jerry? Uh, I've seen things. I've seen a bear. 
seen a big orc? No. I nope, seen a nope, little nope, dwarf? No. Nope, right. I seen an elf? Jerry, stop talking. Not right now. <laughs> Not us. Have you seen I seen a zombie? I seen another zombie? Okay, Jerry, shut up before I knock you out. <laughs> Thank you. About six zombies. Oh, oh st six. We only took care of three. Two. We've only seen there's three more zombies. Oh, there's hundred and eighty here, useful about. information. There's Shall we carry zombies. on through this way? Why not? Yeah, let's Take go. Let's go. Okay, who's more? taking the lead? Who, who wants to go up front? I'm, I'm in front. So I'm kind of stuck. Sorry, I won't say. Yeah. I'm this, Siegfried, yeah. I'm want the movie here, yeah. Another rule I'm going to introduce is um. The help action. So if anyone's ever doing anything, you can use your action to help so they have advantage on the roll. Similar to what we've been doing, but just officially speaking. Okay. You get what so I'm saying? So, advantage, yeah, so it's supposed to be help. done. So just show you're helping and they will get advantage on the roll unless it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking continuously here. helping the party and whatever they're doing. <laughs> Perception check, please, uh, Siegfried. I'll help. Siegfried, Perception. With Yoki's uh, assistance, so it's an advantage. Did you roll with advantage? No. Yeah, I'm helping you. Helping you. I'm, I'm, I'm holding him up and like using him like a periscope or something. <laughs> oh, okay. He's uh, 20 then. Let's see, are you looking up his asshole and seeing out his eyes or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, you open up this much bigger room at the bottom of the stairs. You catch little sight of what appears to be another room here. You catch the edge of the zombie. Another room here. Uh, another zombie just in the distance there. And you just catch the outline of somebody at a table over in the north. Uh, somebody uh, doesn't appear a zombie, though. Am I? Uh, would you roll a 20? Yeah, this one appears the clothes still ragged, but appear much neater yeah. than most of the zombies. It doesn't appear to have any flesh damage, even though you're looking at the back. Of a balding head, it's looking away from you. Uh, uh, guys, there's two doors. This, this two zombie doors. here, yeah, is just walking around in a triangle. Just walks over there, walks over there, gets to a point, turns, and just keeps walking around in a triangle like that. Okay, there's a zombie here. There's another one that keeep walking weirdly way. It's kind of crazy. And there's another creature here. I don't know what it is though. What do you mean walking crazy? Is keep walking in a triangle. I will. I will say in a. Very Sounds like he's keeping watch. Yeah, but it's like really close. Once again, watch to what? I don't uh, know. Feng, slightly mm -hmm. louder than you probably all want, but he just says, "Let me loose, let me loose." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a really weird look. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just giving him constant weird looks uh, and like to... shying away from him, just like. Yeah. Say after that, you can see that he, like he seems in pain. Every time that happens. Fang, are you okay? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I just. I got voices that speak to me, and uh, he tends to, yeah. In you your head. your head at birth. No, I got uh, a big old. I got hit by a big hammer. And it it left a mark, and I turn around and there's a big old scar down the back of my head and down my neck. That explains a few things. Uh, so yeah, I got, sometimes I say I say things out loud. That I'm gonna like lead over to uh, Secret. Can yeah. you fix mental issues? <laughs> me, me, no. Yeah. Maybe if we just smack him again, it'll put him right. Yeah, I heard don't, that story. Don't, don't smack me. My work. Or my made it worse. Who knows? Yeah. I'm, all, I'm all right. I just sometimes I say things where I probably shouldn't. Just so you know. Well, just try and keep quiet, Fang, all right? <laughs> okay. We don't want anything seeing us. Okay, or keep, the people in your head. I'll keep quiet. Fang, Fang will be quiet. And you too, you... Little bastard. What? Looking at the name on his <laughs> Jerry, shush. Don't worry, I'll be quiet. I don't want to attract the justice. Can I try and stealth up to the right? Is that a stairway or a doorway? Um, yeah, there. There? You can try and stealth over there if you want. Yeah, make a stealth Just check. To for... Get into the doorway. Mm -hmm. uh, 
succeed. Okay. Walk around. And you manage to uh, get, I'd say, just into the doorway. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, sorry. Uh, let's do the reveal. You have a little room, another little slab. This one uh, has nothing on it. Uh, you get a better look into here. This appears to have a slab on it too. You get a better look at the room as a whole. This big table with uh, that gentleman there. Uh, it appears to be symmetrical all the way across. I'd say that's what you get. It's okay. okay. I'm going to gesture to the others, like, into this room. It seems right. quite safe. Okay, stealth roll from everyone that's moving. Can I tell Jerry oh, four. to keep an eye on behind me? Uh, yeah, sure. Anything. No, sorry, three. Uh, you, Jerry, you're going to okay. pay attention to what's behind. All right, give me a heads really up quiet. if it comes from behind. Yeah. Natural one. Fucking hell, the worst stealth roll of all time. <laughs> stealth! Okay. So, eight. This guy isn't doing me very good. <clears throat> in that room, I'll say. I got eight. <laughs> okay. <Jerry> has advantage. <laughs> Seemingly nothing happens. You still have this one walking around. That guy's not facing us. Which guy? That guy rips yeah, off okay. a page from the book he's writing in, hands it forward. It says, take it to the desk, and that zombie takes it and just starts walking down into the room you came from. Oh, okay, the desk. To the desk? Have, we, have I seen the desk? Well, the, the cabinet. It's the cabinet. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go through that stone door. I was about to say. <laughs> um, what should that? we, uh, should we rough him up? Oh, I'm always good for it. Uh, it's always fun. Let's rough things up. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, stuff. the guy's got a bunch of zombie slaves. He ain't exactly going to be a nice guy. Well, it's going to be easy to take care yeah, of zombie slaves. Can we not try to talk with him before? We could try and sneak up and restrain Generally, him. Generally, I punch first and then talk. I like Yoki. Yoki, I like you. Yes, but... Should we talk to him first? Tell you what. Tell you what. I'll try and get up behind him. You do some talking. If it goes south, we're ready for him. Okay. I mean, I could put on a show to distract him. I think you're probably better off using your big muscles. Well, hey, I'll use my muscles. It's a gun show. <laughs> how does that sound, people? I don't mind making a distraction. Yeah, how, you you woke up with, uh, with Siegfried. Create your distraction. Oh, Jake Reed as well. Yeah. Secret can do the talking. Hopefully, I can get behind. Candor, is there anything you can read in that room? You're the reading guy. <laughs> Can't believe it. In the in the the big room you, you're referring to, yeah, this room. He had a book. You you think you could read that? If you need me to read something, then I guess I can. Who knew that you'd be? I can do it as well. <laughs> you can read too. Yes, I can. No, it's not that uncommon a thing, really. You know we were the smart party. <laughs> I'm surrounded by a lot of intelligent people. Bunch of nerds. All right. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to step out then. Okay, um, as you step out about this time, that uh, zombie that went in there is coming back, crossing the front of you, and coming back off. to wait <laughs> in front of him. Yeah, oh, so sorry. Sorry. I'll, I'll let... Okay. I'm gonna let Thingy, uh, Fang, and Secret do their thing, and then I want to try and sneak at the same time. So I'm yeah, I want to kind of like walk being yeah, here. Move around here. Yeah. So around, around, trying to see what colors we have here. I'd say as you get about this cro close, uh, the gentleman doesn't look back, but he's just kind of like, "There's no need to get physical with me. I won't resist." Well, that was easy. Oh, uh, guys. Who are you, good sir? My name is Kaban. Did I recognize the, the name from the piece of paper? The... Yeah, it's the same name. Okay. Ooh. So, why you summon us here? Well, what happened? Yeah. Kind of. I don't know. Shot calls a little bit and it turns into a, a cough, which he stifles and then strands himself out. You were not summoned, you were delivered. 
delivered? What do you mean? Yes. Yeah, okay. We received dead bodies and you were delivered a few days ago as dead. Well, I'm not dead. See, I told you. <laughs> See, me being dead is a kind of a 50 50 thing. Uh, so. I look like. I can understand alive. where you got confused, but I'm not technically. I agree, you look far more lively right now than. I'm not technically. Several days ago. Instead of like talking now, I was kind of like sneaking in the background when he says no need to get physical. I just kind of just like shrugged. Oh, okay. Just walked over to the <laughs> guys. Yeah, I'll come out into the room as well. Okay. Oh, oh, Jerry, is this a dustman? <laughs> He's kind of like uh, just nods at you. She's a dustman. What's a dustman? Dustman is uh, one of the factions here in Sigil. Are you that new to our land? I, I literally just woke up on a slab. <laughs> uh, we uh, are the dustmen. We believe in death. Everybody is going to die. In many ways, we already are dead. So we help people on their journey to the afterlife. So, so emo. if you believe in death and everyone is supposed to be dead, why are you controlling these zombies? And if any of them come near me, I'm just going to, like, poke it. They are simple corpses, tools. So there's no the, soul. Uh, the soul has departed. The soul has moved on to the eternal boundary. Mm. Here we make use of the tools we have. We have no want for the living. Is this why we deliver here? So we are to use us as zombie as well. We receive all the dead. Some we turn, some we burn. Oh god, which one we... Oh, yeah, you were which one burn was me. our purpose? Burning or turning? You had not been designated yet, you were in waiting. Well, at least we're waiting. But as you can see, we are alive, so we want to get the hell out of here. Oh, so where's my stuff? Where's, where's That's my true. Where's my and we are our equipment as well, please. You arrived with nothing. Good. Whoever delivered you likely stripped you of your possessions. Well, any idea who delivered us? Delivered us? From evil. He uh, turns to the zombie and says, Fetch me the book. The uh, zombie starts book. Can I, like, I'm going to slam my fist down on the table in front of him. So you're saying we're dead? I don't think you're dead. But you did appear dead two days ago. That's why you were processed. But no, I didn't you... die. I don't die. I don't lose. Never happened. It's your 50 50 thing with me, I've told you. Last that. thing I remember, I was victorious. I can understand your mistake. I okay. apologize. <laughs> no argument from me. Uh, I'll say it loudly again Confusion! <laughs> I got to oh fucking he's doing it again. Pardon our friend. <laughs> Most around here are problematic. Just a big you're, problem, just... you're more intelligent than what I'm used to working with, as indicates the zombie walking around in a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's his problem? <laughs> uh, probably hasn't been following the rule of three. They can't multitask very well. Probably got mixed orders or something. Can't process them. No oh, way. Right. Is he walking around anything? This one is walking in a triangle. Is make there anything a, around uh, him? Make a perception check. Uh, 13. 13? Doesn't appear anything important, anything rigid about the, the pattern he's walking. Uh, doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, is this zombie come back with the book yet? Yeah. Uh, nope. Uh, no. What's your name? Caban, yeah? I would just say very quickly while you're looking at that one there, walking around like that, um, you see the number as well, carved into the head, 27. Ooh, has the guy got a number? Caban. Oh, is there a number on us anyway? Hmm. 
Who do you want to look at? I want to look at myself. Make a perception. Uh, no real way to do that. Sad. I mean, you can perception check at extreme disadvantage. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not looking at my face. I will look everywhere else. Check your body. Make yeah. perception check. Or investigation. Uh, not investigation. They're both bad. Feel around your own body. Yeah, investigation check, actually. You can feel your face for cuts. 14. 16 minus 2. <laughs> uh, you seem pretty clean, apart from that normal mark on the back of your head and a few recent scars from battles you're aware of. Nothing new. Um, yeah. You seem okay. Alright. That oh, was just a thought, eh? Uh... Upon, <laughs> upon seeing him do that, may I attempt to do the same and check myself? Yeah, investigation check. It's a 13. Sure, and I'd say, for the safety of everyone else, you all appear to be clean and tidy and uh, as you were before you got here. I just thought I didn't roll high enough. <laughs> Has this Caban guy got a number on it? Make a perception check. Can I help him? Sure. Wait, what? <laughs> you want to help him? So... Yeah. So, advantage or we both roll? Absolutely, advantage. Advantage with help. I go for that, 18. It's always too late every time I want to help anyone, so that's straight away. <laughs> um, so the face appears old and wrinkled. This is a very old man, and clothes aren't very clean. They're ragged, um, but he's not a zombie, and he doesn't appear to have any such face. Uh, quite dirty, but no, it doesn't seem to have gone through the same condition these zombies have. Okay. Can I go and have a look at any... Exits. Yeah, so you have uh, one to the south and one to the east. So where would you like south. to go, Feng? I'll go to the south. Yeah, the zombie gave you your book back. You were looking for a book before. Uh, not yet, no. He'll return when he finds it. Is it a stone door again? Okay. Um, yeah, this one is a big stone door keyhole again. Wait, did I take the book? You did take a book. <laughs> I, I uh, said, I'll say to, take a book? say to him, uh, is this the book? It's your servant is looking for. He uh, looks at you and goes, that would explain why he hasn't returned yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk over and hand it to him, but before like he grasps it, yeah. or as he tries to grasp it, I'm not going to let go and say, how do we get out of here? Uh, you have to find one of the many doors. Is this one? <laughs> I imagine eventually that would lead to a way out. Yes. I'll 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 let go. And just look at him inquisitively, as if like confused as to how he wouldn't know. I'm going You've to... never heard of sigil. No. No. None of you. No. no. Nope. You are in the city of doors. The city of doors? Yes. Every Throughout city. this city are portals to other areas, other planes. Some of them permanent, some of them temporary, some of them moving, and they all require keys. Keys to open said doors to go to different places. You said we have several doors here in the mortuary, which require several different keys. Uh, to someone unaware, this place is a maze. Do you have a key? No, I have not left my post for 40 years. 40 years? Bloody hell. How do you, do you eat? How do you get food? I get brought food. I get deliveries. How do they get to you? They come through the doors every so often. Out of game, are we all from the same... Uh, plane of existence. Or would I like to find out for myself? I mean, you'd all be from a material plane, but you might be from different areas. I mean, that's up to you, you know, it might be a Ravnica or uh, a <laughs> You can be from anywhere. I'd say uh, it doesn't have to be from somewhere specific. But you're all, you all get the feeling you're from the material plane. You're unaware of ever hearing of a sigil. Or anything yeah. Like okay. Okay. Well, Derry, you know where I'm from then. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I, 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 I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how do I get back home? 
Well, uh, that is the problem. People who come here, to my experience, do not get home. This is a waypoint of no return. Well, this isn't good. Uh, can I... But you said we gotta know where to go. So there is a way out. If it was well known, I don't think many people would stay here. But as it is, we are heavily populated. Well, we've got to just try and look. Who? Who's your boss? What if... Can I see a manager? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Karen. I deal with a, a few people, but we all work towards the cause. And I should warn you, I'm more... less caring than the others. I simply am here to do my work, to log the dead, but the others might take umbrage to your existence. You may want to... You are supposed to be dead. You may want to... By living, me. you stand in defiance of our very belief. Well, do you know of somewhere we can get some basic equipment to aid in our escape? If you mean adventuring equipment... I would say you're in the wrong place. A means of escape, a key? You could try your chances in the next room. Okay. What's in the next room? I'm just gonna go over, start walking. A dust back. man who has more movement than I do. i start walking over to that next door. More movement? You got another yeah. wooden door there. He's got 20 movement. Welcome yeah, to I was gonna say, what do you mean movement? As I said, I've been here for 40 years. This is my post. I have not stepped outside those doors. But obviously, others have freedom. They can go places. They know how to get in and out. And I'm going to try my key. So he out. might be our answer. What's that? Gonna... Who, Say that again, James. No, he might be our answer. If he can move around. Very possibly. I believe he'd have access to many floors to deal with the bodies as he does. I'm going to try my key. Again, I give you one final warning. Not all Dusties will be receptive to your existence. Which would be careful with your words and your actions. Can I stand behind uh, uh, Fang ready? ready the door opens moment. very easily for you, Knight. Doors open. Should we do this? Or what? All right, let's go. Okay. I don't like this, but let's go. Well, if you're welcome to stay here if you want. No. I don't want to stay at all. I want to go. Alright, then I will go. I am looking bruised. <laughs> as well. Okay, Feng goes oh, first. Yeah, took six damage. As you come around the corner, you are... You kind of notice this is kind of a uh, mirrored uh, appearance here. So very similar to the room you just departed from. Uh, so, two more zombies, you see. Uh, in this one, the slabs have bodies on. And to the right of the room is this one big slab with a body on. And this person appears to have, like, needles sticking out of their hands and they're okay, poking not... into the body. Like Newton needle hand. <laughs> Couldn't think of a good name. Uh, uh, does he look similar to the other guy? Like maybe some clothing or anything like that? Like another sense. dustman. I'll walk into the room. Eight. Eight. Um, <laughs> definitely doesn't look like a zombie. Uh, ragged clothes, kind of old. Same vibe. No way to be sure. I'm gonna Just walk room. into the room. Yeah. Siegfried as well. Oh. Nice. Hello. Oh no. My, my name's Fang. No response. Mm. He's he's rather rude. <laughs> I have just See, to coming out of the passage to the west, oh. this zombie with lots of burnt flesh steps over to one of the slabs, picks up what appears to be a body part, and then starts walking back down that way. Oh, he's creepy. Uh, Ooh, is that, that a stone that... door? Say again? Is that a stone door, like similar to what we've seen so far? 
that one's open to the west. It should lead to where you can get into. Before. I'm going down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, you about rush to like over that. here, Siegfried with you as well. Yeah. You look down, and what you see is this, uh, the further it goes down, the brighter the light gets, this red glow coming out, and this heat is hitting you heavily, uh, even just standing at the top of the stairs. Mm. Uh... Can I go and look at what this guy is doing? I was about to say, I'm just... Sure, make an investigation. Uh, perception check for me. First of all, yeah. I just kind of walk up to the table. Just... Yeah, you stood next to him. I'm gonna. And he's, he's not looking at me. He no takes no attention to you. What did um, you say, sir? I just said, uh, yeah, I wanted to stay by there. Thank you. Cool. What am I doing? Perception. Yep. Yeah, uh, eight. Eight. Um. Appears to be doing something to this uh, body, which kind of looks like it's almost in the middle of an autopsy. The chest could open. She has these needles on the end of her fingers, which keeps digging into parts of the body. It seems to be like manipulating uh, elements. Um, he, sorry. Uh, the one thing you do notice, say even with that low roll, is uh, the eyes completely white. Uh, the zombie's got white eyes. Um, kind of glazed over, but not the same way as Okay. Can I drop myself into it by saying I've got glazed eyes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's making a fang. I'm trying to uh, move here, It can only be one thing. What are you doing, secret? Yeah, I'm trying to move here. Because it doesn't look like it's a safe way to go through the way in this one. Creatures usually have two. Yeah, look over way. here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, there seems to be another room uh, full of equipment, but it's collapsed in a little bit on the side. Can I see anything useful? Make an investigation check. Investigation! He's a seven! See that gun. Our rolls are fantastic. I mean, you find a... You think about weaponry and you find a metal pipe and you briefly consider using it as a weapon. Um... You find a couple of uh, screwed up notes on one of the uh, shells. That's mm -hmm. all that stands out to you. Okay. Can I use it as a weapon? Yeah, 1d6 bludgeoning damage for the metal button. Okay. Cool. I'm going to ask this guy, uh, how the hell are you doing? No response, not even a reaction. What are his eyes like? That's the one I'm saying, glazed over. Oh, his there. eyes are glazed over. Sorry, yeah. I thought you meant the body. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, my mistake. The guy's eyes are glazed. Jerry, okay. do you know anything Ooh. about this boy? What was that name? Jerry, do you know anything about this guy? He looks this one. like a dusty to me. Can I roll a check to see if I reckon he's, he's being alive. controlled or something like that? Sure, make a... Or if he's like not present in the room kind of thing. Uh, I, I will let you, you can make an insight check. Insight, okay. It's good. It's 20. 20? You think about what's going on and you start to have a an inkling in your head and you're like, this guy's here, this guy's focused on what he's doing, but he just cannot hear or see me. It doesn't appear to be magical, it might just be natural, it might be death and blood. Ah, I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder. Okay, uh, there's a slight <laughs> reaction, and then turns to you and puts hands on your shoulder. It says, "Fetch me a needle and fret, and then let's go with you." He goes back to the boy. Um, I'm gonna say, "What are you doing?" Just play along with it. I'm gonna go look for needle and thread in this room Paolo went to. Okay, make an investigation check. Can I search the guy's pockets? Eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah, I'd say after a little bit of foraging around, you find a, a needle and thread. Uh, what are you attempting to do? There's no pockets on the outside, seemingly. Oh. I was going to look for a key. Well, I mean, there's certain places on the body you can look. Are you going to try and dig into the coat? No, 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 no. If I can't see anything, I'm not going to... No, nothing on the outside, I would say. I'll go back down. 
Just take a step give down. him the needle and thread. I want to see what if he's going to bring this person back to life. Okay, as you uh, touch again, there's a shake, and then finds your arms, follows your hands down to get the needle and thread, takes him. It seems to start rapidly. The fingers are just going, sews up the body. It seems to sews up any damage there is, and then turns back to you, and the hand touches your shoulder, comes back up to you around your chest, and there's kind of a, a moment of confusion on her face, like a furrowed eyebrows. And then she brings back the claws and just presses them into your chest. What and you all... feel nothing as this happens. No pain. Completely painless. I... Again, I would back she... away if, you, if, if it's... he's doing this. You back away? Yeah, if he's if he stuck his needle lands in my chest, I try and back away. Yeah? Yeah. You step away and they, she loses at heat. Fucking wow. <laughs> he loses his uh, grip of you. He just kind of looks confused. Takes a moment. Um, okay, Reaches so I reckon it's deaf and blind. How the fuck do you Into mean? his coat. Pulls out a key. Says, Go find Pox. So <laughs> key. I'll take the key. Yeah. yeah. And then returns to the body and starts doing stuff with the body. Can I look at my chest where he stuck needles at me? Are there holes? There's a... a I mean, it's they're very thin needles. There's almost yeah. no sign of anything there. Oh, so I couldn't tell anyway, Link. Like, you okay. didn't feel anything. It felt completely painless. I'm gonna move down. Stay away. Do I feel okay? You feel fine, yeah. The freaker. You just got fiddled. I got a key! Ooh! Let's Sorry. go back to the other stone door. Nate, what did you say you were doing? Going down the stairs. Down the stairs? As just, you're going just, down, just one step hotter in. and hotter, brighter and brighter, you really start this heat starting to make you sweat now. Yeah, I'll come back. Um... Okay. And after um... you, you find again this burnt zombie comes up, walks past you, gets another body part, goes back down into so the red again. Uh... <laughs> uh, Fang, you know that stone door? Was there a keyhole? It, this, I usually don't <laughs> open things with. Yeah, I think there was. I didn't notice. I just hit it. I didn't look at it. I got a key. Uh, yes, I a crazy it. needle it's person key. gave it to me. Big red key, this one. More substantial than a uh, simple little key. I should open go back? somewhere. Is there anywhere. You reckon it's too hot down there to walk down there? I think that's just a pit of fire. You couldn't see anything, no? No, it was really bright and fucking hot. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there and, like, carry on walking until you tell me that I'm taking damage. Haven't you got food? You're gonna get singed. I am very flammable. <laughs> okay. Why would you. I'm just I, I, I want to stop if I feel like it's gonna hurt me, that's what I mean. That's no problem. Uh, so, you start going down, and yeah, it's getting, you know, after a, a good many steps, it's getting really hot, getting really sweaty. You feel like you're pushing your limits if you keep going. So it's almost too hot to see through. It's just red. Oh, okay. I'll come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean, since hot, you've yeah. been up there just watching the scene and with a decent passive perception, <laughs> the zombie that's next to this dust man. Oh, yeah. He has to make eye contact with you for a second, and then the eyes dart away. Uh, that Which corpse one? looked at me. Which one? This, this one. one. I'm no, this one by the dustman. Ah, uh, this yeah, one. I'm, I'm pointing over as well. It, Hello. It, it looked at you? It looked at me, yeah. Hello, my name's Fing. No, <laughs> hand out to shake his hand. Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh, that's a plus one, it's alright. Ah, that's on the floor. <laughs> Let's do this, Sean. Yeah, natural one. Yay! The it's one two, on, though. The one on the floor was a natural one. <laughs> Which wasn't meant to be. Fang just keeps breathing. Just, 
seems to just be staring at the wall. Everyone is awfully rude around here. I'm just I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kind of like not push Fang. I'm just gonna like come past him and go, We can make friends with a zombie. I, don't, I wanna look at his face. To this one here. Yeah, like look yeah. straight in his face, get look, up in his face. This zombie's not done anything to us, the other uh, ones did um, stuff to us. And see, kind of look, look at his it. eyes. That's what I want to look at. Make an inside check. Fang's gonna go pee. Uh, <laughs> uh, 16. Inside rolls are great. Well, far away, I'm not doing anything. Uh, the eyes. This zombie looks nervous. While all the others have looked really blank in expression, this one looks nervous, and the breathing does... is a bit heavy. It's weird that it's breathing. <laughs> does it does it still look undead, or it looks like undead. too? So it definitely it looks convincing, like as a zombie. Yeah, but the behavior it's... isn't convincing. Okay, make a perception check. Then. Oh my five. <laughs> Five? Yeah, it looks pretty much fits in with the rest of them. Has a number above its head as well. Five twelve. Um, I'm gonna get my fingers out and go to poke it in the eye and see if it flinches. Okay, and as you do that, and a hand comes up and stops and just. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like the others. Stop it! <laughs> oh my god, he can talk. Ah! Uh, I'm trying to look blankly at the wall again. <laughs> you're not a, you're you're not a zombie. I know you're not a zombie. What's your name? You're blowing my cover. <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab him and pull him over to <gasps> to the little room where uh Siegfried went into. Okay. So you pull him over to here. Yeah. So out of uh, I. Uh, I was going to say fucking line of sight of this guy, but he's blind anyway. Um, <laughs> what's your deal? Uh, uh, make a persuasion check. Can I help you? You don't see the scene was like, what the fuck? What I miss? Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... five. I got minus two. I'll let you roll if you're on power. No, 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 you roll. I got minus two, mate. Okay. <laughs> you should roll power. Uh, 14. 14? <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, it's kind of like... Oh, I roll an 8, mate. I'm trying to keep an eye on the <laughs> Dusties, and I'm just checking them out. Are you a zombie? No. Obviously not a zombie. I'm going to feel his face and like try and... like. He's wearing a mask or something. The, 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 wearing, hard on this. Is he wearing a mask? Well, he tries to stop you. Do you persist anyway? Yeah, I'm trying to like ruffle his no, like stop it, stop makeup. It. I gotta going. keep my cover. Stop it! What do you want? Um. Okay, I'll stop. I'll, stop. I'll, put, I'll put my arm off. Um. You're undercover as a zombie. Yeah. There are better things to be undercover as. Well, no, you gotta keep an eye on these dust men. We gotta, we gotta sort them out. It's not right what they're doing. Uh, we're What's all it? dead, and we're all supposed to be dead. That's not good. Uh, start from the beginning, okay? Why are you dressed as a zombie? So I could get in here and watch the Dusties. Did you, did you die like us? Well, no, I say die. Dead. It's, it's all, it's all makeup. It's all, it's all a disguise. It's goddamn convincing. I know, I'm fucking shit out at this. That or your shit of perception, it's one of those. <laughs> or me, I feel. Well, maybe it's you as well, but definitely me. No, we worked hard on this, man. So you, you broke into this place? Yeah, yeah. You came from outside? Yeah. How do we get outside? Yeah, that's the well, you, you gotta use one of the doors. Which one? The next person that tells me to find the right goddamn door. I, Give uh, me specifics. Well, I know a door, but maybe we can do a deal. I don't make deals with zombies. I'm not a zombie. We covered that. I'm not a zombie. Show me your face. No, I need to. It's hard to put back on. I gotta leave it on. Can I side check him? Yeah, sure. 15. 15? Seems like he's genuine. He's in what he's saying, pretty much. Um, yeah, for the most part, from what you can tell. Mm, yeah. he, he wants to keep the disguise. Doesn't seem like a zombie. The more he talks, the more yeah, alive talk this person appears. They're, they're 
chest is rising and lowering like it's breathing. Okay. Uh, first off, what's your name? Kraken. Uh, Kraken. Yeah, just call me Crick. Crick. Okay, you say we gotta stop what they're doing. It looks kind of weird. Not but we I agree with you. I come, but I just need to figure out what's going on. But the thing is, you know, I can't go a lot of places. They don't, they don't always give me things to do. Uh, but I saw, uh, I saw you get a hold of a key there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good key. You, you, you tell, you give me that key, and I can, I can get you out of here in an instant. There's a door right in this room. Um, can I do a percept? I'll look back out the door and do a perception check. See if I see any other doors. Okay, make a perception check. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Is there doors that we haven't seen? You can't quite make out any uh, any doors. No, you can't see anything. Okay. I see three entryways. I've been to every one. What are you on about? You can't see the door until you activate it. Come on, it's basic stuff. Just tell us, and we're gonna open the door. No, you give me the key, and I'll give you the door. Can I Why are you on the key? Because I'll be able to get around and do my thing. Tell us where the door is. You can follow us out. I don't want to. I know how to get out. That's not a problem. I want to go further in. That's what I'm saying. You can follow us further in when we open this door. Can I no, when I open this in? door, you get out. I can open a door for you for the, to get out. You can give me a key, and I can go in. Can I come into the room? Sure. Just All right, just make a deal. Room. We give you the key. If you make the wrong move, we're gonna twat you. That's fair. I get that a lot. Never mind then. <laughs> what, what will you do? I was just gonna pin him against the wall. <laughs> Fine. Um. So you on the key? You yeah. give us a way out. Yeah. Have you seen any weapons in here? They took something of mine. Yeah. Uh, Everything. Something of all of ours. No, I ain't seen no weapons in here. I, I know they got some guards. The, the uh, probably further in, but... The guards said that Keep whoever it. delivered us... I don't us, know if you'd be much of a match for him. Whoever delivered us took our stuff. That's what the guy said. We came here... That's, that that is true, Fang. Very, very astute. Thank you. Uh, I got Jerry. I like Jerry. Still, I don't trust anybody here, including you, Crick. Why are you in here? Seems like a dangerous place to be, you know, sneaking into. Yeah, it is, but someone's got to do the dangerous stuff. You got to be the change in the world, right? You got to get inside it to bring it down. You got to, you got to be here. Uh, can I inside check him? Sure. Nine. Uh, he seems a little weird, but in that, in that he seems to believe this. <laughs> seems to be really um, into like. I just want to put my arm around down the dustman, man. I'm still a bit of like of like an asshole. I'm gonna leave him this hippie stuff. Oh, yeah. Bullshit! You got an angle. Just want to put my arm around him. We'll be like, You're so here to get something ladies. or someone. Let me guess. They got your friend or something. No, they. I just got. You know, nobody gets in here unless you're dead. How did you get in here? They said we were dead. For me, that's... That's good. That's, I considered that, but it seemed a bad idea. It's half and half for me, but that's all I can understand <laughs> why they were... Fucking kills me every time you say that next. 50-50. It's 50-50, and I, I understand <laughs> why they got it mixed up, and I have, I have accepted their apology. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think, my friend, we need to get out. So you need to show us where the door is. Otherwise, my friend Jerry, oh, he may look nice, but he's a vicious little bugger. Okay, look. It. He takes a step back. And he's like, hand me the key. I won't leave this room until wow. you take the door out of here. You got me. I'm, so you I'm just gonna, gotta give me the key. I'm going to hold the key forward. And I'll be like, okay. But, you do anything untoward, I'm gonna make your makeup a hell of a lot more convincing, alright? Uh, I would have... <laughs> I get it, I get it. Uh, you're all gonna wanna be, uh, over that side. I don't know if you can get in from this side, but, uh, and he looks to you, James, he's like, you're, you're standing in the doorway, and he takes the key from you. 
So I've t I've, I would have told what's his face, Canandor. Should should we wait for Canandor? I would have told Canandor to come down. I imagine he would be following. <laughs> Once we've all gotten in that room, I'm sure we'd get a little closer. I'm, I'm going to take a quick piss before you have this. Yeah, no worries. Everyone, take a, a quick break. Break. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Let's kill everything. Little break, but I'm guessing you got a bit closer as we got into the room. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some snacks then. No news from Coco? I got news from Coco, but I don't think he's going to be joining us. Okay. Uh, I have messages to see how he is. Maybe he'll give us a, a heads up. Maybe okay. he'll join halfway through the session. Is he Maybe. good? Is someone to be worried about? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> ah, okay. Well. Is he fucking somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he wouldn't tell me that. No. Okay. Uh, I did ask if I could tell you a lot, and he said, no, let's wait, let's make no, a surprise. No, that's fair, cool. As long as he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's nothing it's major, it's just, to worry about. It's as fine. he said, chaotic stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's chaotic cocoa, then it's fine. So, yeah, I got inside sauce. I'll find it. How are we all doing so far? Are we enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah it's weird, but... Yeah, well, I hope everyone is liking uh, Feng. And no one recognises the setting? No. I was expecting, like, oh no, I don't I'm know any of the settings very well anyway. I was worried someone might have, like, played the game set here. Like, I have. What is it? Uh, I'll tell you one day. Oh, okay, no, no, that's fine. I thought, I thought you just mentioned it then. No, we'll get through uh, the one shot first, and I'll bring it. Uh, um, a minute. Everything is still recording. Both screens are still recording, so that's good. Sexy. Very sexy. Yes. So, Kendo, just to bring you up to date, uh, this zombie here isn't a zombie. He's uh, offered to give you a door out of here in exchange for the key. And he's taken the key off Yoki, and he's told you all to just get outside of this little room, and he will open the doorway. He said, you, Yoki, are standing in the doorway. Uh, the boggle is on your uh, shoulder, Nate, and he's kind of like, way out, way out, way out. Oh, yeah, Jerry, Jerry's coming. Me and, Jer me and Jerry are excited. So... Um, but he told me he told me to get out of the way. He said, take a step back. He said, you're standing in the doorway, and he recommended the other two go on the other side. He doesn't know if it works from the other side. All right. So, yeah, I would have gone on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Step back. Siegfried, you go on the other side? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to whisper to Yoki, if you do something wrong, just throw you something to him. It's like... Uh... Try to run away or something. He uh, looks okay. around and like pats his pockets and then kind of like, right. Um, I need blood. Just a little drop of blood. Oh, whose blood? Any blood. Blood will do it. I think I'm still bleeding. Probably. Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> so is that corpse that was being operated on? Is that is there blood around there? Uh, yeah, I'd say you can find a little bit of blood there. I'm probably still bleeding. <laughs> Get my poor. Yeah, he needs to be juicy. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> Said a little bit of blood. Go there and you get like a little bit of blood and he's like, flick it on the floor in between this hallway. If we, if we summon Cthulhu Frick. now. <laughs> and as you do, this portal Tentacles. opens up in front of you. Uh, right there. I wanted it to be purple. But yeah, this portal opens up. <laughs> the whole doorway just like... <laughs> and appears to be like a little portal you can step through now. Alright then. I'll go first. Uh, follow. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, uh, One, two. Oh yeah, I would have gone through. You coming, Candle? I don't see another alternative, sure. I'll walk through. Okay. One by one, you all step through this portal into the unknown. Uh, go ahead and rip up your character sheet. No, uh, <laughs> no, no I'm going to break my phone. 
your vision <laughs> drops for a moment and as it comes back in you're hit by uh what you're not used to is the sunlight hitting you as you appear to be in this kind of like uh sandy pit with the sunlight above you and as you take a few steps you come out of this sandy pit and uh, you find yourself in kind of like a desert wasteland, but with buildings on it. But it's sandy. The floor is very deserty. Uh, I've not tried this song yet, so I don't know if it's good. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, you step out and it's kind of this desert town, it feels like. Does anyone want to take charge on a perception check? Uh, I walk yeah. through first. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah. I got plus three on perception. What you got, guys? Somewhere Sean else. said he wanted to do it, so I got plus three. So, yeah, you. I'd probably be disgruntled. It wouldn't be me. I'll be making sure Jerry's all right. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah. He, he kind of detaches off your shoulder and bounces around like, ha, ha. I'm out. I'm out. You, you did it. Advantage or you roll twice. I mean, all I roll with you. It's up to you. I'll roll. Yeah, I roll as well, eh? Okay. Oh, gonna... Not Jerry. twenty. Better thing. Nice. Jerry, don't run so away. yeah, uh, looks like a town there in the sand. Um, and you follow follow the horizon, follow your eye line, follow your eye line all the way down the street. And it goes to the end, and it goes up and up to the sky, and around and back down, back to where you are. You seem to be in a city. That goes up and loops around. As you look directly up, Whoa. you're looking at the city above you, upside down. Can I jump? I just jump on the spot. Yeah, I mean it, it's really high. We're talking a very long distance. No, I just want to. I just want to jump. See if I to the gravity's or something changed. <laughs> Gravity seems uh, normal. But, uh, well, there's a little cool. representation of it there. Uh, yeah, the city just kind of spirals around in a big ring. Kind of think the Citadel of Mass Effect. So bad I immediately went to Treasure Planet, the moon. I'm gonna look at Siegfried <laughs> <laughs> and kinda like gesture towards like is this, up the top. Is this normal for anyone? Why oh, is Hagrid there? <laughs> <laughs> I totally <it's> just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh Jerry's like Looks pretty standard. This, this is normal to Jerry. Okay, this, this is, is not standard, Jerry. Jerry. This ain't standing at all. Yeah, it is. This, no, this ain't where I come from. That is, and and Feng is literally just gonna do this until he almost falls <laughs> over. <laughs> so, so we're in sand, yeah. Yeah, sandy floor. Can I, can I roll around in the sand and try and clean my leg off? A fucking slime. <laughs> I'd say it's slowly dissipated by now. It's slowly slugged down your leg okay. and. Done. You've got a bit on your shoulder. I'm all right. Uh, so, can we, can, we, can we see anybody? Any life? Uh, yeah, there's a few people around. Uh, Are, there people? Are they shocked yeah. by what we? What, the, of us just walking out? No one's really taking notice of you. It's really uh, taking time to stand around and look around. You see a wide away array of characters. Uh, you know, humans, obviously. Elves, dwarves, gnomes, these kind of things. So we're not. Um, I'm you're not out of place. You see angelic figures walking past you. You see tieflings. You see a few dragonborns. And in this moment, you see this big shadow come over all of you. What the hell? As something comes up behind you. Big round shadow overtakes you. You look behind you. You see this big fleshy creature with lots of stalks and eyes on the end of all these stalks, and in the middle, this one big eye as this beholder just stood behind you, towering over you. Just goes, oh, excuse me. Just starts going past you, carries it. Have we ever seen a beholder? That's how you know it's a beholder, they're fairly uh, well-known creatures. I'm sorry, I don't like what's your name? You say for the beholder? Yeah. <laughs> say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh. I, didn't, I didn't go there, sadly. I didn't go there. Um, it's alright, don't worry. I was just joking. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, just kind of like, pardon me. Didn't see you that. Oh, I, I was, sorry. 
It's a Have telepathic a nice noise. Day. Have a nice day. Well, you as well. So nice to meet marvellous people here in Sigil. It just keeps going. <laughs> Boy, everyone's nice here. It's better than that last place. They're all rude. I don't like it. There's no trees. <laughs> Told Same you here. There's no fucking trees. What do you... No, never listen to me. <laughs> Um, can I see my goddamn sword? Your goddamn sword, did you say? I'm just looking for my sword. I just want my sword. <laughs> no, you don't. My goddamn you sword! <laughs> I'm oh, starting I to get a bit aggravated I've still got my arm, haven't I? Mate, we're just in our pants! Yep. Yeah, he's got a... I've got a bone arm. I've got a, like a zombie arm. Bone arm. Bigger. I'm we, just we still got like a vial of liquid. Uh, hey, you guys have, uh, really helped me out here, so if I can any friend you out. Says the bomb. Jerry, uh, could you tell us where the we are? <laughs> uh, looks like the hive. Jerry wants to get no help for more information. <laughs> what do you want from me? I give you all the answers. We ate from sigil. Okay, so sigil is split up into districts going around the ring. You're in the hive. How this is, is this kind of like? What's that? Well, how is this normal? How is it done? How is it well? Um, how is it unnormal? And I do it again. I go, wee, you're not much full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this right. is the hive. This is like where people buzz to, you know, good uh, for markets and uh, b bars and villainy. Oh, wow. yeah. Villainy? Yeah. That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing, Jerry. You don't know what villainy is. Villainy is bad. Uh, well, don't be a villain, Jerry. Depends on your world view. I'll squash you. I don't want to squash you, I like it. I don't do felony. Good. I do a, a few japery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you know where the hell we came from and where our stuff would be by any chance? I doubt it, because you're full of information that is not useful. Um, <laughs> uh, didn't the guy say you were with the book? It said? We're what looking for Pang, Ping, Pingo. Pango, that's what you said. Pango. You yes. need a Pango. Uh, I'd ask going? around, you know, go to a bar. Uh, I know a really cool bar. You want to go? I'll walk up to the first person I see and ask them if they know Pango. <laughs> uh, you, you go up to someone and immediately they, they just uh, kind of give you a sharp look and just stop rushing off. <laughs> Is the beholder still in sight? I'd say just in sight, yeah. Excuse me. I've got to chase after him. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Excuse You're me. You're running straight. I'll come back to you in a second. Uh, does anyone else have... Jerry's uh, I'm the only one nice like to Jerry. <laughs> I was going to ask Jerry what he meant about a, a good bar. Like, oh, I have this amazing bar called the Smoldering Cox. <laughs> it's really you, cool. You go to a bar, Jerry? You, you gotta have a drink now and again. You gotta. It's good to I, make context. I thought you'd just like live in a hole or something. Oh, I have poofed into a hole before, but I gotta. Show us where the bar is. Okay. Uh, you go and talk to um, the beholder. You catch up with him. And you introduce yourself. Hello, good sir. My name is Feng. I, uh, uh, <laughs> I remember you. Uh, rough night, eh? <laughs> Where'd you leave your clothes? And I, a little ice dog comes up and like pokes you in the shoulder. <laughs> this, this, this is usually me. This, uh, I'm very proud of how I look. No, no, no. no I just, I, yes, some people. That's fine. Uh, well, I was wondering if you know where... Pango was. Pango? Pango. I, 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 I've heard of Pango, yes. In the middle um, of him talking, I will shout, Strange and Danger! I apologise. All the audience kind of just start looking between each other like, what? I apologise. <laughs> someone got very close to behind I, me. And as you can I, see... I've heard of Pango. He, he does a few things uh, around uh, here. I, I'm not 100% of the ins and outs, but... Uh, I'm just heading down to... Which voice am I? Where's <laughs> your voice going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, people in there talk and, you know, it's come join me for a drink and maybe we can uh, figure it out together. How does that uh, sound? Are you buying? Because as you can see, I do not have any uh, liquid assets right now. I have liquid, but I don't have Yes, any if, you, if you're willing to spend some time with me and share a drink, yes, I, yes. I'm happy to. Well, you're a very friendly person. The last well, episode was that everyone was so rude. Well, yes, there's a lot of rude God people, especially it. here in the Hive. Uh, but um, 
you know, I, I, it pays to be friendly. You know, it's, most people take a look at me and they don't want anything to do with me, so it's so refreshing. Well, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, everyone seems to be very unsettled by my presence as well. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, um, yes, uh, f follow me and I'll, uh, let's go. And I'll follow him. And everyone else would like to head to this tavern, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, I'd catch up to him and I suppose we'd realise it's the same tavern, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah. Yeah. If you've got two separate taverns, can we split the play? <laughs> okay. It's a tavern I'm with a battle map. Like I'm all in, man. I'm all Don't in. Fight. Don't I just let the... looked up battle map. I basically looked up my f favorite free battle maps and built a campaign around it. So this isn't <laughs> it's not a dungeon crawl now. It's a pub crawl. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's the character that did. Oh, play. I got a, I got a drink <laughs> right. Inspiration. James, uh, if you got inspiration, inspiration for every bad pun that you did, you'd never not have inspiration. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get advantage on all my rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what? I always what think of uh, basketball. If I had a nickel for every time I did that, I'd have a shitload of nickels. It's <laughs> a brilliant move. Oh, check this boy out. He looks... All right, one second. Guys. He looks lawful so good. Cool. Yeah. It's like, uh, um... We lost night. Phone call. How are we doing? We doing okay? We're Surviving. Fine. Thriving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. <gasps> I don't have no this underwear! Is, this, this campaign has thrown me a little bit. It's really cool, like, not having okay. any equipment or anything. It's how every campaign should start, really. Yeah. You have nothing, Perhaps and you zero. just have to punch everything to death. I mean, we took the zombies, so that was pretty good. Those were zombies. I, I, I was surprised you attacked them straight away. That's a zombie, yeah. Straight out of a strange the place. Like, bring them all down. I'm like, are they just going to demolish every zombie? <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea. We'd eventually die. I, I, I was going to say, I don't think we could, could have well, taken like, all of those zombies. Hit points. No, They're not going to have the D6 every time they attack as well. It's, uh, I got, yeah. it's I rough. Don't, like those, don't like those odds. Two level one spares lot. They already used one, so... Groovy. Can you hear me? I'm a class ain't great. What the hell? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay, good. I so, have returned. You get led in through the front door where there's a, a guard on watch. Gotta zoom in on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the beholder leads you in further. Uh, let's see what did you Did I get the beholder's name? Uh, no, I don't think you did. But on the way, I'm sure you would have asked. What's his name? His name is Kingsley. <laughs> Kingsley. He sounds like a Kingsley. <laughs> oh, there's a war forged. <laughs> devils. Oh, there is. <laughs> I'm looking at the fire thing on the fucking yeah. middle of the bloody room. Ah, oh, okay. yeah, I didn't I thought that was meat. the fireplace, but yeah, it's literally. A fire. <laughs> oh, oh shit. It's not just a fire. Oh god, it's got a face. Wait. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Am I seeing that? This is like, uh, you know, Skyrim when you start looking around town, you see everybody. <laughs> so I would say yes. you all come in. Oh. Yeah. There you are, and you are presented with this big dining room. Lots of tables, lots of different people around. Uh, there is a metallic looking man, devil creatures up in the end. The bar at the far end. Uh, there seems to be a balcony area to the uh, west. Never you shredded wheat. Yeah, the west. <laughs> uh, stairways north and south to get up there. That you can't quite see over them yet. Uh, and yes, in the middle of the room is this big stage. And on top of it, floating in the air, is this flaming figure just on fire. <laughs> well, that's Rains a neat trick. Coming out of it. And... Uh, yeah, Boggle leans into you and goes, Smoldering cops! Get it? Get it? It's hysterical, Jerry. <laughs> uh, I would have followed him. I'm also looking around the room, realizing that people like to stick to their own race. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Warforge doesn't got any friends. I'm going to go sit with the. <laughs> it's just okay, one, so... one lone human in the bottom left. So, uh,. <laughs> Kingsley heads up to the bar. Thing you are. 
I'd be following him. Following him. Uh, James, you're going to go by the Warforged? Um, yeah, I won't sit with him. I'll just kind of... <laughs> Look at him from a distance. Siegfried and... Gandor, uh, any? Yeah, I'm going to walk through straight away to the bar. I'm going to very tentatively follow the... the... I forgot what they're called. Yeah, that guy. The, the holder? holder? Yep, okay. that's the one. So I'll come to you uh, in a moment, James. And yeah. uh, the beholder comes up. He's like, uh, a drink for me and a drink for my new friend, Fang. Yeah. And the is like, ah, you got yourself a, a pal, have you, Kings? He's like, yes, yes. You know, why, would things you, happen. why would you be his friend? He's a clearly nice, polite gentleman. I, I agree. He's always giving me good custom. People, uh, they're a little put off by him. Yeah. Uh, no offense, Kingsley. You know what it is. It's the eyes. Sometimes people get a little nervous. But you got eyes. People don't get nervous. Kingsley, kind of, as much as you see one eye, get a little bit sad. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's uh, right, but everyone's got eyes. He's, he's just jealous he do not have as many eyes as you. That's what it is. So yeah, the guy goes to the back, seems to pour two beers and puts them out on the table for you. Gives you free of luck all there in your underwear and he's... Rough day, huh? Oh, well, yeah, just a little bit. You could say that. A little bit different than usual, but. but uh, again, we'll you guys money. anything? You got no money. Well, cool. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Are these all with you, Kingsley? And Kingsley's like, they, they have been following. <laughs> I think they're associates of Feng here. Yeah, I met them earlier. Can I shout across the, the room to uh, Feng? Get me a drink, will you? <laughs> what, what? I don't have any money, and I'm not gonna abuse. That's the word I was looking for. Abuse. It's fucking brilliant. I'm stupid. Abuse Kingsley's nice hospitality. Kingsley, you good for it? But Kingsley looks over. He's like, um. If you're willing to join me for a drink, I mean, you seem preoccupied. There I'll be see. right over. I just, I just want to have a chat with a tin can. Yes. <laughs> 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 like nice. You're all going to join me? Well, uh, uh, clearly. Let's do the rest. Siegfried and uh, Kando specifically. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm parched. I'll take a water. Well, yes. Go ahead. Uh, get a few <laughs> more it's drinks. Only role play, Sean. You don't have to go. It's on my tab. <laughs> What? You watch as the boggle climbs onto a stool, uh, climbs onto the bar, and then reaches into its own chest and seems to pull out uh, a silver piece and clang it on the table. Out of the way! What's up, Jerry, how the hell? What did, you, what did you just do? What That is not normal, Jerry. You Why don't you think anything's that? normal. Maybe you're not normal. I'm all walking not normal, around like, just... oh, I'd stranger danger and all that. You just pulled in the... Uh, we've gone through this. I'm not normal. It's the back of the head. All right. Well, maybe you can do it too. Try it. And I just all you got to do is be really confident. Quickly and powerfully. Just boom. And I swear, you'll pull something out. And I reach into his chest. Boom. <laughs> 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 Did I get anything? <laughs> Are you trying to get anything? I want money, yeah. <laughs> you uh, managed to pull out a, a silver coin, uh, just, and he like clamps onto it, and he's like, no, 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 no. Tries to pull it back off. You can make a strength check to keep a hold of it. Of course. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, strength check. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled with advantage and rolled a one. And an eight. <laughs> <laughs> so you got plus anything? No, no. So, you uh, pull the coin. I think it's a minus one. It is a minus one. Yeah. Gonna give uh, it so, it. yeah, you pull the coin away. He's like, no, it's my money. <laughs> it just covers himself up. This like, is payment <laughs> for getting you out. And I'm going to give it to Kingsley. There you what? go, Kingsley. Huh? Thank you. Huh? Kingsley's like, oh, that, that's just not really a pockets guy. If you want to just give it to the bartender, it can hey. go in my town. There you go, bartender. Like, don't know oh, my name's Feng. What's yours? To the bottom? Yeah. He's like, uh, people call me D. Okay. D. How are you doing? 
uh, we'll cut to James now, who approaches the uh, <laughs> metallic man. Try to like, loudly pull the chair out and sit down next to him. Yeah, he's, he's kind of just like writing into a book. He's kind of, huh? Right, writing yeah. into a book. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi, fella. Hello. What you writing there? Uh, notes. Notes about what? That. He points to the flame of What is that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I know a little about it, but I'm trying to work out I don't, what, what, what can be done with it, you know? If it can be fixed, if it can be utilized in any way, as, you know. It's great small talk, buddy. I'm new in town, and I'm looking for a guy called Pang Pango. Pango. I've heard of Pango. I've heard of him. He's You've quite, heard of him? Yes, he's quite a troublesome fella. He has his hand yeah. in business here in town. Any idea of where I could get hold of? Uh, I, I might know a few things, but uh, people generally frown on sharing information that might get others in trouble. Oh, they won't know it's you. I ain't gonna. Uh, I ain't gonna snitch on you. Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh no, five. Five? He's like, no, I'm sorry. I, I know he's involved with here, in the hive. I don't know the specifics. I, I'm sorry if I overextended my opinion of what I know. All right. I mean, there was going to be a drink in it. I'm, I'm not interested in drinks. Nor interested in uh, my friend up there. Well, all right, I'll leave you to it, buddy. I, I tell you what, um, I do have one curiosity. Go on. I've often wondered what would happen if one was to touch the gentleman. What, the fire thing? Yes. I walk up to and touch it. <laughs> He's just going to stay in and touch it? Yeah. Look up on stage, touch it. Not Look aggressively, just put if you put your hand into the aura, flaming heat. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Oh shit! You're dead. You take ten points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> of fire damage, and are set on fire. Oh fuck! Uh, quickly, instantly, uh, roll over. So you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I've got two health. I'm gonna just get down and roll around. I'd run over and start patting him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna murder yeah. him over. What the, the, the robot is furiously scribbling notes. Before that, I would have heard Candor order water, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna grab the water out of his hand and put it, use that to put him out. Go. Go. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, God. Yeah, I've just stopped, stopped, dropped, and rolled on the stage. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I touched the fire thing. Uh, the tin can wanted me to do it. What? You listen to I, the tin can? I, I, I suppose, I, am I, uh, did I put the fire out? Is he put the fire out? Yeah, yeah, the fire's out. Okay, I'm so kind of like sat on the edge of the stage, just kind of smoking, looking at him. So? That's just fascinating. Are, you, are all your bits still here? Are you all, <laughs> all your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> And you, you feel Come like, on. did you feel like you went anywhere when you did it? I felt like I touched the fire. It just, just felt like fire. Fascinating. You ever put your hand in a fire? No, that'd be stupid. Well, you know how he looks like a fire? They're just surprisingly simple. <laughs> <laughs> just like fire, really. He seems to be taking it so well. There is one thing, though. I, I, I felt like, uh, I don't know. Like, it changed me somehow. Like, it enlightened me. Really? I'd, re I'd recommend doing it. Do it. You, what, you, what did you get out of it? What did you feel like you got out of it? I feel like I see that the secrets of the universe, you know? Really? Yeah. Well, tell me a secret. I'm seeing all kinds of things. I, but I, I don't feel you understand. If I told you, you wouldn't understand. you you got to touch it yourself. I've been studying it for a long time. Ah, uh, this is... This ain't, this ain't school, man. And this that, is that, like Secrets of the Universe. Deception. Feng would have, Deception. Feng would have yeah. shouted, 
This is the truth! <laughs> I've got three. And then we'll three. I... This is fascinating. I'll get more people to... Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go... I put my hand on, on his shoulder. No, don't do it. I was lying. It hurt like a bitch. Okay. But I did it. And you're still here. So, Pango, what do you know? He's involved in a lot of businesses in Ragpicker Square. Uh, Radpicker. Ragpicker Square. Ragpicker, okay. Uh, I know of one. Uh, I stay at a, a little inn there, and... Uh, the number of beds at the inn and the number of people I see enter is never quite matched up. That's all I could really tell you. Well, that's that's kind of just... More people can walk into an inn than they're sleeping there. I don't know, but some people... It's, it's, maybe it's nothing, but as I say, he has his hands work there? a lot of the business there. It, it doesn't add up for me. Okay, what's the name of the inn? Uh, it's called the Rag Pickers Inn, funnily enough. Okay. Make it easier for me to remember. Sure. I, I, I hope that helps you. But it'd be a good place to start, perhaps. Are there any doctors in town? Um, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure there are. <laughs> Where? <laughs> um, you just saw me set myself on fire. <laughs> I, 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 yes. Um, oh, I know of a, uh, a herbal plant, rag pickers, uh, flowers, but they can get medicinal properties as well that might be able to help you create a salve or something for that burn. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll leave him alone. I never got your name. My name is written down somewhere. <laughs> That's You're it. In your little notepad there. My name is, uh, Godson. Godson. Well, yes. nice to meet you. It's very close to being uh, a godsend. Been uh, very helpful. Yes. Uh, it's a good thing you. I wasn't wearing my clothes. It'd be rude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my pants are still intact, right? So I'm just hanging loose. <laughs> yeah, you could. So okay. You like having your shit set on fire, Stetson yeah. himself. Fucking hell! Ten. I've got two hit points. <laughs> Oh, you have a second win, so... Yo, oh, yeah, I do! <laughs> Banana fighters! Fucking okay, nice one, Sean. Always take a short rest as well, you got hit die. Yeah, take uh, a single hit die. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna take yeah. hit die. I'm gonna take a second win. I got a d12 hit die, and I rolled a 10. <laughs> so oh, fucking of... 2 on a d10. I'm back. <laughs> I now have 5 hit points. Back at full health. We can short rest now as well. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying, if you want to take an hour, short rest. No, I um, take a short rest. So, the, yeah, the I'll do that. We'll okay. uh, lead the rest of the group uh, up here. I would have followed him. Oh. Oh. Up to the balcony. Mm. Oh, sorry, How is he there. carrying his drink? He points his eye stalk at it and moves it with telekinesis. Oh, that's a shame. It's <laughs> a shame. Oh, I, I'd be following them, by the way. Yeah, yeah you come up. Uh, up um, I'm just imagining like how a beholder would drink it if he didn't have telekinesis. Wrap <laughs> <laughs> an eye stalk around it and flick it up. It's like, so uh, t tell me of yourselves, uh, Feng, uh, Siegfried, um, Yoki, and Candle. Yes. Where are you from? Well, me, oh, me, uh, I'm from a place called Wildmount. Yes, tell me. Uh, I was, I was, I'm a fighter. And I, I, I used to perform in a ring for people's oh. entertainment. Uh, yeah, I was, I was quite a big winner, seeing as most people would be unsettled around me and were easily defeated, that they weren't. They didn't have all their motor functions, and were quite worried every time they fought me. So I'd win quite, quite easily. It was quite fun. Plus, I'm a big lad. 
Yes, yes, you're right. Um, uh, the, you with the uh, the bear. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the bear. With the bear. <laughs> Uh, it's just, uh, it's unusual to see someone of uh, caliber. Uh, where are you from? I'm from, from the, oh, I didn't give this much. From the, say, Goku Dynasty, that's where I'm from. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was living in an old dilapidated temple. People keep trying to kick me out of there, but they can't get me out of there. <laughs> but, uh, I was finally on the up and up. I've always wanted to prove myself as a warrior. And I was, I was finally beaten. My arch rival, Sanjo, stood over him, ready to take victory. And he was taken away from me. I came, I came here, well, to a dungeon first, then here. Right. Uh, and, uh, um, Siegfried? Uh, I was in a temple, praying my god, and then I found myself in a dungeon with these fellas. From Talos, the god of storm. Fascinating. And yeah. you, Kandor? And then we don't have any awesome. equipment. And then we no, I, evidently. Uh, I hope yeah. this isn't your just your game. Well, no. I need free silver to phone my mother, you know. About say, th this is usually me. I don't weigh much. Uh, I'm not too can... bothered. Then. Very... Kandor, tell me of yourself. Um, well, I'm from... The great forest of Faranthar, but I was just trying to aid my clan, and then suddenly I'm in this dreadful place. Yes, well, we're all trapped, aren't we? <laughs> You're trapped. All trapped. That's why they call <laughs> it the cage. Them. The cage? What? Yes. what are you talking about? Sigil, the city of doors, the cage. Okay, you are Sigil. Be here. What's, what's the cage? A, a contradiction, it's just a, another way of describing it. It's a kind of a nickname. So how do you get trapped here? Or it's maybe... just... If you're unfortunate enough to find a pathway here, it's a great deal more difficult to find a pathway out. They are protected and hidden. Oh, guys, we might as well give up then and find a life. Is there any fighting pits around <laughs> here? Yes. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of gladiatorial arenas. All around, Sigil. Oh, they used to call me a gladiator. The green gladiator is what they called me. Are you okay, my friend? You're looking, uh, beat up. Me? You, uh, um, um, I'm feeling alright. This is, this is just but a scratch. Okay, okay. It's just be a scratch. So drink up, maybe you'll feel better. And then, at that point, I saw the light! <laughs> I love playing this character. God. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He, yeah. He's got a thing where he says stuff, but yeah. it's not really, you know. Well, he's he has it, it's a little bit touching the head. Yeah. You can see his scar from here. He's probably. We've good. decided to find it charming. It's just fantastic, <laughs> okay. Just wait till we're in a stealth situation. That's how you would describe it. And I get someone to roll for me instead of flipping a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we need to find Pangor and uh, get our stuff back. We heard that he was the one who delivered us to uh, a dungeon. He delivered us to a dungeon where there were dead people. Uh, so yes, he's a, he oh. probably uh, makes some money as a collector. Uh, the dustman will pay for the delivery of bodies. That so. was their name. Jerry, why didn't so. you remind me? <laughs> <laughs> I should say, I've got some new information. Apparently, he works. Oh, rag. <laughs> rag. Oh, why didn't I write that? Alley? That's yeah. the one. Rag Breaker Square. Rag Breaker Square. <laughs> but apparently, uh, Tin Can good. down there reckons he's got business in the inn. Which has got the same name, if I'm going to randomly guess. Um, possibly, yes. Uh, yeah, he's known yeah. to deal with many of the businesses. Kind of a influential figure behind the scenes here in the hive. So what do you uh, also, a little bit of a tricky fellow. Uh, 
I know you want your equipment from him, but I would not go in without equipment if you wish to. Do you know I, I got this. Know? That's Two. all. I've got my good old no, arm. No. <laughs> I've got my arm. Uh, do you know anyone who is willing to give equipment away for free? I don't know if anything comes for free. Uh, I guess you need a sponsor. Somebody wants something also. Do you need anything? Are you, are Where's you the body you? shop? Or you want to uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, I know that D had a run-in with Pango. Maybe he would negotiate with you. That would be very... Oh, that, that, that might work for us. Uh, who wants to do the talking? Shall I go? Me and D have... Uh, uh, I'll come with you. Before, before you go, I just want to thank you for your time. It's very rare anyone gives me the time of day, so this has been delightful for me. Kingsley, any time you want to... You, you wanna Are you looking at me, fella? Very do you not get many friends, Kingsley? No, uh, you know... People judge a book by its cover, you know? And there was that unfortunate stone issue as well. This is Derry's way of saying. Stone issue. This is Derry's well, way of saying Dal isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Try talking to him when you see him. Sometimes uh, I, I, I sneezed once, and my one of my stalks turned someone to stone. Very oh. I've had the same issue. People tend to hate me for my appearance. I ain't getting it here though. It's kind of nice. Um, hate you. Well, you know, it's you all kinds around you. here. People probably hate me for one thing. Now. Fang, you said something. I probably hate I you if you were around just normal humans. I believe you like cute and, oh. and a half orc. I mean, there's all kinds here. I mean, I don't. There's exactly all kinds where I'm from, but they still hate me. I don't exactly look settling myself. Maybe they just haven't got to know me yet. Well, you're a charming fellow. Definitely got some charm to you. You look uh, like a talking fluffy fella, so... You just got called fluffy, boy. Did yes. you just call me fluffy? <laughs> I am anything <laughs> but sick for It's true, he's very singed right now. You mean the... <laughs> I'm just like this bald bear, right? He, w he walked down into a flaming corridor and then he put his hand in the flames. <laughs> I'm, I'm at this point going to start already walking down to D. Oh, well done. Yeah, let's Next, go. Actually, I'll leave you do the talking. Go nuts. Siegfried goes. Anyone else going with? No, I'm going to stay yeah. where I am. Okay. okay. I suppose I'll follow him down. Okay. I'll finish my drink. I'm just going to yeah. have a nice, polite, small chat with Kingsley. Just about life and how this place sure. is. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a uh, just straight charisma check. Me? Yeah. Plus one, that is. That is a ten, my friend. Yeah, just remind me of that when this conversation finishes. <laughs> uh, so you head down to the bartender, D? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the name of the... What was the Can name of the... Drink? Have you somehow found money? What was it? His name was D. D. No, yeah, the, no the, the guy was He's trying D. to find... Ralph Pango. 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 I'm just going to immediately Pango. lead with... So do you know what Pango is? Everybody knows who Pango is. If you get to deal with him. Yeah. Oh. We've heard you have a quarrel with him. He stole some uh, barrels from me recently. Took quite a bit of my stock. It's relatable. He just gets away with this? You can get away with anything if... Uh, the Doomsguard aren't watching. What's the Doomsguard? Doomsguard. Well, they, they generally believe there should be no ill, no crime, anything like that. But if they're not here to witness it, they can't really do it. Wow. So why are you looking for Pango? He's got our stuff. He meant... Don't, uh, I mean, you look rough types, but you don't like equipped to deal with it. Well, you were hoping. Candle, you do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to get our equipment back. And that's something that's 
well, something we have in common. So maybe we can help us out. You tell us where to find him. We get your stuff, get our stuff. Okay, that's uh, it's an interesting offer. Uh, what do you need? Oh, a sword. <laughs> Flying. Waiting just for it. A Waiting for it. <laughs> Something sword shaped. Sword shape. Oh, I just lost a D6. A long sword and a mace. These are acquirable items. Axe. I'm talking. I'm talking great sword. Long sword ain't long enough. I, be, I want an axe. A great axe. <laughs> a great axe. Got an axe. A great, great axe. axe. I'll just be shouting. Yep. Out. Great axe. <laughs> Oh, actually, yeah, he did tell me that he used an axe, so I'll, I'll ask expert. A long bow, if possible. Give me some sort of shit. Handy axe. Oh, I want a great EX. Out of game. I think uh, I'm nothing on him. So I haven't even the um, holy symbol with me, or not? Or not. No, you haven't got a holy symbol. So, no so I haven't spells. anything, so I couldn't even uh, uh, cast a spell on James before. You can. Healing word only requires verbal. Yeah, require anything. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't my... Some certain ones require components. You oh, okay. Ask those. If that realization comes to you know that you don't have a holy symbol or a component. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, boy. Yeah, I need a holy symbol as well, please, okay. if it's possible. <laughs> uh, I might be able to rummage something up. I think with these things you'd be able to. You got any armor? I mean, cheap armor. Yes. I mean, we just need it for a bit. Give me a second. <laughs> what a turn of the page. <laughs> this I will give you for free. Give you some rags to cover yourself. I have a. Uh... Padded armor, and I have. Uh, I can get you some uh, scale mails. They're not the most comfortable. They're not the most quiet. They will protect you. Take some scale mail. So, how much of each would we like? If anyone would like anything, we don't need anything, Feng. So. No, I do. Beast already. I'll take the padded. Scale mail is medium. Padded is light. Actually, I think I can wear scale. I suppose two lots of scale. And... Yeah. If you're, if you're a fighter, you should be able to wear anything. Can't, they can't wear heavy, can they? They both have disadvantage, so I'll... I'll, um, I'll take the scale mail, yeah. Okay. So there's three of us that want the scale mail. Three scale mails, no uh, padded, sorry. Okay. Yeah, dwarf size, please. <laughs> dwarf sized. <laughs> it's like a kid's set of armor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know a couple of goblins in a forge, and I might be able to acquire you this equipment, but this is quite a loan, and it is indeed a loan. You'll owe me 500 gold. Uh, but we're taking out Pango for you. We're taking out yeah, Pango. Make, make a persuasion me. check. Anybody want to help uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah sure. You can What's roll with up? advantage. You've all been working. I was going to say, I've, only, I've got plus nothing to persuasion. So if somebody yeah, else... I've, two. I've got negative one, I think. Oh, okay. So I'm the best. Yeah, negative two. So. Hold on. Am I the most oh. charismatic in this party? It would yeah. seem. <laughs> I rolled two 18s, so... Uh, dump stat for all of us. That's fair. Uh, since I'm providing all the equipment and you're providing all the brawn, 50-50 sounds a fair deal. You'll owe me 250. Well, what if we bring your barrels back for you? That's what I'm asking you to do. That's the yeah, understanding. Yeah, but you see, we're offering you, like, full-time... We're taking Pango out. He ain't gonna steal anything ever again. 
I don't know if I want you to take Pango out or if you're capable of that. I simply. I mean, getting, getting the barrels back? That's nice, but killing Pango? That's priceless. Whatever you choose to do is your business. There will all be, be, always be types like Pango, but if I can retrieve my stock, that is advantageous to me. Okay, For that, so I will half the loan you owe me. So we're still or, at 250. Course, I believe if we can the other get option the is to back, return all the money. equipment afterwards. Oh, well, we'll probably return some of it, actually, if I find my stuff. Yes, well, until properly, you owe me 250 gold. Right, yeah, we'll, we'll sort this out when we get back. Yeah, we're going to sort it out. No That's worries. agreeable. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank Can you chuck in another drink? <laughs> you owe me 251 gold. <laughs> Make it uh, Yes, um, the Free Green Forge is where you want to go. It's in Rag Picker's Alley, and they'll supply you with what you need. I'll send a message ahead. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Fang! Uh, and, and here, and he, he heads to the side, he pulls out some. Uh, Blaze of cloves. He's like, these have been left behind in the lost and found. Please put some trousers. Who's that to me? To all of you. <laughs> yeah, put some trousers on. Thank you. There's shirts like there as well. Anything you want to dress up in a few shoes. Appreciate. Just some I'll just put some uh, I don't need on. shoes. I'm gonna let my rippling pectorals show. <laughs> okay. Um. Thanks. Make a peck check. <laughs> so, Nate, with that 10 on the charisma check you rolled, after yeah. you talk to Pango, Pango leans in. Pango fucking revealed the, the, we found the beholder's oh. Pango. No, uh, the beholder Kingsley leans into you. Yeah. And he's like, uh, you know, it's not very often people ask how I'm doing. I'll, I'll tell you this there is a stable in Rag Picker's Alley. That does not deal in horses. It's very suspicious. A stable with no horses? Yes. Hmm. And uh, as I'm sure you've heard, Pango, Pango has uh, payments from all the business owners here in the... Will, will, will it benefit you if we take a look at this stable with no horses? It's no, I'm, I'm fine. I just understand you have an interest in Pango business, perhaps this will give you a link, something you're looking for. Yeah, all right. we'll have a look. Is there anything we can do to help you? Or anything I can do to help you? No, you've made my day by uh, spending some time with me. Okay, well, so. we'll say this. Is Jerry still around? Jerry's at the table with you uh, I will drinking wine. Jerry? He's a good pet huh? of mine, and he's going to stay with you. All right, okay. He's, he's able to help you out with the little things here and there. He's not that big. He's not that much. He can help. He can help. I'm you. a free bugger. I will beat you until an inch of your life. You will help this man, Kingsley. I will help this man, Kingsley. Good. <laughs> Just behold her, Kingsley, before you try doing anything. <laughs> Jerry is a, he's a good he's a good pal. He's a good friend. I got him out of there, and he owes me quite a bit because I could just throw him back in there. It'll be all good. Uh, but yeah, Jerry's all yours. All right. Look okay, after him. He's a good guy. I like him. Um, uh, and then I'll leave. Get on like a house on for sure. Did you just gift another person to another? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take this humanoid. <laughs> yes, I did. It's the power that Feng has. <laughs> uh, I'll go down to the rest of the men. Like, yeah. Back on a long good. rest. We go, we go. Yeah, we're going to uh, the the three, three, three green forge, three green, green forge. three forge, three green forge. Uh, so, was, uh, Kingsley told me about uh, about this stable of pangos that uh, it doesn't deal in horses. He tells me, slightly odd, even to me. That is slightly odd. He said maybe it doesn't a, deal in horses. It's a stable with no horses. 
It deals. It doesn't deal in horses. He couldn't give me any more information, but he said it's a little bit strange. Oh, I have to agree with it. Also, I left Jerry with him. Jerry's going to help him out. He's going to be our little friend. <laughs> I suppose it's a load off of our mind. Yeah. Jerry's a nice guy. He's a bit oily, but he's all right. He's a slick guy. He's very slick. <laughs> Back in the dynasty, I'd walk into a pub. And they'd try and arrest me just for doing that. But in this place, you can run a stable with no horses. Yeah. These odd. Doomsguard are really letting themselves go. Very strange, I think so. Is it Doomsguard that's standing outside of the pub? Um, you don't know. Uh, I want to talk to him on my way out. Okay. So you head out on the way out and you uh, try and converse with you. Yeah, Doomsguard. No, I ain't one of them. Oh. Well, it was what are you? Just a answer. Yeah, I'm just paid to look after the place best I can. This is, what's his name? Richard. <laughs> it's Ricard. Ricard. <laughs> oh, it's Ricard. Uh, An exotic Richard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I get my axe? We haven't gone there yet. Oh, we're, we're getting your axe from this forge. Oh, I thought he gave it to. Okay, I'll shut up. Uh, he, he sent. He sent an order in. So we just got to go there, kill the three goblins, take it. All right, sounds like a plan. I'm not a big fan. Not of really. Goblins. I'm actually quite friendly with goblins. I sp oh, 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 I speak goblin. <laughs> Everyone says that I look like a giant goblin, which I'm not happy about. Or goblins look like tiny orcs, which I'm not. Happy I speak about. goblin common and blank. I obviously didn't think of a third language. <laughs> so you can, <laughs> so you can, you can read common. There. No. Um, I speak common, I don't read it. That's just the character thing. I'm just when like, I go to the uh, character sheet and it's like, I speak elvish, common, and one more. What's one more? <laughs> you speak one more? I've got orc and common. <coughs> Bless you. Bless, Bless you. you. Thank oh, you. Shit. <coughs> oh shit, I'm dead. Elvish, common, and gnomish. You picked oh, gnomish? Piece of shit. It's a weird one. Alright. Oh, it's got to be giant, isn't it? Oh. Hey, they live in forests. You couldn't speak For orc? Sure. We could have secret conversations. I still think giant should be called big talk. Oh. <laughs> big talk. <laughs> halfling small talk. talk. I've had enough of this small talk. I've had enough of this halfling. <laughs> Give me all this. Uh, are we... Yeah, are we just going straight to this forge? Yeah. yeah. I think that's the best of playing. I want an X. I want a new toy to play with. Okay, I'd say you ask for a few little directions, you find your way. Uh, I'd say with the time you spent in the bar, it could be considered short rest if anybody wants to roll hit die. Hey, James, okay. roll that. Cover any abilities that come back up. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I'm good. Uh, level I, two? I, I have not raised yet. <laughs> level two. Damn it. Okay. Hopefully, at the uh, end of this session, level two. You know, for, for what it's worth as well didn't really affect anybody but with the clothes you've put on you now have pockets i was gonna limit how many things you could carry but nobody picked up too much stuff so we were okay <laughs> i've got an arm <laughs> <laughs> i've still got that arm I'm still i still don't remember it. what oh, weapon I, I pick up there you got like an iron pipe or something didn't you like, yeah, yeah, yeah you got an iron thing. pipe hopefully we'll be getting a uh, may soon so yeah it's not gonna be the same damage anyway but Great X. So, but I'm not proficient in bites. Let's take you over there. <laughs> you come to Rag Pickers Square, also I'm known as always, also known as Patreon Alley. Uh, <laughs> Patreon. It's good. <laughs> Deserved more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have in front of you a. Uh, I, I didn't laugh because I wasn't scrolled down to the bottom of the page, so I didn't see That's it. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, it's... Otherwise, I would have been in hysteric hysterics. So, to the north here, roughly, you see a sign sticking out I got it. that uh, talks of Free Green Forge. Just cuts, like, other footage of you wearing, like, different clothes and everything, and you just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> different scenery. <laughs> Alright, uh, we we going forward. Let's go. I'm gonna tr travel on. Tra uh, yeah. 
Yeah, we're looking for an alley. It's, I think it's off to the left. I say, this is Rag Picker Square you're in now. And ahead of you, pretty much this door is a uh, free green forge. Alright, that's where I'm going. Written on a sign. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Yeah. Who's going in first? Nope, nope, nope. I'll stroll in if there'll be else's. Knock, knock, knock. Chip, you open the door. There's a, a ding ding. And uh, as it opens What's up, ding, ding. you are confronted with three goblins who all appear to be hastily going for work, and then all at once, oh, oh, yeah. these guys. And they all start running around, and they oh. come together. Two of them get in front of you, and the other one jumps on its shoulders, and they're like, "Welcome to Free Green." Uh, in in goblin, yeah. I say we've got a pickup, bunch of weapons, what? bunch of armor. These guys! <laughs> These guys! And they all keep saying it back to each other. <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Um, uh, get the great axe! And one of them goes running off into the back. Uh, there is a little back area here. Uh, get the great axe! Can I, I was, whilst I'm waiting, I'm going to be looking at all that stuff, like picking it up and perusing it. Yeah, as long as you pick anything up, the, the one goblin will jump on the table and smack your hand. Not touchy. Only lucky. <laughs> I want to I wanna smack him on the head and say, well, don't touch him either. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Am I dead? And the dust is coming for me. He was like, you're not dead. <laughs> Where's the goods? Uh, the one I'll, I'll comes out, and he comes running in, and he's like, A, a great axe I'll, I'll is great! Uh, uh, what's it look like? It's a battle axe. Battle axe. But so like, quality-wise, does it look? It looks great, yeah, but it's not exactly what you asked for, just to be specific. Don't me. You may have different definitions of great. It's great! It's pretty good. No, it's great. It's no. an okay axe. Okay axe? I can get you an okay axe, but you ask for a great Oh, that's an okay axe. Oh, God, I hate to see your okay axe. <laughs> uh, I'll walk um, in as well. Mace comes out. That one's uh, it's a little tiny bottle. That you... No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one comes out as normal, so you know the statistics for Mace. Um... Was there one we asked for a uh, great sword? Uh, asked for a great sword, yeah. Good luck yeah. with that, James. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a scalpel, isn't it? <laughs> I already have a scalpel. Oh, God. <laughs> We've got saying, they push the boat out and present a long sword. A long sword. You can hold it with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's really I, great sword with two I'm hands. Gonna hold, I want to hold it like two fingers. This is a tiny sword. Not I for a great sword. It's a great sword. Hold it with two hands. It's great. Good it sword. It looks like it would only do one d ten damage. <laughs> Could have been two d six. It's versatile. I'll, I'll 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 go like I'll swing it around a little bit in the air. That'll do. So you have a long sword. Um, Can I be one, swinging one my axe around and accidentally hit a? They bring out a long bow. Which looks like a longbow in their hands, and as they hand it over, <laughs> it is a short bow. God damn it. Do you guys speak common? This is why I speak. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, of course. Common, common, common. If you want, don't I'm going to say, I'm gonna say great, great in common. Yeah. And then I'm going to say great in goblin. Yeah. And I'm going to say long in common. And I'm going to say long in goblin. Do you understand? You want a great long? <laughs> I want a great sword, a great, a great sword. and a long bow. This bow is like three inches. <laughs> Look at this thing. I can barely hit something on the other side of the room with this bow. One of them climbs onto the other shoulders and stands in his arms. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> I want to push him off. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely does. <laughs> uh, but I'll take it. Just a clatter. <laughs> You're lucky we are not in a position to bargain. Did, did I'll, I'll they, take it. Did, did they hand over arrows? Well, those are needed. Uh, yeah, you, 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 uh, 
Just I'd say you've got a quiver of 20 arrows, no problem there, Preacher. You just scalp it. <laughs> Uh, are they each other not 20 bolts? I just... I just <laughs> <laughs> crossbow bolts, I'm like, oh my god. Uh, we're still missing... scalpel to carve out the back in order to go on the hook. We still need a shield, and mm. three lots of scale mail. How do they misinterpret scale mail? One second. You make oh. this mail to the wrong scale, I will be very angry. Yes, scale <laughs> mail! Mail to scale! <laughs> go get it! This is, the this is the book of misspells. <laughs> it's gonna be like a dustbin lid for the shield. Oh, it's gonna be a fucking. <laughs> they have one scale mail <laughs> and one hide mail, which seems to have been painted. Sorry, one scale <laughs> mail and two hide mails, which appears to have been painted to look like the scale mail, very badly. So it's obvious, yeah. Uh... I'm just going to look really disappointed. Ah, you three! What are your names? <laughs> Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same. <laughs> Not far off. <laughs> uh, Squidge, Smack, and Slurp. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I wanna talk to Smack. Squidge, Squidge, Mac, and Slurp. <laughs> I, I came in here, balls intact, but I am walking out broken. <laughs> You guys are breaking my balls here. This ain't scale. You know it ain't scale. It's mostly on average. How just much under scale? How much did D pay you for all this? D doing us favor. D's doing you a favor. Huh. What's he doing for it? Don't know yet. I haven't decided. <laughs> so he ain't paid you for any of this. Oh, yours a favor. Well, this favor is going to be very small. He don't owe you much. Huh? Last as things last. Shield. That's... Look. And he points to the real scale mail. He's like, that was really expensive. Yeah, you got one out of three. Fantastic. That's like... Cost more than everything else we give you. Yeah, I'll take it. I want the shield as well. No one said shield. We said a shield. Did you say shield? I don't remember anyone yeah. saying shield. He said shield in this. Um, is there a shield in the room? Okay. I may have missed it though. Let me go back. No, no, that's right. Is there a shield in the room? No, I don't... Him, These guys could have easily forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm going to assume I misheard. I'll say they present a shield as well. This one's fairly cheap. Seems to be fully functioning everything. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll walk out with all this stuff. Tell D we do good job. I'll tell him you did a job. Great job. Oh, you don't know what great means. Long job. <laughs> okay, job. Uh, yeah, I to, yeah, I suppose I'm carrying like shit. I just want to boot the door open and walk out. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to dump it on the floor as I. Where's my bags? Uh, does anyone need stats on what they've got, or do they pretty much know what this no, is? I know what that does. Pretty much. So yeah, the yeah, one scale one mail is 14 plus dex to a max of 2 with disadvantage. The hides will be 12 plus 2. Sorry, 12 plus a max of 2. Um, um, the weapons, anyone need weapons clarified? No, I'm good. The shield works. Uh, mine's 1d10, yeah, if I'm holding both hands. Yeah. yeah, 1d8 or 1d10 with both hands. Oh, uh, we forgot this one. They would have uh, scrummaged up a very dirty holy symbol. A oh, holy symbol. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. A, a holy symbol with... It smells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what, what was the armors we got? Two hide, one scale. Um, I'd taken one of the hide things and kind of put on. Um, you and Candor, Secret, you... Take your pick of who gets the scale. Shall we roll it? I'm gonna go back Take into the, the hide room. armor. I'm gonna go back into the building. Yeah. I, there I'm seems to be a problem with my order. Ah, uh, hello. And I'm holding. <laughs> I'm holding the battle axe. Yeah. I seem to great ask axe. for a great X. 
I have, agree. Do you, do you have a super X? <laughs> <laughs> a super X. Yeah, a really big X. The because... one slaps the other goblin. He's like, smack. Go get the super X. <laughs> Goes in there. Uh, disappears around the corner for a second. Comes back. <laughs> with what appears to be two hand axes attached into each other. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an axe on each hand, which would allow you as a bonus action to get another strike every time you attack. What's That's that? pretty super. What's the damage on the... 1d6. 1d6. Uh, bonus action with proficiency and modifiers included. You would be allowed to do it this way. So I can attack twice. Pretty much. Actually, no, I'm alright. So it's slightly worse than a great axe. <laughs> okay, let's well, start 1d8, 1d10, two hands. Hey, uh, how are they holding this? Are they holding it out to me like that? Two of them are holding it between them. <laughs> uh, once again, that is not that is not correct. I wanted a really big X. A really I, big X? Yeah, really big X. Uh, they're, they're looking at him between the two of them. I didn't need two X's together. I needed one big X. Uh, you want I'm, one big X? Then I'm going to cut that in half. <laughs> like, Whoop! Try doubling the size of that. I don't want that. Do you have anything you like that? But you broke the stick. Oh, I'm guessing you don't have anything of that size. If not, that is no. absolutely fine. Thank not you. unless you got gold. Well, we're not paying. What's his face? D's paying. Well, I ain't got nothing off him yet. Well, just your own fault for doing all this work without getting anything up front, you dumbass. So we give you a great axe. We won. You didn't give me a great. You give me a. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get Squid, annoyed. Starting to bring get annoyed. in the super duper axe. Starting to get and annoyed. like, not the super duper oh, axe. He's like, yeah, the super duper axe. One more time, if I don't. One of them runs into the back. I'm gonna stab someone. Comes back <laughs> with uh, a hand axe taped to another stick of a hand axe taped to another stick of a hand axe. You <laughs> basically have is a, a halberd. <laughs> 1d10 slashing, and you would have 10 foot reach on your attacks. 1d10 slashing, two handed weapon, yeah? Yeah, it's a halberd, basically. 1d10, heavy, it's got reach, and it's two handed. So you can attack things from 10 feet away. Opportunity attacks as well. Does he have um, disadvantage if he's close? No, nothing to say that. Nice. I just drop it down till it's like an axe. But how how that's gonna break? <laughs> that's so gonna break. Uh, can it I looks swing it? Can surprisingly I swing it sturdy. Can I, swing it I would say, considering all things, they've put it together quite well, quite ingeniously. All right, so I'm gonna take this as well. As well? Yeah. Unless you want to try and get the battle axe off me, that's absolutely fine. He gonna owe us two favors for this. He can owe you two favors. I take. So I can't believe you offered him the super. I got the super duper X. It was very close because I was starting to get really annoyed. Really, really annoyed. But thank you very much. And I'll walk out. Bring this one back intact. Would he broke super X? Well, super X was easy to break. If it was so super, I wouldn't break. Uh, so I got to walk out. Does anyone want a halberd? <laughs> I've, I've already got reach, so I'm I mean, good. It gives like 10 foot reach to everything. I've got, oh, I, oh, I I've, got, that. I've got ten foot reach as a bugbear. Yeah. What? <laughs> Arguably, oh, with oh, a halberd, that makes it fifteen foot reach. <laughs> Never used a halberd before. I like to get up close and personal. Why do I go in a more deal? I got too many voices. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to get up close and personal when I'm beating on something. So if anyone wants a halberd, but I got something extra out of it. They were nice enough to give me that. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I know, I know my swords. Ken so yeah, I'll stick to my sword. Ganondorf. Ganondorf. 
Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. I totally forgot how to say your name, so I just said Gandalf. <laughs> kind of. Sure. Yes. Do you want a hell wood? Just in case someone gets close to you, you never know. You were bragging about having five weapons earlier, now you've only got the one, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with the bow, thanks. Sure I'm trying to decide if I want to build a bugbear with whip, <laughs> 15 foot reach, or a lance, so he can attack people from 15 foot away on a horse. <laughs> so no one wants the halberd? Um, I'll t if nobody else is taking it, I'll have it. Because I'm not going to use it. They just gave it to me. No, for I'll me. stick it on my back. It would be rude as well. not to use it. All right, Ed, there you go, but uh, with the mace, is a normal or yeah, normal mace? Yeah, standard mace. It's one d six, easy. I believe that's what mace is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ed. Okay. away we go. No, it's just, it looks no the the one that I ordered. That's what I'm asking. It's pretty much looks like that. Yeah. Okay. Do I see a stable? Stable. Um. From your angle now, the only other shop on this side that you can see is a butcher's right next to you. Well, let's have a butcher's. <laughs> Do you want to go into the butcher's? No, I'm joking. Don't think about it. <laughs> uh, so the scale armor is 14, you said, plus dex. To a max of two. She's uh, plus one, so it's fine. All right. I think you have disadvantage on stealth, I think. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage on stealth. Yeah, it's fine. But... I'm not really stealthy. And the shield is plus one now. Is it not plus two? Plus two. Yeah, it's plus two. It's a standard shield. Oh, it's plus two. Okay. Basically, you're the only one who didn't get screwed over. <laughs> not really. All that happened was I basically went for the cheapest version of what you asked for. Yeah, it's fine. Fucking uh, long bell's like 50 gold, I think. Something like that. It. Okay. 17. That should be 18. But All it's right, fine. so let's go and find our stuff. While all the while looking for a stable. You no just want to take a look around? Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look I'll around. Stable. It's a new okay. place. I want to introduce myself to everyone. I'm going to introduce North myself to or South? Uh, I'm going to go North. 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 I'm going to say North. hello to that guard. Hello, North. guard. North. What's up there? Oh, I went too far. There we go. Yeah. Yes, go up to you. Something. Black so you, go, you go up to the top. Let's see if I can do this. It didn't work earlier. I nearly took uh, him with you. I was going to say, I want to make a perception check to try and see if I hear horses, but I forgot. It's a stable without horses! No, but don't do that there, you stiff souls. You slays. We slays. So, I'd say you see all the way down to here. I broke roll 20, <laughs> but I did not shoot the deputy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you look down there as you look around the corner, the very next shop. Uh, first of all, there's a building on the corner, which, I and then the very next shop uh, appears to be a stable. Ooh, I would yeah. go to the stable. The old wood stable, it's called. I keep thinking this is like a one shot, but it's not, so I'm actually writing shit down now. <laughs> yeah, man, gotta get out of that mentality. Are you just. Are you just. going straight up to it, like. Yeah. This time. Fang ain't a smart lad, mate. So, tiefling outside it. Is everyone's music cut off? No, is it music? I, I think I can hear something. Fucking okay, noise. Yeah. It's quiet, just okay. Stop. I got music. What, what was the circular building, sorry? Uh, no signage. Just appears to be a uh, wooden door on a circular stone building. I am going to okay. go up to the tiefling. Is it a tiefling lady or a tief tiefling man? Tiefling lady. Okay, we'll go up to tiefling oh, lady. Hi, good, good day, ma'am. Uh, I was Hello? wondering if we could procure some horses from you. I have to apologize. All the uh, horses are rented out and already accounted for. Hmm. Well, that seems to be a bit of an issue. Uh, sure, but... you can find someone else who provides a horse, or you could uh, take another option. Such well, we as... were sent by Pango 
because we're doing a little mission. When I was wanting, he said there'll be some horses for us. Make a deception check. I don't know why I thought I'd do this. It just came to my mind. Deception. Mr. Charisma. Yeah. It's a 15. 15? <laughs> I'm the charismatic one out of the fucking group. In the high DC. Fascinating. Tango sent you. Yes, he, he's got a little mission for us on the, the other side of town. He said that what exactly did it say to you? He said for us... What did he say again? Oh, he said something about collecting. He wanted us to collect something from the other side of town. I'm, I won't lie, I'm not the brains of the operation. I'm just, as you can see, the pure muscle. Uh, so I can't remember all the details. But I've been told that we are collecting something, and I am there to protect. Now, I got my friends back there are the ones who have probably more details about what we've got to do. All I know is Pangor sent us to uh, to collect some horses, go to the other side of town. Wait here. Okay. And with that, she uh, oh, shit. goes into the stable. <laughs> And, uh, you are left outside as the door swings shut. I will wait. I'll also... Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk up and back, Fang up. Yeah. Uh, I told them that you guys have more yeah. details. We've been sent here by Pango uh, to collect horses for us to go to the other side of town to collect something. You guys think? Oh, bit of the old deception. Yeah, it actually worked. Fang, that's really smart. Thank you. She just believed you? Oh, I don't know. If she went inside, we're probably gonna die. But just She's case... coming out with her backup, definitely. Yeah, Get something. ready. Yeah. Uh, oh shit, I zoomed in. I was not. <laughs> Put my hand on my sword. Uh, I, will not no. any... I won't have anything ready. Okay. Right. I'm not gonna pull anything ready. I'm just gonna wait. And it goes by. Nothing? Nothing yet. Uh, I'm gonna knock on the door politely first. Uh, hello? I mean, uh, it's like kind of an open kind of barn door and it kind of just swings as you knock it. Uh, do I see anything when it swings open? <laughs> see uh, a couple of stalls in front of you. Sh should we go in? I will whisper, should we go in? No, Why not? Are oh, okay. there any other windows around that we could potentially look through? No windows for this one. Uh, there's little gaps at the top. Uh, they're about 10 feet up there. Okay. Could I attempt to climb up and look for one? Sure, make an acrobatics check. Good thing I'm proficient in that. 22. 22? No, 23. 23? No, 22, you would have died. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you're up. <laughs> Perception check. Uh, at that point, good thing I'm stopping. good at that as well. 23. <laughs> See, uh, Convenient. the opening to all this. Some hay, some stalls, you see no horses. You see one of these is open. I will step in. Just a tad. Uh, I'm guessing I just see all this here? Yep. Just in case it's dark in here, I've made a character with dark vision. <laughs> We've got to find a way to take that away from me. That was the first so, thing I made. Sure this has that. magical darkness all around it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will go to the That's open light. barn cautiously, <laughs> while saying, oh, hello. I did an oh. arrow, I don't know how to get rid of it. Just select and do something, yeah. I did it! <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. I'm just looking for this gap still. Hello! I didn't get your name, tiefling ma'am. But no uh, response. Pango is not one who likes to be kept waiting, I'm sure you're aware of this. Do I see this open door? I'll be yep. heading that way. Follow him. I want to get to. I was going to say this side. Yep. I've got the halberd out, by the way. And I want to look in. Yep. Perception check. <laughs> Why am I the most charismatic character? <laughs> Perception. Oh, shit. That's a minus that, isn't it? Yeah. Four. <laughs> Five <laughs> minus one. By most one. Uh, it just looks like a, a normal stall. Um, I should point out there is another door over this side. 
like in the building or just like a yeah, like building. Can I have another look at this like stuff. Stable. Yeah, make a perception check. Anyone else want to check out that, that door? Oh, Jesus, uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. yeah it just looks like a, a normal uh, stall. Doesn't look overly used. I believe Sean's trying to say that he wants to check the door. Do you want to go up to that door? <laughs> check it out. <laughs> How would you uh, like to check it? Uh, oh. So is this, is this the door, sorry, on the west side of the building, or is it one of these kind of doors? Door on the west side of the building. Uh, well, can I look at the door and see if it's like, if it's just a regular door? Doesn't even seem locked, seems like just push and pull. Can I attempt to really slowly... Is there like a, there's not like a gap at the bottom of the door, or a keyhole or something I can see? There is a gap at the bottom of the door. Wild Can I see happening. if there's like light or anything coming from under there? I'll step in one. There is no light coming from under there. Um, I'm what gonna are you doing, Tank? Stepping Maybe. in one to this point. Okay. Did I blow um... it? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So it looks in. hard in focus. Um. I'm gonna try and slowly push this door open. Yeah. Like very, very slowly, try and get like a peek through a gap. Okay. You uh, poke your head in. Then you have uh, these hay barrels, except for different to how you're seeing it. These harrow barrels are not there. They're up against this wall. And there appears to be. Make a perception check for me. <laughs> Seems to be so close. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. There appears to be scratch marks on the floor. Do I yeah, see anything I... where I am? Not from where you are, no. Can no, I, I mean, investigate like, any, anything more of my area? Make an investigation check. If you... Yep. Sean? <laughs> I want to, oh, I'm in a different location. Uh, can I investigate to see uh, the the scratchings to see if they're like from something that would move i got a three yeah appears to uh line up with something moving away from the wall in a that kind of motion <laughs> just to see if there's some kind of hidden door or something sure put your hands on the wall and the, the <laughs> thing drags out oh. Do you open it? Three. I'm, well, I'm gonna like see if there is one, and then don't like fully open it, but just test to see if there is. There is one, yeah. You can open it a little bit, just to see that it actually is. The wood I'm comes away. Go back to the, the doorway and say, "I think I found a passage that leads further." Oh, all right, that's probably better than in. what I found. Fang, get out of that stable. <laughs> I'm trying to find the horses. It's just weird. We've established that there are no horses. We think you've got tiny horses, like little porcelain figurines. Is that what they do here instead? Sean, you hear footsteps coming towards you. That's not good. I'm gonna... Um, you know the door to this room? Did it open inward or outward? It would, as you pushed it. So that means I could like, kind of like stay by there and the door would open out and I'd be behind it? That makes sense. Does it open no, no. into the little room or into the stable? To the little room. You push the open to the little room, but it swings both ways. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm I'm still gonna like kind of like hide by attempt to hide by here, like get out and hide. Okay, I will say the door doesn't swing that way though. There you go. <laughs> ah. Swings to the right. It's connected to the south wall. So I could hide by here. What in the stall? You want to go in the stall? No. Oh, yeah, sure. I said the stall's all along here. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> yep, I've, I've uh, hidden. I will go and stand back over here. Yeah, I wanted to I'm walk good. in. Uh, so we, uh, we've just seen him hide, yeah? Yeah. I would assume uh, he told puppy. us. Did... <laughs> sure, um, did you tell us? Oh, um, uh, well, I... What are you doing inside? Well, <laughs> you did not seem to answer. And... 
I Pango. told you to wait. Yeah, but Pango doesn't like waiting. And uh, behind her comes this big fella. She's like, these are the ones. And he steps forward in front of her and he's like, you said Pango sent you. Oh yeah, why else would I be here? What's he sent you to do? Now, I, I told you, I'm not, well, I told who that I ain't the brains. I'm clearly the brawn. Uh, I would, all I know is I've been told that we are going to collect something from the other side of town. Collect what? That's what I just said, something. Oh, he did tell me what. I'm, I'm going to walk up behind him and say, These guys Payment. Are... We've heard he's got a whole bunch of equipment, weapons, armor, things like that. We've got payment from an interested buyer. What do you need to be here for? For, for horses, he told us we can collect what we need. He told we ain't got no yeah. fucking horses. Well, she told we us. assumed he meant something else, like the goods. If you're too stupid to know what you're doing here, you better fuck off before Pango finds out you're making a mockery. Well, he's just rude. That's just rude. That's completely rude. Why Why would he talk to me that way? Why are you so aggressive, man? Uh, Sean, make a stealth check for me. Yep. Oh, my dice didn't even go in the dice tray. Fucking brilliant. I don't like uh, wasting my time on fucking idiots. As I've turned... 13. I don't care about the Twitch subscription. I don't fucking need... <laughs> as, as I've turned <laughs> to look at... Yogi. What did you roll first of all, Sean? 13. 13, okay. As I've turned okay. to look at Yoki to ask him why he's been so mean, I would have put my hand stealthily, to as best as I can, onto the hilt of my axe. Make a slight of hand check. Oh shit. That's not good for me. Oh, that is good for me. What? 14. It's pretty good. Mate, level 1 characters. Fuck. <laughs> pretty good. Uh... So look, we just, all I know is I've come here to help these guys, make sure they don't get into any trouble. Alright. About getting, and collecting some, as my friend says, some debt. Or some so payment. what do they know about it? They're being very fucking quiet. Well, the guy just told you what we're doing. We're collecting payment for arms and weapons. You're in the wrong place. You need to go. So if I go back to Pangor now and tell him that this guy, what's your name, sorry? My name's Craig. Oh, well, if I go back to Pango now and tell him that Craig... <laughs> that makes me laugh. <laughs> that Craig... He said we went to the wrong Call place. it Michael. <laughs> <laughs> if Craig... Te if we tell him that Craig said we were in the wrong place, is he going to be happy about that? Or not? I'm just... I'm just going off the current vibe. Of no, it sounds good to me. You go back to Pango. If you can talk to Pango, you can talk to all this act. No, wait, so... So I turned to Yoki. I was like, "Are we? Are we, are we going back, or do do I teach, try and so convince um, this friendly gentleman here?" I'm just gonna give uh, Feng like a long stare, like, and then I'm gonna try and walk straight past the guy over to the back where they came from. And I'm gonna <laughs> take that as okay. Uh, as an attack. You... So I would attack at the same time, and I'm pulling my axe and just going for it. I'm not attacking him. I'm trying to walk past. No, I am though. I would have taken okay. that look as. Make an attack in the surprise round. Just you, Feng. My look was like, yeah, person. things might go down. That's advantage, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not an idiot. No, no, I am an idiot, I meant. <laughs> Distraction tactic, I like it, James. <laughs> uh, with the battle axe, that is a 19 to hit. Yeah. That would have been one-handed as I just swing around. Uh, at the same time, screaming. Something. My axe is thirsty! <laughs> uh, that is eight points of damage. Okay. I was aiming for its neck. That's fine. Uh, you cut into him, and I think with that, we're going to have to go ahead and roll uh, initiative. Never struggled so much to find a word like that in my life. <laughs> What do we do when we enter combat? I've forgotten. Do we even roll initiative? Not very good. No, I've got I advantage. Agree. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm technically I'm not in a fight. I'm still trying to keep a prince. To just walk <laughs> Bullshit. Just this raging. I will give you advantage on the uh, 
initiative roll if you're willing to let him have an attack of opportunity before we start a call. <laughs> Why is he attacking me? I'm just walking past him. I know, he was going to attack him. He was going to attack me. Yeah. And no shit's kicked off, so... Do you want advantage on the uh, initiative? I, I mean, no. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to keep on walking, because Nate's attacked him, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's Feng. Cool. Feng has attacked him. Do you imagine if Jerry was here, he'd be shitting his head, because he'd be on my shoulder that he's swinging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jerry is a human shield. Okay. So, anyone above 20? It's a natural 20. No, it wasn't. I'm kidding. <laughs> natural 20, and then you ask for advantage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyone above 15? Fucking hell. Oh. Anyone above 10? Fucking 11. Did anyone roll an initiative? I got, I got <laughs> 11. Yeah. Are you telling Let's me I got the easier. highest? Paolo, what did you get? Ten. Ten for Paolo. Sean, what did you get? Six. <laughs> Nate, what did you get? I got eleven. And James? Seven. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> six! Amazing! One, one I thought I was shit, ten? I was almost the highest. Hold on, Beautiful, you sweats dexterous as well. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, six. Um, so, top of the round is the Fug, who is going to go over to the jukebox. <laughs> See Stop what that sounds in. like when I click play on that. It's <gasps> Final Fantasy VII, right? Is it? Why is this sounds quiet like... for me? How are you sounds like the beginning of the Final Fantasy VII. Sorry, I pumped it up just a bit for I can uh, please don't kill me. What can he do? Can he multi-attack? He's usually class. Suck a dick if he can multi-attack against us. He can multi-attack. Uh, so, first attack will it be against James, second against Nate. So, oh shit! I hit. Uh, James, does <laughs> 18. 18? 8. Oh, no, 8 doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, Nate, does a natural 20 hit? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. No. How much? You have, what? You have fifteen health. Oh, God, I'm not how much do you have at the moment? <laughs> oh no, you you roll, you got back up. No, I'm not raging either. Uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, seven points of damage you take. <laughs> you guys would have noticed that my voice has like completely changed at this point. And he'll, he'll look back after his shoulder uh, to the tiefling and he'll say, Go get the others! Oh, fuck. Uh, Nate, your turn. <laughs> uh, bonus action rage. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and I will swing for him. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, in a much deeper voice. Uh, saying, Here comes the bad times. <laughs> and attack. Yeah, go for it. That is a... Ooh, what's that? A 14 to hit? 14 hits. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, I will grab it with two hands if you would allow me. Yep. It's not a d10, which is fantastically shit. Six <laughs> points of damage. How many? Six. Six. Hey, every lot counts, man. On a fucking d10. Is that your turn? Two. That uh, does end my turn. I am now raging. Uh, did you rage damage on as well, yeah? Ooh, okay, no. Eight. Why do I New characters! Uh, Polo, what would you like to do? Oh, you're taking no. half damage from this, aren't you, Nick? I am now. No, he's okay, raging. So... Oh, he just raged now. Oh, okay. can, move, can I move here? To where? There? Yeah? Yeah, and I'm not twatting with my mace. Mm hmm. The fuck, right? <clears throat> not me. <laughs> not you. Oh, fuck, he's a shit, bro. What you got, man? Uh, in a sec. Ten. Uh, just misses, sadly. Uh, yeah, he manages to just... You just hit a bit of his armor. He doesn't quite get the effect you wanted to. Yeah, so yeah it comes up short. Anything else on your turn? Yeah. I don't know if I want to do it now. No, I'm fine. I use it for later. Okay. Um... Don't James. Um, I know she's uh, within reach anyway, but I want, I want to eat my uh, super-duper axe at the tiefling. <laughs> You want to throw the super duper? 
Oh, I no, want to try and pin her to the wall. I want to throw it. I want to try and pin her to the wall. I'll let you make an attack at disadvantage if you want to pin her to the wall. You can attack from that range. Got 15 foot range. Right, I'm trying to stop her. So yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and pin Anyways, her. Just, you can do a non-lethal attack. Just try and knock her out. You just no, say. No, I'm not trying to be non-lethal. <laughs> I wanted to stop her moving. That's all. Okay, if you're trying to block her path somehow, I'm going to say disadvantage. Ooh, it would still be an attack if I threw my, uh, if I threw it into the wall, wouldn't it? I mean, it'd be difficult. Are we talking about the halberd here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Very difficult weapon to throw. I mean, but again, with the reach, you're just reaching over and planting it in the wall. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Could, could I do that as a free action, like plant it in the wall? You could move closer anyway. I mean, honestly, you're just putting an axe in the way, though. It's not enough to stop her going anyway. Yeah, I'm doing something else as well. I'm asking if they're... Oh, that would you... Be... you cut out for a second. Yeah. Oh, would it be an action or a free action or a session? It's, it's oh, an what? action. Uh, it's free action if you just want to put it in the wall. Action if you're trying to do something stupid. Yeah, okay, I want to free action it, put it in the but wall. I will say this. If you use your free action to do it, you don't have another free action to pull another weapon. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, free action, put it in the wall. Yeah. Uh, you know my 10 foot reach, could I grapple her from 10 feet? Uh, I don't think so. It's, I think it says melee weapon attack. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, I've got to take the hit then. Uh, yeah, I'll stick it in the wall. Yeah. And then I want to dash up to her, uh, so on that haystack. 5, 10. Uh, and I want to attempt to grapple her. Okay, strength, uh, contested strength. With advantage, because I'm raging? <laughs> no. I mean, the grapple's a special melee attack action. What? The grapple is, is, is a special melee action. It doesn't matter, because I rolled a fucking natural one. <laughs> you rolled a natural 20, so... <laughs> The combination yeah, yeah, yeah. of you really concentrating on this, like, uh, you're basically watching a bear go, plan, I have a really big plan, I have a really big <laughs> and you just, she has enough time to go, I think I might move out the way of this. I've ever told you I hate D&D. <laughs> At the same time, attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm taking damage to achieve absolutely nothing and dispose yeah. of all uh, That's a nine to hit. Nine? He yeah. doesn't hit. So he swings out, but doesn't quite get you. Does that end your pitiful turn? <laughs> I level one, mate. I'm trying. It's a level uh, one fun, isn't it? It's the fun of level one. Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, could, could I use my? I couldn't use a bonus action to pull my halberd out. Absolutely not. Can I uh, use a bonus action Sean. to pull out my sword? Nope. Sean. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I? <laughs> I use my, I use my bonus um... action to pull out my sword. Bonus action, rage. Um, uh, quick question. Yeah. Based on the fact that I was hiding in there, would I know roughly where they were outside? Yeah, you do have sneak attack. No, um, yeah, you've got a good idea of where they are. Um, from where on the space I'm on, would I be able to like kick the barn door open and make a shot at the teeth? I'd say you could kick the door open. So, well, you it's going the other help. way, right? Say that again. Would it? Well, would it be able to swing out like? That I'll way say outwards. Would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could, let's say you could open it up, you could pull it towards you then. No, yeah, there's plenty of space. I mean, it's five foot's pretty big. You'd both be able to manage to dodge the door. Okay, so at the very least, I could pull the door out and then, like. In fact, no, it's up to you. Tell me, are you going to push the door or pull the door? Well, I probably pushed it to get in, so I'm going to pull it. Okay. So I'm going to pull, pull it and then, so kind of keep it open you, yeah. and then try and. Shoot the tiefling in front of me from. Sure, go 10 for it. Hold this attack. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good thing it's a plus 7. 14 to hit. Just hits. It's a d6. It's a shot. Level 1 characters. Oh, I rolled a 6. Plus 3. 9 piercing damage. 9 piercing damage. As I shooted at it. 
Where are you shooting it? I've shooted it in the, the tiefling. Yeah, but where? You said you're aiming for the neck, I think? Uh, Did I hear that right? Or? No, I'm just aiming generally for like the chest area. The chest? <laughs> pin it to the wall. Oh, well, that certainly stopped her calling for help. Yep. Uh, you can pin it to the wall. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I see how it is. At least I, I made it difficult to aim for it, right? Uh, Sean, it's would you like up. to use your bonus weapon, a bonus action to pull out a halberd? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fighters can do it, as I understand it. Pull it out my ass. No, I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, quit Discord. Right. It would have also, for what it's worth, it would have been a dumb man in air, but it would have been with advantage. Yeah. James, don't forget you still have your, you have your bonus action here, your fucking uh, second wind and shit. Um, yeah, I'm full health. Would... Oh, okay. Does the second wind come back in a short rest? Yes. Yeah, all of the fighter ones do. Um, I'm then gonna move to this space. Yeah. Just to see what's going on with them lot, and then end my turn. Uh, I'm gonna stand with my back up against this door, just in case. <laughs> up against. Okay. Well, yeah, because it opens this way. So just in case someone comes up, like the doors gonna open into me, and I'm like, oh shit. I thought you said it didn't open inwards. Opened both opens ways. Opens both ways. Both <laughs> ways. <laughs> oh. oh okay. I was thinking it might backfire. I just got him. They opened the door and there's just him stood there. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I know, He's going to hear him. I got the image of him just holding up, like trying to barricade the door. Like, they won't get in. And they open it the other way. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and gonna say, ah! Oh, fuck. I didn't think that too. <laughs> Is that your turn, Sean? Yeah, yeah it does, yeah. The tiefling uh, gurgles her last breath on her turn. Back to the top of the round. The uh, bug uh, is going to make two attacks. 22 to hit Siegfried. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, shit. Uh, I feel bad every time I roll really high on the D6. Because you're level one characters and it could be broken. Uh, so six. Six points of damage. Six, yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, a red point, the second attack will be against Nate's. Uh, that's say 21 to hit. Yep. And that is for four points of damage. So reduce the two. Cool. I love uh, Raging. How much damage did I take off the first time? Seven. Uh, half that to three. I accidentally rolled two dice for no reason. I had a crit. It was a nat, it was a nat 20 on me. Oh, that's yeah, why I rolled right. two dice. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. Because <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> you missed James and then hit me with a nat 20. First it ain't crit, uh, it ain't shit. Can he do anything else? Got no allies. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, Nate, <laughs> bang. Bonus action. Uh, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. He's going to attack him. Just pure rage. Started foaming at the mouth. That is a 17 to hit. Hits. Yes. Roll swing. Yeah, boy. Come on, roll higher than a two. Roll the fucking two again. Uh, so that is eight points of damage. Eight like, points like, go of damage. Head. Okay, yeah. Go for his He's neck. taking a beating. Uh, still going. Uh, looking a little bit on the rough side now, yeah. Uh, that angel go, Nate? Yeah. Oh, super axe. Second attack is a bonus action. Uh, hello! <laughs> ah, yeah, sorry. He hit me before. Yeah. He did. Yeah, well, oh, fuck. It's too late to do a reaction, yeah? It's yeah. pretty late now, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, re I realized that's now that I have reaction. But, oh, fuck. He's like, I, what would hey, you do? I got hit! What would yeah, you have done, Pella? Sorry. I'm gonna try to attack him. What would you have done, Pella? Uh, I got Rat of the Storm, so I can use. You have to make a disturbance saving throw. Oh, so no, because we're level one and we're learning our abilities, so... What's he got Go to ahead. He had to make a deceptive saving throw and then I rolled 2d8. If he failed, he take full damage. If he not. What he rolls a 7. 7? Yeah. Fucking 2d8. Uh, what are you yeah. doing, man? You're for dwarves. Yeah. But just not the dwarf, it's a Tempest, isn't it? No, it's a, the Tempest. Tempest, Storm, whatever, please. Get banned from Twitch from sneezing during the coronavirus. <laughs> um, what'd you roll? Can't like, go, roll it now. Roll it now. I roll a four. You roll a four. Okay, so you did some damage. Yeah. So, 
I've loaded this time, next time. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay. It's your turn now. You all right. Duck. Lovely. It's a Uno. Uno. Yeah. Yeah. Just misses. Yeah. Uh, as you uh, are angered, uh, all fury coming through you, you just can't quite get the attack. And as you use healing word on myself. Okay. Healing word on myself. On myself. It's four point of healing. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. In my turn. Okay. Journey. James, what do you want to pitifully do this turn? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be epic. Uh, seeing them struggle with this, I want to dash in behind him. Yeah. And I want to attempt to suplex him into the space that I was previously in. <laughs> <laughs> so hands, hands around his back. He's not, he's not facing me, is he? So hands. And what? then. Uh, so get the hell off of them. You're making like a lot of assumptions there. Uh, this will be I a strength proficiency contest. In. Strength contest. Is, it, is this a specific ability or? No. <laughs> no just making sure. No, is it? Bugbear is Just a, an athletics check specifically. Then. Athletics check? Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, it's. Why, this dice is shit. I've got to put it away. What did you roll? I rolled an 11. I got 9. Oh, plus it's six and I got 9. <laughs> he rolled a 9 plus 2. I'm going to roll all my other d20s. Yeah, find out what works. Uh, you try and. Uh, <laughs> Every yeah, single one was do. higher than that, yeah. You grapple and you try to pull him up and he just kind of like uh, ups the shoulders and breaks the grapple and pushes you off. Don't quite time. manage um, it. Okay, so that was my free action. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James has made I've got his attention though, right? I mean, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> that's something, that's something. Um... Yeah, I can't do anything. If yeah, I've got no weapons out, so I can't do anything. Um, oh no, I tried to pull him. I failed, so I will free action. Can I pull a weapon out? Yes. Uh, <laughs> pull out me old great sword. <laughs> Wicked. Uh, and that is Sean's go. What would you like to do? Um, I'm probably gonna move a square over just to make it so my shot will line up. Yeah. And then I'll take a shot at the thug. Go for it. Please. Uh, 15 to hit. It's. Yeah, D6. Bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Ah! Bing. It didn't land in the dice tray, but it's a 6. I want 11. Oh. Do it again in the dice tray. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> how do you want to do it? Uh. Oh, you should arrow have super. Arrow through the back of the neck. Just yeah, through the throat. The so for you, Bane, you just see him like... <laughs> collapse into a, a pile there. Yeah, um, that's the stuff. He'd be dead. <laughs> that be the word to describe him. <laughs> he'd be dead. Uh... Congratulations, guys. I've got a query to do. I've got a powerful build. It says, I count as one size larger when determining your carrying capacity, weight you can push, drag, or lift. Would that have helped you in that situation? Roll another d20 for me. 12. 12? So 18, I will 18. say you're Can trying to grapple him, and then as an arrow goes through his throat, he loosens up, and you do throw the body over you. Can I throw the body now? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, how do I want to do it? I suppose I'll, uh, yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> no, well done, guys. It was a great fight. I'm gonna run into. I that contributed. Room. I'm gonna run into that room. Oh, cool. Still. You put a helmet in a wall. Still raging. <laughs> uh, does there seem to be any sort of door open at this point? Like. Uh, it's the two squares to the west. Uh, nothing's open, but it's a clean space from you to the south. A hay isn't in the way. That's what I'm saying. Uh. Could I make? A perception check to try and smell if anybody is approaching. Sure. I, d I said smell because I think I have advantage. Maybe you do. And Maybe. I just closed Bugbear. Right. What are you doing, Fink? <laughs> I'm literally still raging, standing there. Uh, I'm a bit unruly. I keep breathing, I keep laughing ma maniacally. I would oh. say that six seconds passes and 
the rage drops. Why would I? I don't have advantage on smell. I'm just trying to hear then. <laughs> trying to hear first steps. Yeah, just perception check. I get the same. Um, oh, it's a nat 20 now. <laughs> yeah, don't count. Uh, you can do it as a free action if you want. <laughs> Are we no, still in combat? Uh, I fight in my helm. Let's see. Let's see. I just want to get an idea if anyone's coming towards us. No, you smell... First is the very strong smell of freshly baked bread. Ooh. Then the bodies of these two dead people bleeding out next to you. Outside of that, you don't catch any more scents. He's mad the only symbol because he's really dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you can smell that. That smells rancid. Can I attempt to loot both of the bodies? See if they have anything useful on them. Or quest items. <laughs> sure. Have disadvantage Make my help. An investigation check. Okay. That's a natural one. I'm putting my fingers in the in the hole uh, that I left for my arrows. Yeah, you're uh, you're a little uh, distracted by what's going on. Does anyone else want to help help him? I mean, checking bodies shouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> uh, yeah, natural one, baby. I, um, I suppose I'll help him. I'm right there. Yeah, go ahead and roll again. I am absolutely messed up, so I kind of just collapse against the bale of hay. The one that's in there. Thirteen. Thirteen. So, mace and a heavy crossbow are the weapons they are holding, along with uh, ten bolts, if you should be interested in that. Heavy crossbow better for you? Possibly. I don't... I, yeah, probably would be using that. What are you doing? 1d6. A heavy crossbow's got to do more than that. Heavy loading. That doesn't really matter at this point. Are you rolling dice, by the No, sorry. Uh, you've got 1d10. So every, every time you roll one, you, like, think flashes green because you're making yeah. that noise. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll take the heavy crossbow and how many bolts was there, sorry? Ten. Ten bolts. Ten bolts. And a little flask of alcohol. Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't drink gonna, alcohol. I'm going to pick up the booze. And... That's just for the guy. You can check the woman as well. No, that's just from the guy. Oh, I've got a fucking oh, heavy crossbow. Uh, gonna... Yeah, I'm going to check her as well. I'm going to get up and slowly come out of the, the room. Investigation check. That's a four. Four? Uh, yeah, nothing really of uh, major interest on her. See, see, the thing is, did you roll a four on a d4? So that's good then. That's good. That's <laughs> cracking. Well done, mate. <laughs> what, a, what a dagger attack. <laughs> yeah, she didn't seem to have anything on her. Just a common girl. Not even money in her pocket. What, what, did this, uh, what else did he have? Apart from the crossbow, sorry. He had something else, didn't he? Crossbow, mace, ten bolts. Whisk of, uh, whisk of flasky, or flask of whiskey, your call. Flask of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll offer the, I'll offer the, um... I need to write down whisk of flasky. Probably one of my favourite things I've ever said. I'll offer the whisk of flasky over to, uh, the, fucking, what's his name, Feng. The Italian who always drinks? Feng's in the fucking corner. Oh, Feng's in that okay. room just collapsed against the... Baylor, hey. I got fucked. Uh, I'll, I'll say there's a, there's a mace on uh, uh, the guy's body. I'm not picking that up. That first hit fucking I'll... rocked me. It rocked um, the boat. Then I'll walk into fe uh, the room Feng's in and offer him the booze. Yeah, sure. Maybe this will make you better. Feng, how you doing? Uh, fucking... What happened? Uh, you don't look so good. He hit you pretty hard. And, well, I was standing over there. And then I was over here all bloodied up. It's a good thing I got that timely suplex in. I don't God know. Knows what oh. hey, I was standing over there. And now I'm over here all bloodied up. Yeah, you went kind of crazy. You hit it at the guy. You did pretty good, but he hit you as well. Yeah. How much health you got? Uh, <laughs> I am bloody. Metagaming wise. I got six. Uh, oh. 
Well, I wish. Can I give him my second wit? <laughs> uh, I will. I'll drink that whiskey though. That sorry, that that flask. Could be like flask. a, you know, like secondhand smoking. I could, I could my second wind close to. Uh, James, I'd say you notice this. James, I'd say you notice this with your perception. It's just that the front door to the whole building, one of the doors, is like wobbling in the wind. You got two dead bodies. Oh, okay. Um. I'm gonna drag the bodies into the two sta- well, two of the empty stables. Okay. Throw some of those bales of hay on top of them. Sure. Okay. No problem. And uh maybe we should bail ourselves, guys. Yeah. I uh, feel no. like we need to f- find what they've got. Go pull my halberd out of the wall. Okay. Drag, drag myself very slowly out of that room. And out the building. Yeah. So that doorway they were going down, there was nothing down there. We didn't go down. I didn't we go down. We don't know that. There may be more though. Probably more, okay. seeing as she ran out. Is there like a, a a way I could block this door? Like put uh put my halberd on, on like the uh, you know what I mean? Like how you block yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's doable. It opens both ways. Yeah, but not with a halberd behind it. So they just pull it towards them. Yeah, they couldn't. I mean, like, put the halberd across both doors, so it's like rested on. Which, which yeah, like door? This, this door. The double doors that we were in front of. Well, those that doors. we came in through. Yeah. Oh, where we came in. Yeah, Sorry. handles on the uh, on the there. You could put it through. I th- I thought you were on about this door over it. Yeah, me too. Oh, sorry. No, no, because I kind of want to explore further, but I don't want anybody coming in also doing it. Also, you want to block it with us on the inside? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll say there's no problem doing that. Um, and then yeah, I'll just go over to these this entrance that uh, what the fuck's his name? Candor found. Fucking. Candor. I'll, I'll try pull in at the wall. Yeah, you pull open that wall. Yeah. Here you go. Opens with little, very little issue. They went a little hallway. Fang, get yeah. behind me! You don't look so good. Nah, it's alright. I, I got this. And I'll go it's fine. <laughs> to be fair though, with your rage, you do have the equivalent of my health. So. <laughs> what, you got 12? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is if I'm hit before rage. Yeah, that's the thing. So let me go first, so we don't get surprised attack. Yep. Yeah. Either way, you'll go down. No, I'll go, I'll go first. Nah, mate, I'm, I'm a fucking tank. I'll, you can I'll also heal, Nate. I'll go first. I will also say, someone be ready to heal me, because, as I said, I'm 50 I got nothing to heal you, mate. You're probably fucking kidding me. <laughs> yeah, I, two I, I, I can heal myself. But I've got 50-50. Got no, like, I've got two spells on me. That's what I've got. I've, I've, can't I've said nothing. this multiple times. I'm 50-50, so I'm not... <laughs> Alright, I'm 50-50, so I don't go down that easily. You're fifty percent or quads. Okay, shit. That means I'm. T- oh shit. That means I'm probably thirty-three, thirty-three, thirty-three. <laughs> That's good. Too confusing. Oh, um, right. I, I'm gonna budge in front of Fang. I'm going to attempt oh, to take the lead. I will push you back. No. Athletics check. Good Fang. Tested athletics check. Athletics or acrobatics? Both your call. Yeah, oh, let's go acrobatics with laws now. That's... Athletics, it is. It's twenty. Twenty-two. You talk. Can do a You following? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did you? I've got my sword out. Yep. Yeah. That's your free action. <laughs> uh, bonus action. Can I, is it dim light in here? I want to teleport into a shadow. You see a few flickering lights, a few torches. If it's so dark, it's, lit up. it's all right. I've got dark vision, guys. <laughs> got that. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll out of nine. <laughs> hug in the wall. I want to uh, hug in this wooden wall. This side, the wooden wall. Yeah, I, fi- I find it really hard to ping on this. Just hold. Yeah. <laughs> Just click and hold it. Yeah. I don't. I don't <laughs> hold it for long enough. It takes too long. Okay, uh, poke my head around both corners. I suppose both ways. Okay, first I want a perception check off everybody. Of everybody? Yeah. It smells like shit. 
Oh, there's a shit roll. Six. Yeah, what did I say? Shit. I think I meant to say stealth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I roll Eight. again? <laughs> I went from a minus stat to a plus stat. Well, I got the advantage, yeah? Sure, yeah, you have. Yeah, yes, I can. I rolled twice. I rolled three. Two the, times. Uh, the fake armor they've got. Wait, what, what armor was it we had? Yeah, yeah powers are in the real armor. Oh, yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah, I got ten. Eight. Nine. <laughs> yeah, we fucking failed this. Is fucking hell. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just the scam. Oh, my bad. Uh, cool. Uh, sorry, go those again. Uh, Four. James. Four. Ten. Oh, we've all fucking failed. Eight. Nine. I rolled Eight. twice three anyway, so. Okay. Oh, now it's a 19, you fucker. <laughs> you just hear this uh, voice from around the corner. Just go, you deal with him. Which corner? Uh, the wooden side. Craig! I'm just going to fucking career around that corner with my sword and stab him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, he's not even going to try and deceive I don't think anyone's... I'm the only one decent at deception. No, can't do anything. I mean, yeah. Got minus two. It's like two minus two. <laughs> he's two fucking minus two. miles away, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're right there. You've got reach, you've got reach, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I got my hand. <laughs> He'll be so... Um... I'm twatting. No. Foot of movement and then 10 foot reach or 15 foot reach. You run towards an 18 to hit. Oh, he what? shoots you. He shoots you. He shoots you with a heavy crossbow. 18 to hit. Yeah, okay, it hits. Well, so he was expecting me, even though he said, Did you deal with him? You've come around the corner, running at him with a sword. He's pulled up a heavy crossbow and shot you. He's seen a screaming bugbear. But, like. Okay. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> should, he wait, should he wait his turn? <laughs> should you? I'm, this is my turn, I'm running towards him. Okay, yeah, your probably. turn is running towards him, so your full movement... I'm going to reach it, I'm going to stop 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's what you manage on your turn. Uh, you could go one down if you want. He's got 15 foot reach if you put and him back as was. him seeing that happen, he's going for uh, the heavy cross. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it hits, it hits. Yeah. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Seven points, uh, I have that, okay. Um... I guess we're rolling initiative again. <laughs> yep. yep. This is why you shouldn't have gone first. Did he sound distant there? You made it sound like he was right there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say anything at all. You don't know nothing if you ain't looked around a wall. <laughs> oh, thank fuck for that. Mate, I'm really trying to get the surprise attack and you just won't let <laughs> Dude, I feel ya, but... <laughs> I hear a voice. Can I say I threw my sword at him? It's too late now. <laughs> oh, familiar music. Get funky. Is this water that he's standing over? Uh, in front of him, yeah, there's a cube of water. I'll reveal that all fully for you now. Cube of water? Oh. It's the sewers. They're getting in supplies from the sewers. Okay, initiatives. 17. Hello. Say six. Sixty-six. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty-six damage. Sean. Twenty-two. Fucking hell. Hey, we did it. Seventeen. James. Twenty. With Ooh. disadvantage because you were hit by a crossbow ball. <laughs> really? <laughs> that was a bad day, James. <laughs> <laughs> He wouldn't let you suplex a motherfucker, then you get hit by a hey. crossbow bolt. Top of the room, Sean! How the hell do I squeeze past these fuckers? Acrobatics check. Well, no, there's space. You can move through your allies. Oh, Wait, what? You can move through your allies. I'll allow it. They just need to pin against yeah, the wall. I'm, I'm gonna you. move to here. Yeah? Uh, do I have a clear line of sight on the thug, then? Yeah, definitely. Oh, shit. Um, I'm going to shoot at him with the, uh, the crossbow. Uh, okay. You get nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, fuck that shit. That's a tender hit. Just misses, I'm afraid. 
flies past him as he looks now like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> um, I'm then going to move, hang on, what was that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 oh, fuck. Um, would these hay bales be considered cover? Yeah, you could get low here, you could crouch down. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd do that. Sure. Finish my turn as I'm trying to load this crossbow again. Okay. Uh, James. Okay. <laughs> Just saying to myself, Grimbert, Grimbert, I'm gonna jump off these crates and slash down on it. Make an attack roll. You wanna get to there or just here, sorry? Just jump um, in I the wall again. Next to him. I'm slapping, slap, slapping him, slashing him on. Slapping <laughs> him with my sword. Um, what am I using? Uh, 19 to hit. 19 hits. Fucking 1d10 this bitch. One shot. Where is it? Where's my d10? Oh, okay. It's a surprise attack, right? He never- he didn't see me coming. It's, I fucking- I fucking hate D&D. It's... shit. <laughs> <laughs> why do you- why do you keep making me play it? <coughs> fucking... one. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one plus four, five points of damage. Say, there's got to be a modifier on this. Oh yeah, God. so five points of damage. Of course, uh, of course I'll it? just be shot, but I'll do the bare minimum. That's all I need. Um, <laughs> bonus action, I'm going to heal myself. Okay. Hey, James, does it bug you you do the bare minimum? Oh, no. It's a D10, <laughs> yeah. isn't it, James? Yeah, bug D10, bear. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know it's going to be one, don't you? Go on. It looks like one, but it's a seven. Okay, oh, eight points. Nice. Oh, I'm back to full health. I think it's a one. Did you roll a disadvantage? I'm gonna take a fucking photo of you. Uh, <laughs> disadvantage from a second win. Yeah, just for. Uh, I think it's a character trait now. Uh, <laughs> I'll allow you to do whatever you ever want, but you always have to roll a disadvantage. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll attack him five more times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done. Hey, That's all I can do. Stay what there. would you like to do? Uh, is, would there be a bucket or anything but there? A bucket. A bucket. That's very specific. Uh, Something sure. I can pick up with one hand. Make, and... make, make an investigation check. Would the, hold on, would this be counted as my action? No, we'll just say this is just you looking around. Okay, so perception. Perception or investigation, your oh, choice. Fucking perception then, because that's a minus one instead of a minus two. Uh, <laughs> nine. <laughs> nine? Quite a bucket, but you find like a, a small little barrel, a little empty barrel. That is fine. Kind of works pretty much the same. But as I run, no handle. <laughs> I want, yeah. As, as I'm, gr I want to grab it and run around the corner to as far as I can. Yeah. Which is here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I want to lob it at this fucker. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna attack roll. <clears throat> no proficiency bonus. Just my strength mod, yeah. Yeah. Improvised weapon, baby. That is a 16 to hit. Hits. Roll a one d4. Add your strength. Oh, it's a barrel of fun that is. Oh, max damage! Eight. Eight. Nice. James hit by this like. What a Do fuck? more damage with a barrel than that. I, I <laughs> wanted to say it, but yes. I just Goblins are dead. Inferior sword. <laughs> uh, that will then be my turn. I I hit him. Any bonus actions? We're not planning on getting a long rest anytime soon. No. Okay. Uh, Pelo. Uh, what to walk, walk 30 feet around the corner and then end my turn because I got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do anything. Take, take, the, uh, take, the, uh, take the dodge action, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Level one characters. Okay. Can't do shit, oh. Can do anything. Um, he's going to try and get away from you. He's going to jump down the hole. Get an attack of opportunity, Yoku. Whoop, whoop. Uh, ten. <laughs> ten does not hit. He Strength competition, down, right? Lands onto the, uh, the swinging crate. You see a little bit of tension in the rope. He adds to the weight of it. Uh, that rope with the crane next to him. And since you're leaning over, trying to get an attack of opportunity, he's going to fire up another boat bolt. Fucking hell. Uh, it's 18 to hit. Yeah, it hits. What did I see rolling there? 
Uh, the the, the uh, one sided one, and the one sided is twenty. You rolling d20s? Because I've been rolling d12s all the time. I've been rolling d100s. Level one. Uh, what happened? Did I die? I don't know. Just four points of damage kill you. Oh, it would have done, but I'm good. There you go. You made smart decisions. Um, <laughs> really? Let's say he uses all of his movement to get down there and stand up straight. Uh, okay, it's his turn, Sean. He's he's about ten foot from the floor, I'll say as well, just so you know. He's ten foot deep, standing on this swinging box. Can I? Well, oh, okay, I'd be able to make it past them, wouldn't I? So. Yep. Fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna just draw it because it's gonna be interesting. Can you see all of this now? Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna get there. If you wanna get that, I got no problem with you climbing over the uh, hay if you wanna try. Technically a bit better. Um, can I get to there? Oh, not learning to ping. Can I get to there then if I jump over the hay? Sure, make an acrobatics jump. He baited me, guys! He baited me! <laughs> <laughs> it's an eight! You make it, no problem. He was five. Fuck it up. Um, if I can see him, then I'm gonna try and take a shot. Absolutely, go for it. Fucking hell, 15 to hit. It's. Where's my D10 at? Where's my D10 there, baby? Please kill him before I do what I'm gonna do. <laughs> God damn it, jump in. Oh, that's not bad. Ten points of damage. Ten points of damage? Seven plus three for ten piercing. That's really damage. fucking good, man. Uh, he's right in his shoulder, and he's kind of like, ah! It's good. Um, Don't forget, uh, Sean, you have a short bow. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, he's using the, using the crossbow. Heavy, heavy I'm using crossbow. Oh, crossbow for a D10. Oh, okay. Picked up a crossbow nice. off the other side. Fucking upgrade. Yeah, man. Nice. Got off the other There's stuff out there. <laughs> I killed him, so I might as well steal the shit. Um, did you, that's did you all still that? Movement. I'm surprised you didn't good. get the black razor back in the mortuary. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Crow was in it. <laughs> Finish my turn. Sure. Now, uh, James. So he's 10 foot down, yeah? 10 foot down on this swinging crate. Um, how tall, how, what's it look like down there? Uh, it's that big swinging crate, there's other boxes, corridors to the side, and then just the water. It does kind of look like the sewer system. Like how high up is he on that crate? He's, he's about 10 foot under... Uh, I mean, in terms of like, well, the crate is hanging above water, how high is it to fall down into it? That, that'd be about another 15 foot of drop. That's not crazy, is it? Um, yeah, I'll jump. I'll jump on the crate, stab him. I want to jump like with my sword like this and try and stab him on the head. <laughs> okay. Uh, acrobatics check first of all. Eight. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I'll let you have it. Uh, attack roll. Mother of cunts. <laughs> Eleven. Is exactly what you need. <laughs> but I hit. Yep. Fucking a. I'm gonna roll the d12 because I feel like it. Right? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's better this time. Uh, thirteen points of damage. How do you want to do it? Yeah, it was d10. Uh, <laughs> sword. Like I want to come down. Like sword through his head and then stick him to the crate with my sword. You're not allowed to stick people to things. <laughs> no, that stick thing. Is that another class? <laughs> Have I misread uh, my class? <laughs> <laughs> so, dig into him and you just watch it all go down and the lights go cut in the thing where the uh, blade is sticking out. And just, yeah, you just kind of like crumple him into a pit. He's just like sat down, just kind of stuck against the crate. And just, there's a few moments where the light's still in him and he's just like, ah! He goes, <laughs> I kind of look at my sword and say, ah, this is a great sword. <laughs> God. Come down here, guys. It's great. I'm gonna lean over the edge and hand, give him my hand to come back up. 
before I go up, I would like to search the man and look around me as well to see what's... Okay. I uh, appreciate it, Mio. Just, just what's I'm done. <laughs> so, investigation check first for the man. Hey, does anyone want to have a look around here to see 19. if there's any health potions or anything? 19. I want to look in this Maybe crossbow side. again. Uh, mace. Flask of alcohol. And... Oh, and 20... Uh, what? Yes. Eight bots. <laughs> Eight bolts. Yeah. I'm gonna throw all that stuff up to the top. <laughs> More goodies! I'll hand the bolts to Candle. Jeez, thanks. And then um, I just wanna look around, like I see a boat down eight. there and stuff. I wanna see what's going on. Okay. 17 bolts, let's go. What is it in this darkness? Yeah, Paolo's gonna have Yeah, to I want to look, I'm gonna be inside here. <laughs> See if there's any goodies for us. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, so yeah, you make a uh, perception or investigation now, James. Everyone you know else what they're doing. Yeah, you're either looking around or you're fiddling around. Paolo's I'm looking around, looking okay, I'm, I'm still on that crease. <laughs> tell me each way you're going and what you're looking at, and I'll tell you what you're seeing. Paolo's going in there. Yeah. I'm just getting down here where he's by you. Uh, I'm hanging over the edge, waiting to lift him up. Mm hmm I have advised everyone to find health potions. Yeah, you, you, you said it before. What did you say you were doing, Sean? Um, I'm gonna, is this a doorway by here next to me? Yep. Uh, I don't want to... Is there like a, a keyhole or anything on it? Yep. Can I attempt to peer through the keyhole and see what's in the room? Sure. Perception check by you, investigation check by Siegfried. James, what'd you get? Investigation. 13. 13. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anything around at the moment. It just kind of looks like a sewer system and uh, boats obviously will come along here and deliver stuff. But right now it's just that one crate that you're on top of. Which would be lowered onto boats or stuff retrieved from boats and then kept up. But the super system seems kind of bare. Is, is there a boat near me? Can I try and get on a boat just so. Oh no, hang on to the edge of the crate and like open it. There's, and peer there's no boats near you, I'm saying there's nothing there at the moment. Okay. Can I try and. I want to get a look in the crate, so can I hang off the edge and try and open a plank or the lid? Sure, or make an investigation check now. Siegfried, what we got? 19. 19? Yeah. Um, so you find a, a few crates yourself. You uh, find some horse materials in there, uh, like uh, saddles and stuff and whatnot. And then to the other side, you start finding uh, boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, in one, you find um, some great swords. In another, you find uh, some war hammers. Um, in another, you find some scimitars, rapiers, uh, great axes. It's weapon, guys. Collection of weapons here. Yeah. Health potions. That's all you find in that room. Uh, Sean, what did we get? 21. 21? Oh. Uh, you look through... It takes you a while to figure out because you don't get distance on what you're looking at. You're just looking at something very... It's overblocked. Uh, and then you realize it's something close to you. Uh, probably someone stood in front of this door. You're looking at the back of someone's uh, shirt. Oh, shit. I'm going to back away slowly. Mm -hmm. To, like, by here. Okay. Ready to tell the group of... Well... What I've seen in there. There's potentially other people. Okay. How do we do, James? 18. 18? Uh, you peer in. This one appears to be full of uh, different collections of armor. So you find uh, some chain shirts, some scale mails. Uh, find just a couple of uh you find one plate armor full plate armor uh lovely a lot of studded leather mostly studded leather um i'll take one of the chain ones uh 
I'll, I'll shout out to the top. Siegfried, you, you want some plate armor? Yes. Can I manage to throw the plate armor up from around? Very difficult uh, to um... manipulate a whole chain armor out of the box because you can't just can I can I try and get on top of the box and start prying the planks off to get more of an opening sure can I next strength uh, what are you pry prying with just my hands can I have a look around okay, to see check. if I can pull that platform up sure is there anything specific you're trying to look at well it, does this seem like a winch sort of area yep can I get over there and just basically see if there's a rope or anything I can pull up the platform closer to us? Seems fairly straightforward, fairly easy to work out. You pull on a rope and you'll pull it up. It's hooked up at the moment. You can unhook it and pull it up. Uh, I'll unhook it and pull it up. Okay, strength check. This is what I do. Uh, right. That is a 19. 19, good. James, what did you get? 7. 7? You're struggling to pull it apart, but suddenly the whole box starts shaking and raise it up. <laughs> out of this clatters a little bit as it tries to find its space through the square and then he's all pulled all the way up and you're brought back level with the rest of the party hello hello I... Fang, you, you're you're really smarter than you look you know would you get off <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna call out to the guys there's another room over here there's someone in it i'm going to go Shh. back and get the two bodies and then i will Proceed to throw all the bodies in the sewer. Okay. So I want to get and collect some plate armor. Okay. You go and uh, steal some plate armor. Yep. Did I get a chain shirt? Was it a chain shirt, chain mail? Or something? Uh, chain shirt is the one you found. Yeah. Chain shirt. Okay. What does that do? Uh, a chain shirt is thirteen plus dex. 13. No, that's a bit better. What is the plate armor, guys? Plate armor is mm -hmm. an AC of 18, disadvantage Ooh. on your stealth. Oh, it's fine. I don't care about that. 20 AC, baby. 18 plus 2 is 20. Big days. I need to stay alive. Uh, can I take a war hammer as well? So it will take you. Uh... Ten minutes to get into the full plate armor. Pursuit. Okay. Uh, once I've got everyone up. So you're taking time to change, yeah? Yeah. Once okay. I've got everyone up, I want to come over here. Okay. Investigation check. Yeah, I want to check. I'm, I'm assuming. Looking for potions, healing potions. And that is what was it? Investigation. Fuck. Nine. Nine. Yeah. You find a crate with two dozen red vials in. Oh, uh, I, I'm going to take them over to Siegfried. Oh, Siegfried, are these health potions? Take a peek of it. Yeah. Intelligence check for me. You can, uh... Intelligence. Yeah. Not really smart. Something like a Is there 13? 13. Yep. Uh, red, potiony shaped. Mm -hmm. Probably. Uh, so we got 12, yeah? Uh, two dozen. 24. Two to fuck me. <laughs> uh, is there a bag or anything around? Alright. Lots of sacks around and stuff like that. Sack. Okay. Uh, is 1d4 plus 4, yeah? 2d4. Uh, 2, 1, whatever. 2. Uh, I'm going to sack. Yeah. It's oh. 2d4 plus 2. Ooh. So plus anyone two. who's taken a potion, know. take a potion. Start with one for now, and then we'll... Tell me if you're taking a potion. Yeah, he's going to do something. They're not, they're not normal potions. <laughs> Palo said yeah, we, don't, we don't know one. No. Has anyone used one? Palo just said he was taking one. I want to use one to see if they are really what, we, what I think it is. Okay, you drink one. Yeah. You heal 1d4 plus 1. No they seem to be weaker you. versions of healing. Yeah. They're watered down! Did it work? Something. Still full max health anyway. You are max health. Right. I'm gonna have one if he's have one. Um, I'm gonna go into the weapon room, whatever, and pick up two scimitars. 
Okay. I would have picked up a great axe as well. Yep. Uh, I took one of those potions. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, is there a, can I look in the weapons room? Is there any other weapons of interest? Just looking for a great sword. Seems to. Yeah, yeah, it's great swords in there. Great swords? Oh, so yeah, I'll take a great yeah, sword. First thing you said, I think. Hello. Oh, I heard him say great ass. And... I'll a, take a peel and full health. I'm full health now. So, James. I'm missing one. Alright, that's alright. And. Well, you can take another one if you want. That's right. Alright. And Sean. Um, I'm a full off. I'm just gonna take a healing part. You want one, or do you want? Because we've got twenty-two. I'm taking one. Just the one, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll take one to keep on my person actually. Yeah, I presume I can't carry there. that much anyway. So. Well, I've got a sack, so I'll be carrying it. Can I carry all twenty-two? Yeah, I'll, I'll take. I'll take one to get my. Uh, pocket. Got one's twenty-one. Paolo, do you want one? If Carry. you want to give me some, I got, we got buckets anyway. We got to put in some stuff. So you in. got you. How many do you want? One or what? One or two? You give me two. You got two. We bring two. you down to nineteen. And Sean, you said you're taking one, yeah? Yeah. All right, that brings me down to eighteen. Yeah, eighteen, and then I'm gonna chug a bunch <laughs> until I'm full health. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure you keep in track of how many. Of... Yeah, yeah, I got eighteen. Yeah. Fuck me, I love this. Full. Uh, so that's eleven. Oh, I probably only need one more. Can't do math. It's really low numbers. <laughs> it's low numbers. Fuck me. Uh, so we're down to fifteen healing potions. Jeez. Fifteen. Weak. Yeah, weak healing potion. This. This golden pig isn't on the map, is it? No, like, uh, Nate sounds off. Yeah, okay. yeah I know. Did it, it did catch my eye. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, well, do you want to go and take care of whatever's through this door? I'm um, gonna, like, set up by this, like, by these crates here. I want to get here stealthily. Sure. As as so I you've told us that there's a guy there, yeah? Yeah, I came out and went, shh. Could you uh, shoot him through the keyhole? Um, That's a there is, there's a warhammer, there's a two-hander, yeah? They were next to the door when I was there. Warhammer? I think so. Yeah. It's versatile. 1d8 one-handed, 1d10 two-handed. Hand. So I'm gonna change my mace with the warhammer. Are you holding it one-handed or two-handed? One-handed at the moment. He's got okay. a shield, anyway. If you go two-handed, you got to put the shield away. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm using it. Can I stand in front of the door? Yep. Alright, so what I would have told them before I got there. So my plan is if we all get in a position to attack, I'll kick this door, hopefully knocking whoever's on the other side. I'll give this door a full kick at my full strength. Alright. D twenty strength. There's Knock him prone, guys, get some advantage. If you guys get behind me, especially Kendall. I got be I got be here. Maybe he's able to get a shot off on anyone else he may see in there. I'll be the, stood uh, uh, opposite candle. So I've now decided that Feng's low intelligence is going to be the fact that he can't read, spell, or shit like that. Because <laughs> I can't do stupid all the time. It does my nothing. <laughs> uh, but also, as you can tell, mentally unstable. <laughs> Uh, are we happy with their plane? Sounds good. Yeah. Um, Is if he opens that door, Scottish? no, it doesn't matter. Also, that one <laughs> just sounded Scottish. He opens that door. All right. Sure, you ready? Three, two, one. So, what's everybody planning to do? I've got my sword out, ready to run in. I'm gonna boot the door. I mean, you can theoretically ready actions here and try for a surprise round. I'm gonna kick the door and step back to allow these guys in. Yeah, you have to I'm specifically gonna... tell me what you're gonna do on this round. Uh, ready, sword out, uh, run in to step. attack the first guy I see if he looks like an enemy. First enemy. I'll see if it's like a kid, then I'm not gonna go. Uh, what are you doing, Sean? I'm ready in a crossbow shot to like, as soon as you like, basically kick the door and then you just like lean the. 
Yeah, I'm kicking the door and stepping one square back. Okay. Okay. So, strength check. Come on. Natural 20 strength. There we go, that is a 17. And as I nice. kick it, I'll be like, I punctured you! <laughs> okay. <coughs> Door swings straight open, hits against something, which gets pushed forward. Yoki runs in, gets his surprise attack on the first person there. Yeah? Yeah, does it look like... Looks like uh, another one of the folks, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I want to slash down on... Candor, what are you doing? Like, looking to see what's in the room. Right now, just a guy in front of you. This is happening very quick, so it's just a second reaction. I'm, sh I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah? Yep. Anything from you, Paolo? No, I'm gonna follow James. Okay. Um, there he is. This, how does this work with, like, surprise? And is, has he been knocked over and stuff? Or? Um, he's just been caught off guard, so you get advantage on the roll. And I would get my surprise attack. And you get your surprise attack damage. I want to follow him. Attack him. Attack him. Oh! What? The natural 20. <laughs> you have to roll double and everything then. So That's double my surprise attack. Yeah. yeah, all dice. Yeah. So I'm rolling. Fuck it out. 8d6. You killed Woo! this guy. What? How many? Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's 2d6 for Great Sword, yeah. and then 2d6 my surprise attack, so it's 8d6. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is, fuck up. Yeah. Fuck me! It's an overpowered one. Wait, what, how many? 8d6. 20. Fuck you, dude. 38 points of damage. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, take the sword. Uh, what did you, what did you roll as well, Sean? Did you roll an attack? I rolled an attack that was a fifteen. Yes, yeah, so you would have hit as well. So this is all happening at the same time. Paolo, were you doing anything? I rolled a twelve. So no, fourteen. Roll, sorry. Get a hit. <laughs> um, oh, I feel sorry so, for this guy. Arrow into the chest, mace into the chest, and then plunging forward. You push the sword into his chest, the great sword, straight through, cracking through the ribcage, just leaving him stunned. <laughs> and as you pull the sword back, ting, the sword snaps. And you're just left with uh, the pommel. <laughs> uh, 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 yours alone is enough to uh, kill that guy. Fucking amazing. I'm going to walk in, follow Well, I'm going to... Well, let me reveal uh, the room for you now. I was about to say, if they go into the room, this is where they're. We just gotta kill the bastards before they can shoot us. I was about to say, we realise there's just one person. <laughs> oh God! No, there's a lot of. It's D. D is here this entire time. <laughs> I've only got one count, uh, commoner token. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's a pirate. I can't even tell what that guy is. That guy looks the him? business. I thought he was Judge Dredd, but he's not. If you zoom in. Like oh, he's got a bandana on him. What the fuck is that? I'm zoomed in as far as I can. Like, this fucking looks evil as hell. I'm like, oh fuck. Now that's one or two people. That's the, the boss of this okay. area. Oh. I'm gonna need everybody to roll initiative. Roll in initiative. Excuse my. Took out one. That's pretty. Woo! We did take out one. Yeah, it's an amazing fucking uh, strike. And I'm back up to full health, so. It's a great skill. It's once per combat. It's pretty sweet. Once per. Oh, so you can't do it now for the rest of combat? No. no. Alright. I don't think I'm though. gonna get a surprise attack oh, again yeah, anyway. I don't know why I do it. I was thinking. Well, that's it. It's attack. just planning it like that. You gotta get the drop on someone. Go and run the corner running with your lungs. <laughs> Mate, I, I thought you was closer. <laughs> as soon as Sean said some guys fair. on the other side of the wall, I was like, I'm going to kick this door down. I, ca I uh, cannot play Feng as an idiot. I have to. He's he's still a gentle giant. He wants to be. He's kind to everyone. If you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> he is. He is very, yeah, very approachable half orc. He's, he's he's a gentle giant because everyone thinks he's like, oh shit, he's a half orc. Get the fuck away from him. Especially this, <laughs> this scarred fuck. Have you seen my counter for him? 
Yeah, he's fucking. Zoom in on to be that fair, he does not look gentle in that picture. This, he's, that's when he's raging. That's when he's gone full <laughs> anger mode and starts spouting off gibberish. Just doing a few things for my sanity. I don't think I can reach anyone. So, show us what you get us. Nineteen. Nineteenus. Nineteenus. Uh, your name is Kriandu. Oh, get there. Hello. Eighteen. Oh, here we are. Uh, Nate. Seventeen. Squad two. Oh, Sixteen, James. Sixteen. Guy is here. James. I'm not gonna believe it. It's ten. <laughs> Let's down. <laughs> no. Yoki da bear. Okay. Top of the round as these all react to one person coming in and uh, just absolutely demolishing that first guy. Um, top of the round, Kandor, what would you like to do as they all appear to be reaching for weapons? Can I move into the room? No. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> um, is this a wall on the on on the left here? Just to check. It's a really weird shape. Yeah, it is. It's a little extended. Uh... Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Um, <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Uh, you can take time to make a perception check if you want, as an action or disadvantage as a free action. James, like you don't get, have a weapon like, right now, do you? Roughly in the corner here. No, I've still got my... I think I kept my long uh, no, sword. Get, get to here. So if you're just at the 10, edge of this 15, table. 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Get See what Darius says. I'm about to sprint um, back and get another sword. Elves not getting an extra couple of feet? Uh, I get an extra well, 5 yeah. foot, but I don't want to move the extra 5 foot. Okay, I'm, not. There. Um, I'm going to take a crossbow, sh uh, a crossbow shot at this guy. Okay. Do it. Do it! Bam! <laughs> 19 to hit. No, 18 to hit. Hits. Got my D12. Gonna hit him hard. Oof. It's a 9 points of piercing damage. It's a 9 points. It's a 9 points of damage. It's a 9. It's a 9. It's a me. 9. Um, and that is going to end my turn. Sexy. Very sexy. Sexy I like. Uh, in your turn. Okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. Who's at the door? Forty-four. Siegfried, what would you like to? Can I move around here? Is it my thirty feet. Where would you like to move to, sir? Here. Five, ten, fifteen. Oh. Twenty-five. What the fuck, yeah. Adaka? Uh, Where is he? There's, Where there's he a go? reaction. I can decide to move across the room. Five, oh. ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. You there. Yeah, I want to use my Warhammer on his head. Mm-hmm. Hey. Go for it. It's a 15. 15 hits. What is my D8? Here. Hey. 3 plus 2. 5. 5 points of damage. Yep. Nice. And with that second attack with your Warhammer, <laughs> the handle breaks and the end just drops off. You don't have a Warhammer anymore. <laughs> Paolo looks so fucking disappointed. <laughs> Shit, you happens everywhere. <laughs> Told him you just killed his cat, dude. <laughs> yeah. Signed your go. Yep. Break it, breaking a war. war okay. Sport, huh? Feng. He's going to. I'm gonna use my other mace. I'm gonna be back with oh, my. Shit. Get to there. Five, ten, fifteen. Wild running. Five. Bonus action rage. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna break his axe now. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I wouldn't know that, so I'm just gonna, sh as I attack him, I'm just gonna shout, "Who wants the first slice?" And that is a twenty to hit. Twenty to hit hits. Let's get at least one big damage out of this. This fucking D twelve. Some big damage. Nope, that's a uh, five. Nope. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage, okay. And uh, as a free action, I pull out my other weapon. <laughs> he doesn't, he didn't see it. Great axe hasn't broken yet. Yeah. 40 12. What? It's not broken. Oh, never mind then. Actually, it is a great axe. <laughs> this is a great axe. 
for one more round. <laughs> End of my the turn. goblins could hear you now. Um, I showed them what I thought of their work. I was being nice. Excuse me. Uh, what's what's happening? What's everybody's name? I've finished. So whoever's after Yoki! <laughs> <coughs> Oh. Okie dokie, Yoki. Yoki, Yoki. Uh. <laughs> it's got this nice little golden eye touch to it with the bongs, this song does. Yeah, yeah, it's a. Okay. How do I. How do I. The fucking... yeah, I can't hear it that much. I want to move as far as I can towards in. Towards Can you him. move me? Um, I I don't know how to do that weird thing where they like trying to snap. go over the table. Right click. Five, ten, Jesus. Five. Get on the table there if you want. That's as far as I can get. If you're going direct, I'm saying, do you want to jump onto the table or go right? Yeah, yeah, I'll jump right up on the table. Okay, athletics check. <laughs> so James. Or acrobatics, your call. Fifteen. Fifteen, you good. Yeah. Um, is that as far as I go? Yeah, perfect. Uh, I can pull out my longsword. Yep. Um, I'll gesture it towards this ugly looking guy. Mm -hmm. uh, him. Mm -hmm. And I will shout at him, I am Yoki, and I will test my sword against you. But then I'll twat this guy in the head that I can reach. <laughs> sure. Tackle. Um... I can't. You're my ten foot range. Can I reach him? You can. Like diagonal. Yeah. Uh, I can. No, that's fifteen. That's just fifteen, isn't it? If that was movement, that'd be five fifteen. So he's just dead. So he's fifteen out here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just hit the guy that I can fuck you've done there. Ten uh, foot of range. With, oh no, not with the long sword. With the no, 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 no. Um, yeah, just taught him. <sighs> ten. Oh, get it the fuck ten does not hit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Fucking hell. You're, you're quite split. It's now all of their goes. Um, <laughs> Fug one is going to attack two that hit him. So that's Feng and Sig. Uh, 14 to hit Feng. Yep. I'm sorry, it's 16 to hit Feng. Sorry. Yep. What it's worth. I thought it was you with me. Please. I'm always rolling a six on this d6. Uh, so that's eight points of damage. So four points of damage. Yes. Yep. Okay. And then it was a 14 to hit you, Paolo. Nope, but I can use my reaction to use my, do a de deck save. Yes, that is D&D. Yeah. D&D, <laughs> boys. D&D. Do you get a deck save? On D. D. And D. Shocking. Yeah, Eight. No way. No. Nope. I take full damage. <laughs> Go for it. Eight. Eight points of damage. Oh, Fucking no damage. Fucking shit. Um. Okay. You can uh, use it one more time. This reaction. I look forward to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's in the that is his turn. This guy's still standing. Fug 2 has got... He's looking really rough. He's got a, a lot of bolts on him. 5, 15, uh, 20, 25. We'll go 30. Uh, crossbow bolts against... Uh, oh, yeah, he's meant to have two attacks that last time. Uh, against <laughs> Yoki. He did he missed it, though. <laughs> like, yeah, that last guy did have two attacks. He should have. He did have two attacks. He did have two attacks. He he I'm well. on about the guy who fell on the crate. When he shot off the crate, oh. he should have fired. Oh no, he couldn't. Was because crossbow, crossbow, you can only fall once around. So I think this one's going for Yoki. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! This is going for Yoki. I use my reaction to hide. <laughs> use your reaction to cry. Uh, Ditons. That is, you lucky cunt. Uh, 2d10, <laughs> you take Man. three points of damage. Really? Yeah. 2d10? I'm, I'm furious. 2d10s, I roll a 1 and a 2. 
Fucking crossbow! Thank you. <laughs> Roll a nat 20 against the Hugh Rack <laughs> <laughs> uh, I figure that will end his go. He's pretty happy with that. Christ, so that guy uh, could one shot any of us. Oh no, he couldn't one shot Nate. If, if he natural well, twenty, me. and yeah, rolls natural. the highest. I mean, there's a lot of uh, things to it. Okay, no, this Come captain on. fella here. No, no, we never got a description of Pango, did we? No. Nope. Going to. Nope. I'm just going to assume that's not Pango. Otherwise, the guy would be. He's going to throw two daggers at you. So, <laughs> as you say, uh, what did you say? My name is Yoki. Yeah, my name is Yoki. I'll test my body. My name is Pango! Oh, <laughs> we found him! <laughs> okay. Whips out two daggers. Uh, nine to hit. Nine? Yeah. Nine. Nine. Fourteen to hit. Oh, this is as well. Okay. Uh, what are you wearing? Uh, I got that chain shirt on now, so it's 13 plus yeah, cool. two. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so one digs into the chain shirt, the other flies past, and he's like, mm, fuck. Um, <laughs> five, fifteen, goes crossbow. back to there, and looks over at this guy, and he's like, fucking get in there, then! And, uh, his commoner is gonna be like, mm. <laughs> Who is this guy? Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen, twenty, gonna clamber up onto the table, and very meekly be like, <laughs> That's a 10 to hit. No, he doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, yeah, he wasn't even trying. So it just whoosh, swings over your head. Looks very unconfident with that one. He's like, oh shit! Uh, that I think will end his goal. Let me just see if I'm missing it here. No, we're good. So, top of the round. Candor. I'm going to take a crossbow shot at the this this dude, Thug Two. Okay. Oh fuck, thirteen to hit. Thirteen to hit hits. Yeah. Better roll better on the D ten. Oh, it's a ten plus three for thirteen. Oh. Oh. Uh, thirteen points. Think of Twitch. Okay. Think of just the rest of us. My shirt was on, it's well. fine. <laughs> 13 points of damage. Cross 13 the ball. points of damage. <laughs> Groovy. This man knows how to roll a d10. Yeah, man. And I'm I'm just going to stay behind this table as I'm trying to load this crossbow again. Okay. Uh, Siegfried. Siegfried, they're going to drop the rest of the armor and pick up my mace. The normal yep. one. Hey, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> right click. Oh, yeah, so as you pull it, right click, then carry on going. Hey. So keep Whoa, hold of left click. Okay. So, a ten. Sorry, left click. Left click, keep hold of left Center click. Center hit? Yeah. That's not hit. Yeah, I know. Right click once and let go. And you go. Change. Yep. If you can't yeah. figure it out. I'm on I'm on a fucking laptop, this is really difficult. Oh, you might be fucked then. I can't do well, it. I can do it. <laughs> How the fuck are you doing? I've, like my thing is like all one big pad, so it's like trying and to right click. Really have like... you not got the the clicks at the bottom, the left click? That's almost. Nah, it's just bad. all one big pad. Yeah, then fuck it, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't do <laughs> it. Pro pro gamer laptop, this is a piece of shit. Bang! What would you like to do? Look at those odd numbers. Is this guy's still standing. Yep. I think we didn't hit. Forty point one feet. Yeah, all right. I'll take a I'll take a hit at the guy in front of me. I won't do what I was gonna do. Okay. Uh. Yeah. That's a. What the fuck is that? That's a twenty-one to hit. Hits. My great axe is still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's still alive. <laughs> <gasps> yes. Max damage. Sixteen nice. points of damage. How do you want to do it? Uh, hold on, I got something for this. Nope. As I swing, huh? my axe is thirsty! <laughs> and just lop his head off. Just... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you seem to watch the metal as it hits the bone in the middle of the neck crack. And your great axe is no longer, no longer working as the metal shatters. 
but the head does come off. Okay. Uh, while I'm running, I will pull out my battle axe, and I'm going to move sure. to here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Thirty. And then going to scream in his face. Uh, hurt me more. It hurts good. <laughs> okay. Um, la, 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 la. Yucky. Um, I'm going to shout for reaction to this commoner attacking me. Says, Quit fucking around. You get yourself killed. <laughs> and then I'm going to run past him and I want to get... Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So five, ten, On the way, bonus action, chugging my potion. Go for it. Uh, yeah, sure, go for it. Commoner will take an attack of opportunity. 12 okay. to hit. 12, no, he didn't. Specifically told him to stop fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I may have to stop uh, doing the fucking. You're lucky, James. Basics. Just letting you know I'm you're just, lucky. I'm going for going for this guy. Uh, what's his name? Pangu. Yep. Oh, it's okay. Twenty one. Twenty one hits. Oh, I'm on longsword now, aren't I? Uh, uh, ten points of damage. Mm -hmm. Ten points of damage. I see no reason why that can't be a thing that happens. So who's hoping that we level up after this, but Coco doesn't? Yeah, everyone just wants it. <laughs> Still rocks. Uh, is that end your go, James? Paladin. Yeah. Right. Oh, don't don't tell him to a level two either, and he'll just be like, "Why do I keep dying? I'm really struggling." I'm going to make every enemy attack him as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fug two. Uh... He's going to take a step back. That's, uh... He's going to go over there. That's an attack of opportunity for both Fing and Yoki, if they want it. <laughs> so... 16. Hits. Uh, 17. Hits. Shit, what am I using now? It's a D... Nine points of damage. This will be a D8, as it will only be... My first attack with it, like swinging back one handed. Uh, that is eight points of damage as I scream, okay. I saw the light! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he takes a good few hits, but he manages to swing around and take a crossbow shot. Uh, I think Fing probably looks the most threatening. <laughs> That's uh, 24. Three to hit. Yeah, that hits. That is nine points of damage. Nine reduced to four. Absolute. Uh, so it, yeah. All right. Ouch. <laughs> uh, after that, Angle will look at you and he'll be like, "You really think you can come in my house? Travel." And uh, he From will make with love. <laughs> three attacks. So the what? first one, level one, Derek. with his scimitar against Feng, uh, misses. Five natural players. Three, so I think that's an eight to hit. Yeah, that's an eight. Next one against Yoki is a twenty. <laughs> Twenty-four to hit. I miss Feng, but you, fuck you. <laughs> no, Twenty-four to hit, and with this second shot that uh, collides with your armor. The chain shirt breaks <laughs> from your chest and collapses to the floor. Okay, so I'm back down to 14 AC. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but. There's nothing wrong with that. We've all been there. <laughs> well, I put down 16 and I've never reached that <laughs> in this session. Um, yeah, so he hits me. He ain't so, got shit there, right? So let's roll damage then. Don't know what your problem is. Um, Do you want me to roll it for you? So no, I got it. Seven points of damage. Jesus. A fucking slack. I, keep, uh, I keep healing myself every time I get hit. I'm like on death doorstep. <laughs> and he gets one follow up on that. I think he's gonna try and uh, take you again, Yoki. Oh shit. Ten to hit. Oh, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> so and then level. five, ten through Fuck. the door. Fifteen attacks of opportunity. No, we used them. You used them. You just used them. On the other uh, side. He baited you! He baited you! <laughs> he did. Well, you wouldn't have finished him anyway. 
Okay, so you look in there and you seem to have... Uh, James, you're taking Sentinel, yeah? The end of a bed in this room. Thank you, I forgot about that, yeah. Um, <laughs> he dies. Just can't oh, wait to shit. say all the bullshit. Exciting, isn't it? It's, the... it's a proper exciting. Yeah, we don't uh, meant to start with the feet, won't we? <laughs> I wish. The I commoner is going to come over shakily to Siegfried's, he's the closest, and make an attack. Nine to hit. Just nope. stop. I agree. <laughs> Not going to use any reaction, he's a poor fella. <laughs> he's a poor fella. I've got this Go home to your living. kids, come. He's a puff in it. I'm just seeing something fly across the screen. Yeah. Oh, did you all see that? Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't see it. It's a zombie. I rolled too low on perception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the goblins. I wonder if they heard what I said about their sword. Yeah, we're still on the same map, aren't we? I feel like we're in a different fucking map. No, it's the same map. No, yeah. it's the same. Goblins are right there. Goal. Should we shout for help? <laughs> Just one big ass building. Okay, help. so uh, the commander misses. Back to the top of the round. Cain Doru. I'm gonna shoot at the thug of my crossbow. Go for it. Do that thing. Do that thing. Do you think the thing? Do you think That's the a thing? seventeen to hit. Seventeen to hit hits. Uh, D10 damage. Hiya. Oh baby. Uh, that's decent. Nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. How do you want to do it? Oh, I'm literally like, I'm engaged in like this kind of like, I'm kind of like going, uh, uh, just jumping up from behind the table and just like taking shots. And then I just take the last one, just, thunk, just straight for his in eye. The, just in his back, just out like the front of yeah. his chest. Because he's cause he was currently preoccupied and watching the, the other two. Doing, he's just coming in the back and he just drops the thing, falls. Just uh. a near our one, like a cowboy off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spin and drop. What a moment for that act. Um, <laughs> it is deader than a dead thing. Ten. Not good metaphors. Uh, what, dead then things I'm gonna and move things? to here. Dead things and things. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Pretty straightforward, I would say. And then I'm gonna just yeah be lo reloading the crossbow and everything. So I'm just watching down the street to that door you went through. Yeah, man. Secret. And I shout at him, I didn't want to attack you, but you attack me, so die! <laughs> Is this door open that you ran through? 21. Okay. 21? What's your strength modifier? You're gonna, like, kneecap yeah. him off the table. Plus two. Plus two? Roll, he might survive. <laughs> it was me, you wouldn't. Oh, I roll a d6 and I roll a 6, so it's 8. <laughs> so you actually Boom. double his health. Obliterate him. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oopsie. By no means possible. Outright. He's Literally just, just fucking uh, giblets. <laughs> straight straight through right. the torso. With a fucking mace, you've cut him in. <laughs> <laughs> right through him. A fucking That's mace. That's like the, the Hulk and Thor bit. Okay. He's up for he's up half Hulk, his Hulk. line on the floor. Just like, I made bad choices. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's pulling himself together, just grabs the bottom oh, of his ankle. Oh my god. Like, I want to <laughs> move. Just but the, my legs. The closest I can to the door. Going over the table or around the table? Yeah, let's go over the table. Athletics check or acrobatics check? Yeah. yeah. Is it 19? 19? Athletics. 5, 15, 20, 20, summit, 30. I think you're there. <laughs> That end your go, I believe. Thingy! Thing did a thing to thing, thing thing for the thing did a thing. Where are you running? Uh, I want to get into this room. To here. So, 5, 10, 15, let's light her up. There you go. There's another basket. Shit. So, if I get 15, tw uh, 20, so I can get behind him. Yeah, I want to get by. 5, 10, 15. 5, uh, right there. 5, 10, 15, 25. Yeah, you could get an extra. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm going to just smack him in the back. Uh, Two hands on my, uh, on my battle axe. Sure. 
That is a 21 to hit. 21 hits. Where's my D10? Because I love my D10. Come on, D10. Oh, that's fucking lovely. 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Very nice. Good times, good times. Time to make some wounds. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch that more ends things then. go. Yucky. Yucky! Well, I've, I've, got to, I've got to run in there, but I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to run. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, five, shit. ten. Bonus geez. action. Heal. 20 there. Yeah. Uh, I'll run up next to a thingy then, I suppose. 25, 30. Up on the old bed. Up on the bed. Pajama Do I attack. I'll take the dodge. I... Ah, Fang's got loads of potions. He'll bring me back. Sure. Uh, let's go for go Fang, for the thingy. Who's um... Stable right now is going to bring you back. Ooh. How do hostage situations work in D and D? Explain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, sorry, sorry, Jerry. You yeah. need to give us more. I'm thinking of grabbing him, putting my sword to his neck, and telling the other guy not to it. I mean, you can't. <laughs> There's no D&D mechanic to just kill someone in one shot, so it doesn't really work. You would just make a grapple to get out. I mean, you could yeah, try and bargain I know, for I know, life, but, but it, it, I guess it would I mean. be like a persuasion check to the other you guy. Could, you could try that, yeah. Have you played D&D before, James? No, no, it's, I understand what you're saying, I'm just saying... I know, I know I can't kill him, him once, but that's what I'm, I'm but trying. He's trying. Yeah. he's trying to kill him. <laughs> um, uh, you could still attempt it if you Is he always I, I know this gun's going to shoot me, and I'm going to die. Oh! I don't go gonna... well with crossbows. You're not gonna die. <laughs> I don't go well with crossbows, is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't get along. Uh, nah, I'll just time. Go for it. Uh, free action, I will shout, uh, put your weapons down and we're gonna kill you all. Uh, 15 to hit. Against Pango? Yeah. He uses his reaction to up his AC and deflects it with a wave of his scimitar. Oof. 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 Well, I'm fucked. Yeah, whatever. will be fine. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Look to his um, dead in his new... Free action, I'll die. Cool. Pango <laughs> is going to look you in the eyes and he's going to try and force a dagger right into your ribs. Fuck. I mean, I'm glad you're alive. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I'm alive. I'm alive. Go ahead, you can try it two more times. Uh, well, yeah, scimitar attacks. One against Yoki. Against. Okay. Uh, it is twenty-one to hit uh, Yoki. Twenty-one to hit Fang. It's twenty-two to hit Fang. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take the twenty-two in case Fang can dodge twenty-one. Okay. Oh, um, oh, I'm 20. Yeah, so, yeah you, you got me, but I'll use my reaction to uh, parry it. <laughs> Raise my AC by bullshit. <laughs> Don't kill me, I like this character. My other okay. Thing. Uh, five points of damage against Yoki. Six points of damage against. No, sorry, it's the other way around. Five points of damage against <laughs> the one who is in Yoki. <laughs> <laughs> Six points of damage against uh, Yoki. So I take yeah, two I'm points down. of damage. Okay. Are you down? I'm down. He's down. <laughs> Just <laughs> all the red. All the red. Get it all on that. Okay. Uh, so you halved yours, Nate? Yeah. Yeah. I only took two. Cool. Uh, that's Pango's go. Oh, we killed the commoner as well, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. Just gonna roll, roll a new character group. Five. <laughs> gonna come in as level one with Crow. <laughs> 20. Uh, we will have two attacks against Feng. He got a sword, is he? Yep. Fuck. Uh, eight to. No, nine to hit. Nope. I know, it's a bad isn't it? Uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> he was embarrassed, then he was like, oh, I'm gonna make it up. Seven points of damage, half to. After three. Yep. Right, yep. I'm still standing. And that will be Fug Free's turn. Um, comes to Kandor. Oh, what the fuck are they doing in there? Uh, 
I just realised candles not on my map. There we go. <laughs> All I can do is get to there next to where um, Siegfried is. Um, you could try and jump over the table. I mean, yeah, I could. It, I don't think it'll ultimately make much of a difference. I'm just going to get there. Just there? 35, ain't you? Yeah. So you get to the one in front of you. If he wants to go over the table, yeah. Oh, did he go round? Yeah, I'm going round the table. You're a dexterous fighter. That's your movement. Um. Well, I can't really see anyone from here, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna. I guess. Action dash into the room. Okay, so after ten feet, uh, well, five. Yeah, after ten feet, you see the room as it is. Uh, Yoki on the floor, bleeding out. Fang this... engaged in combat. Sorry, am I in the corner? Is this where the door is? Yeah. Yep. Door's behind you. I'm gonna move to here then. Mhm. Mm and that's gonna reaction anything? Hang on. Can I feed a potion to this dude? Not as a bonus action. Oh shit, no. Uh, end my turn. Okay. End your turn. Uh, Siegfried. I want to move here. 5, 10, 20. Give it a bonus action, a potion to... It's not a bonus action to feed it's a potion. A full action. Well, I'll give a full action and give you a potion. Okay. Thank you, Siegfried. No worries. I'm a cleric. Your, your token looks like... He has just seen so much shit, he's tired of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> when I saw the picture, that is me. He's so tired. <laughs> Someone roll a 1d4. James! Uh, am oh, I rolling it or Paolo? How do you know? I'm rolling or he's rolling? You roll it. Okay. Go on, you're, you're the cleric. He's unconscious. Oh, okay. four. So it's five. Oh, beautiful. Fucking beauty. He's enough to get hit yeah. once and get He's taken He's gonna down. get up and then just get straight <laughs> yeah. down again. Okay, yep. uh, as long as I can get a turn in, I'm happy. Like, I'm alive! Did Dunk. that count as a <laughs> short rest or something? The last movement, the move here. Tiny mm. rest. Okay. Would I have seen his... Would I have seen how far Yoki can reach? Yeah, you would have seen that example, I would say. Seen his long arms. Alright, and... <laughs> My turn, yeah. my turn. Okay. Uh, after Kendo, Siegfried, think. Gonna chug a potion. As mm -hmm. a bonus action. Actually, if I uh, if I want to shove him back five feet, is that still classed as an attack? I think it is. Would my rage yeah. keep going is basically what I want to say. No, uh, yeah, your rage would stay up. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I heal for fucking two. <laughs> uh, nice. It's not bad. All right, and then, I, the then I want to shove him back uh, sure. at least five feet. Be a contested athletics check. Uh, athletics. This is a strength check, yeah, so I get advantage. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank fuck. One of them's a four. <laughs> uh, that's a 23. That'll do it. He rolled low. So, yeah. Push him back. No problem. Uh, yeah, that'll be my action. Just want to get him away from... Sure. Yoki. No problem. Yoki, you're up. Can I hit him for me? Yep. 15 foot. It's 10 foot. 10 foot, sorry. Yep. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just say, yeah, just get that back was up. That my plan and it I worked. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll stand up um, and then I'll hit You see, James, it's very easy to <laughs> shut. Well, no, before it was when when he was stood here, I can't hit No, no, I get what you mean. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If he was there, you wouldn't be able to hit him, but they're 5'10". Yeah. Um, 19. 19 hits. Out of his reaction range. Oh, it's damaging. 13. 
points now. 13 points of dummy dodge. I told you I test my blade against you. <laughs> I'm okay. fucked. Let's get him. Is he dead? He's not dead, no. He's, uh, he's he looking. Good? He's more substantial than the rest. Is that in your turn, Yoki? Is the, is the... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll Just... take the dodge action. Sure. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> takes a dodge action as a free action. <laughs> Only one person in his range realistically, so free attacks against uh, Feng. Yeah. Okay, first scimitar is 8 to hit, nope. misses. Second scimitar is 21 to hit. Yeah. And the dagger follow up is 17 to hit. Yeah. Oh. It's a two hit. He sounds like he's got three arms. <laughs> <laughs> slice, slice. That's what I was imagining. Like two scimitars then. I'll just do it total for you. Ten hard to five. <laughs> oh, thank fuck that I took that Elim potion. <laughs> <laughs> Still standing. Bloody the fuck. And he will uh, attempt to step away. Both Yoki and Feng can take an attack of opportunity. Then I will. And as I do, I will shout, I'll rip your veins out with my teeth! <laughs> what he said! It's 21 to hit. 21 hits? I love playing a mentally insane Natural player. one. <laughs> <laughs> he will use his reaction to parry that one. <laughs> Full yeah, damage. yeah, parry mine, parry mine. 14 points of damage. 14 yes. points of damage. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's five foot of movement. We'll use his free action to tug on something on the wall you're not aware of. Oh, for fuck's sake. And this whole wall oh. spins around and takes oh, him sake. with it. The crates as well. Fuck me. <laughs> it's Mr. Elusive here. I'm going to okay. kill him. Uh, Fug free. Should fucking run. Gets two attacks, I believe. Uh, they both hit 20. Uh, no, pardon me. 19 and 20 to hit. Who are you hitting? It's you. You're the one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they both hit. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, half to three. Three points of damage. Okay. Is that in total? So, I don't, I've halved it for you. Seven, half to three. That's all the damage. Yeah, but after the first attack. What would that damage be? Okay, so the first one was four damage after two. Okay, yeah. so I'm down. But I Make use, you back up because you're an awful. I use relentless endurance, but I still go down front. anyway. I get it, I get it. Okay. Just to say that uh, I've gone down. So then the last attack will take you back down. Yeah, just to say I've used my relentless endurance. So you've no. seen... <laughs> This is brilliant. You see Feng just go... Uh, 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 could have been worse, otherwise the second hit is an automatic critical hit on a death save, so you've done yourself a favour. Yeah. Very late. Uh, cool, cool. It's awesome. I feel like everyone's got to use their character abilities. I've session. still got one left to use, which I'm really interested for. Uh, I don't have a character ability. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got your second I just, I just then move Feng, faster. <laughs> And then Fug Free's going to look around to his side after his captain, like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Realising he's been left on his own. And then he's going to be like, wait, no, no! <laughs> Finish him. Uh, top My round, last time breath. Finish him. <laughs> I'm going to fire a shot off at him. Go for it. That's a 16 to hit. Hits. Did then. That's a 1, so 4 piercing damage. Okay. And your turn? Uh, yeah. Siegfried. One, two, Jack. The last potion to... Eight, to... Pain. Yep. Is that my action? And that's uh, your action? Oh, that's yep. perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to do it. Because it's your next turn. Oh, shit. No. Oh, yeah. Rage, like... <laughs> Rage has ended. Oh, so it's five. Oh, I you're really good at healing, Bob. Yeah, that's my Is there anything this man can't do? You've got the <laughs> ring of healer, maximum healing. <laughs> Thank you, Spider Bite. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so I'm back up. Yep. Uh, oh, what happened? <laughs> Sand your go, Sigrid. Yep. Feng. Uh, take an attack without rage. Go for it. Still 21 to hit. I've rolled 15 it's... three times on this dice. Brilliant. Uh, I've just realized I forgot to add rage damage for the last six fucking attacks, but I will. <laughs> I'll get yeah. used to it. You were the one. Oh, my fuck. Fuck. I know. Eight. I bet he got away with 12 damage. <laughs> he got away with 12 <laughs> damage. Yeah. He's walked through that door with 12. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, cool. That ends your turn? Uh, yeah. Yoki? Yeah, Let's use another potion, Nate. As a bonus action. Why not? Well, true, I suppose I should. Yeah. Um, can I shout free action? <laughs> I've got a shit uh, to them. I shout free action oh, to yes. Faye. Good to see you're back up, but I'm still fucked. And I want to get to where you went through that door. Oh, yeah. I can help you. I, um, could I... Uh, so he seemed to press some kind of mechanism. Yeah. I'm back to eight I would say with your passive perception, you could probably replicate it. Uh, I've only got 13 passive perception. Okay, then you don't. No, uh, <laughs> I'd say you saw where he interfered with. I'll take five feet of movement off you. Uh, do I press it and go through? <laughs> Does he... Oh yeah, he's not had a turn yet. So he moved... Five. Oh, he still could be quite far away, and I've already moved. Two, three, four, five. Six. I'm not going to catch up with him. Am I? So, no. Okay. I will attack. Man, five. <laughs> I'm Go so for glad it. I'm not man. <laughs> I, I actually know. thought about what I was going to do there, Derek. Eleven to hit. Eleven to hit. Uh, just hit. This is AC. Yeah. Good to four. <laughs> Just oh, 14 points of damage. Oh, it's nice when you get full damage in it. points of damage. Bada boom, really guy in the room. How you doing? Uh, that ninja go? I thought you said, how are you doing it? Damn it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> yeah, I'm done. Oh. No, yeah, I've done free action. That's fine. I'm done. Okay. Uh. Cool. Bug is going to drop his mace to the ground and go, look, it's not worth it. I'll give. He's going to throw his crossbow down as well. That his action and free action. Uh, Finish him off. Kando. I'm just going to shoot him. Okay. Fuck <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> What's your dex modifier? My dex modifier. Is yeah. a plus three. Yeah, do you want to do it? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I rolled a... Uh, literally, it's just going to be... As he's still like being like, No, don't do it. It's just going to be bolt through the throat. Just... <laughs> Leads out slowly, just looking at you the whole time. Why? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach for the drop of body and be like, That's a lot politer than what I was going to do to you. <laughs> and I'll put him down. <laughs> he's like, Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for... Uh... I, I I was already thinking, if no one does anything, I'm literally just punching this guy into the wall. <laughs> just... <laughs> I mean, could he have been worth it to us to keep him alive? Ah, fuck it, just shoot him. He would have been a He's fi hole. fifth party member. <laughs> I mean, we are that missing one bro, of That's how I was bringing him in. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines like, you know, spider bite, you could be new the pet. Alright, if pet we're able pie. to move, I would like to move up to here and pull yeah, we'll keep, uh... Well, no, fuck it, we'll drop out of, uh... Yeah, I'd love to move up and pull Try to up. open the door. <laughs> oh, quickly, oh. Are, we, are we out of initiative? Yeah. Could I get a healing potion? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll throw you two healing potions. Just, so I'm gonna... make an investigation check? Who's good at investigating? You, because you're the one who said you were doing the door, so just... The one give one, help me. Help. Um... <laughs> I suppose Who's... I'm already there, I would help you. Well, wait there, you are anyway. doing potions at the moment, so it's just Siegfried. Yeah. See, there you go, you don't need <laughs> Um So, you get to the door, spin it open, you stop it halfway so you can both see through. Uh, extra little back room, for a bookshelf, a couple of boxes. 
Also, I have no rages left, by the way. Hit some stairs. Take it as much. I'm not your sponge anymore. No. <laughs> no, you're the I, brick. I'm charged downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with. Charged downstairs. Uh, toward a brick wall. Yeah, just a brick wall. Yep. Okay, uh. Okay. Guys, another bloody secret entrance. Um, any? Can I look for any? What? What did he use to open that other one? Uh, that one that was like a little, uh, kind of almost like a lever, hidden in the wood, kind of a wood okay. that pulled out and it triggered it. Can I look for the same kind of thing here? Investigation check. Derry, while he's doing that, thank uh, you. Can I look around the room quickly, see if there's anything? Yeah, make an investigation check. Anything Paolo, you you, you roll as well if you're helping me. Okay. Because I got plus zero. That is. Yeah, me too. Twelve. Oh. What did you get there? I got seven now. I got five, so yeah, you did better. <laughs> How much? Seven. In the quick time you have before you want to keep up with these, you find a, a, a spell scroll, which you can't read. Fuck me. <sighs> I'll give it to someone in a bit. Yep. Uh, but yeah. Okay, what was the investigation roll? Seven. I got five, so twelve. Okay, you, you spend the time doing it, <laughs> pushing it, but you're getting resistance, and then you find the right, uh, there's like a fake rock, which isn't made of stone, and you manage to get a grip on it, and the whole thing lifts out, and lifts up. Also, I'm back to twelve health, if you want to chuck an orange on me. Oh my god, it's another bedroom! Oh, is this the hotel? Have we been led into the hotel, is it? So you're there at the head of a bed, which is kind of in your way. You climb over. Door yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd be reckless. I'm just charging through like, to see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to follow. Yeah. bedroom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, through this other door, I suppose, to the, to the left. Okay. Oh. Plant. Uh, come through and you see another door next to you another door to the west uh, make a fat make a perception natural one natural one you see another door next to you a, a door to the west and uh, yeah plant pots ahead of you where the carpet runs out I'll shout uh, spread up he's gotta be here somewhere the door this is closest to me Closest to you, you go in there. What's everyone else doing? I'll follow. I'll follow. You're following him? <clears throat> yeah. I want to go out this door. I'll say I'll get out of here. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. I, haven't got, I haven't got any more healing potion. Happy days. Fucking barbarian is going to be running around being a medic. What the fuck is gone? Down no there. Sprinted. Gonna move down this corridor, so like sliding along the wall. Yeah. Hold, hold on! Don't go! Out. Don't go too far! Don't yeah, go too far! Uh, peer out from here. Uh, I want to. Perception check. Uh, stealth check first of all. From I want to poke. Stealth shot. Yeah, yeah, right. I want to poke my head into here, see if they're all right. Oh, as soon as I can see D20. that there's, like, there's no D20. imminent danger in there, I'm gonna follow yeah. him. Okay. Twenty. Twenty, yeah, and no uh, perception. No, no, no. Sure. Not, not twenty for me. Sorry. Okay, then you're seen and you die immediately. Uh, <laughs> make a perception check. Can I flip these beds? Eight. Over? Uh, you you poke oh, around. Really angry. Oh, it's not here. My crossbow. Like you see the edge of a, a desk. Well, straight ahead of us. That's a door to the end, yeah. Ah, fuck. I will be fine. Uh, yeah, you just start flipping veggie, okay? Make a, uh... What, a strength? Yeah. Uh, 14. 14? You start flipping beds, and this wall to the north budges a little bit, and then falls back into place. Oh, okay, um... Again, look for a switch. Yeah. Oh, this building we're in. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna like. Uh, investigate. 
Investigation check. Kind of veer into well, the both of us. Secret. Yes. Secret. Let's do one each. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, not twenty. Nice. I got fourteen, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you see uh, someone behind the desk, just kind of like, <laughs> um, you went out the door into the. I want to come around the corner, and be like, "Are you telling us the truth?" Yeah, I want to check him. Oh. Intimidation and insight. Yeah. Um, what did you roll, James? I got 14, Pal got nat 20. Yep. Nat 20? Oh. Uh, you go looking around for a button, James, and you cannot find one. And then, uh, Perlo's just like, uh, it's like fucking other one, isn't it? There's no button, you just, and he pushes it and he just swings <laughs> open. <laughs> I'll come to you two in a second. Yeah. Uh, Nate? 14 for intimidation. Sean? Nat 20 for insight. Uh, he's scared. He's possibly lying to protect himself. Uh, 14 will probably do it. He's like, just don't, don't. Like, Look, I can't. He'll kill me if he knows I gave it away. Uh, so. Who said I wouldn't? <laughs> Fuck me. A, a plant potty room. This map is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah oh, this map is legit. There's uh, Pango. Oh, another cunt. Pango looks at you like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's everybody doing? I'm just fucking charging up. Yeah, follow. Okay. Well, we don't know that's happening. Say you charge. Oh, uh, yeah, it's free action shout like I'm roaring. I hope that'll tell the others that uh, yeah, I found him. Okay. Pango, uh throws down the sword, and he's like, all right, all right, let's do business. Would we have heard him? Uh, you're not there yet. This no, is for Yoki and Siegfried. No, would we have heard Yoki roll? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're making your way back. All right. Business? We're doing business here. You're giving us our stuff, and you're telling us why you delivered us to the dust people. Sounds like business to me. We're going to be gentlemen, or you're just going to take my head. Is he, has he dropped his weapons? Yep. I'll sheath my sword. You could have done this earlier. Save a few lives. Pretty sure your receptionist or whatever he was back there died. Well, you didn't <laughs> come in. You didn't come in asking many questions. Well, your your front men attacked us. We were being very nice. Well, obviously, you're a more powerful party. Maybe you're of more use to me than those schmucks out there. He looks to you, he goes, open her up. And this guy uh, comes over here, and this table pushes into the wall and slides out the way, and you have another passage into the main room here, which he leads into. <laughs> Fucking hell, this guy don't quit. That's a great little runabout. Before taking oh, the around the houses. You have no idea the amount of shit you've... Uh, I'm guessing everybody follows it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where the hell they go? Oh, here we go. Hey, here you go. <laughs> he says to his guy, he's like, move the bodies. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> guy starts dragging them away. <laughs> Just piling them on each other. It's so, alright. You're obviously more useful to me alive than dead. What can we do together? Well, we got Our questions. We meant it be a start. I've got answers. All yours, Our secret yeah. said our equipment. He says to the other guy, he's like, uh... Slim. <laughs> It's me trying to think of a name. Yeah, he's a shady character. Slim. <laughs> shady Slim. Use the flask. The guy's like, oh, he's like, fucking use it. And the fog walks over here, gets out the flask and pours the alcohol across the floor, and another portal seems to open up. Uh, these were the, the deads from three days ago. Go get the rucksacks. Disappears through this portal. 
Hold on, did I drink that? You drank <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Alcohol. No, you didn't. Moments, like, it tasted like alcohol. You oh, get the <laughs> A few moments later, it. Uh, he comes back. I drank and it. I'd say you now have Whisker you all your standard <laughs> equipment that you arranged when you created your character. You know, all of that back. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Was that the what was in one. the whisk of Flasky? <laughs> <laughs> was that what was in it? Did I drink all that? Did I drink a potion? You oh, drink the portal, mate. Did I drink a portal? Everything you've eaten since has gone to another dimension. <laughs> I wonder I'm hungry, fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> so there uh, you go. There's your staff. In my defense, you were pretty dead three days ago. Yeah, okay. I've got, yeah. That's what they told us, but we we don't. I yeah, understand no. that I'm a bit fifty-fifty, and I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find us? You were in the trash warrants. Just another couple of dead bodies worth making some coin off. Never trash seen any warrants. dead bodies. Yeah, the trash warrants. I said it inquisitively, as if I didn't know where that was. Yeah, you don't feel like trash warrants around here. Uh, it's just uh, the end of the hive, you know, it's kind of a, a dump, well, pretty say, is dangerous. Is it kind of like a landfill? Yeah, kind of, <laughs> except it can kick your ass. What? It's dangerous there, there's all kinds of creatures that have decided to make it their own. Ooh, that sounds interesting. God, well, you found it. our bodies. Yeah. And then the dustmen... Wanted our bodies and they pay you for it? The dustmen will pay for anybody. Oh, so where's the money then? My pocket. Oh. Do we take it? Don't guys. push it, luck. Guys, do we take it? I'll be honest, Pango, I don't like you, but I can't see that he's done anything wrong, to be honest. <laughs> Except you stole D's kegs. Yeah. Sorry. Well, you're uh, more well informed on my activities than the very place you're in. Well, we had to find our stuff. You took our stuff, and that's not very polite. It's very rude. Possession oh, is nine tenths of the law, isn't it? But you got your stuff back. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about. So the laws are the same here. Part we ain't partnering with you. Well, I ain't partnering. No, I, yeah, I find you it proved yourself to be very strong, and maybe, just maybe, you're looking for a way out of Sigil. Don't know a lot. And I look at the guy. Uh, guys, I admit these gentlemen got a point. You got a way out. Maybe it's gonna have a way out. Flasks. But I need some work doing. A lot of work doing. You first things to... first, where are these barrels? Oh, I see. You've got to give D's exactly. barrels. Exactly. First things first, whose side are you on? Oh, now, I'm sure you've paying... seen the world out there. It's all kinds of trouble. We need to complete all the side quests. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, we came here to do a job, and we, don't, we, we do our jobs. As far as I know, I do my jobs. All right, you give the kegs back. And then, and then we, we work with you. We'll work with you. As the dwarf said, he's trying to cut me off. Make a uh, persuasion roll with okay, advantage. Cut. With advantage, fuck me. Yeah, you, you all make a pretty compelling case. Eleven. <laughs> with advantage. Yep, I rolled a ten and a six. Oh, if so, term is like, how many dead bodies you find out there? Fucking hell, I rolled a twenty. Uh, Three year boss. I got a minus two, so it's eighty. No, I'm joking. He's like, sounds like quite a deal then. Four new comrades. Yeah, if you're willing to do what needs to be done My count's correct. and work for the independence, then we might be able to find a way off this ring. So you're stuck here as well? We're all stuck here. That's why they call it a cage. Oh, there's no natives. Fucking Kingsley uh, Well, there. some people are born here, but nobody wants to stay. You've done Lady nothing wrong. Lady won't let anyone out. You've done nothing Who? wrong to Kingsley, yeah? 
I don't know who the fuck Kingsley is. Good luck keep it that way. I like Kingsley. He's a great guy. Kingsley is a great guy. I like him. Let's keep it that way. So it is a simple choice. You've either stay here and try and make your tough place, or we work together and we find a way out. Lady of Pain ain't gonna be happy about it, but fuck her. Who? Really are clueless, aren't you? Why have you seen me? Yeah. <laughs> Lady of Pain runs Sigil. Lady of Pain, oh. Fuck. She's the one keeping us all here. I'm sure she knows a way out. She's not very uh, sociable. Why don't we go talk to her? <laughs> yeah, just go ahead. I'm sure that'd go grand. All right, and we'll do that. Is, is that the job that you got for us? That is not the job. I was being very soft. <laughs> That's just rude. I don't, uh, I don't read sarcasm. No. As a sign of good faith, I will give you the barrels that belong to the smoldering corpse. And you can return here. And I will ask that you use the inn as an entrance this time. And I'll talk about what we might be able to do together. Well, we might have scared the guy at the front desk as well. Yeah, well, he's a fucking idiot anyway. Oh, wait. Anyway. <laughs> he is working for you under probably duress. He is doing his job as best he can. And then this big beefy orc comes along and says, Are you telling the truth? I'll be terrified as well, so be polite. You may notice that your workforce work a lot better for you. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got bit of people on my side and he for nods now. to the fog and says open her up and uh that thing you noticed on the floor that he didn't quite make turns out to be a wall that comes away and reveals this extra passage where you find one. several barrels and uh he goes further and unlocks a passage back to the outside and he's like what is he like? What is he like? <laughs> what is he like? Right? What is he like? Hey, have I have got it up. What is he like? So, ah, oh, fucking so many windows. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get from uh, such yeah. a big map. <laughs> so the fog opens up this uh, passage here, shows you the barrels, shows you a way out, uh, and says, next time you come, you come to the inn entrance, you announce yourself as part of the Free League, and you'll come straight to see me. Free League. Free League, independence, which one is it? Both. Just the way we call the uh, Dustmen Deaders. Some people call it Free League Independence. They don't consider us a faction, but not much use for factions. That's all, Dan. We don't want to fucking be here. Okay. Oh, um, I'll look back to Pango. Well, that doesn't look... You don't bother the smoldering corpse anymore, okay? Alright. Sure we can do that deal, as long as you manage to be useful to me. Or as long yeah. as you stay alive. We'll see you can about be that. there protect us from now on. I'll stick my nose out of their business. Yeah, we'll be hanging around there, so if you try anything. Good to know. Anything else? Um, I'm really happy to have my sword back. Me and my little <laughs> hammer. I'm, I'm, do, I'm, do, I'm doing stuff to this sword. <laughs> Any more questions, or you're going to let me clean up? Oh, by the way, there are some bodies in the sewer. <laughs> hey, they were just there. Well, good. With that kind of ingenuity, I'm sure you can do great work. I'll take one of the barrels. How big are the barrels? Yeah, about you could probably get one under each arm. How many barrels have we got to take back? Say that eight. Oh, well, I'll take two. I mean, that's perfect. That's, that's two for everyone, isn't it? I believe I can take just one. No, you're, you're not meant. No problem. Sweet. No worries. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you all head out. 
if you got anything else to say, you all grab barrels. You all take them back uh, for the sake of expediency. I will say you get everything back to... I will also say in this time that passed, you will all realize that any weapons and any armor you took from the north of the map are fakes. Have yeah. broken by now. Uh, but you have your normal equipment there, which is... Uh... Uh, and yeah, level two. Can we go back? Can we go uh, take... Yeah, I want to return the sh shitty armor as well to the three goblins. Yeah, well, sure. I, was, I was gonna say that, but I was gonna say, shall we just return it to? Yeah, D, return so the, D, the, D, the armor D. so I don't have to make any payment to D. Yeah, we'll give D the equipment back. I'll give it to D, and then D can. Do sure. It. Um... And I'm sure he'll sell it back to them probably. <laughs> Yeah, well, for the sake of experience, because we've gone a bit late on this, and I appreciate you all sticking around. Oh, um, I enjoyed it. It's been fucking brilliant. You know, you'd go and talk to D. You talk about what's going on. He'd get pissed off that he didn't get exactly what he asked for. Um, but yeah, that's all settled. So you don't owe him anything. He's happy to have the barrels back. He offers you um, evening's rest, and you all get to be level two as you consider future in the city doors.